Have you parked your brooms in an orderly fashion? Have you dusted those nostrils? Fed your ogres? Make sure you push them all in the new doo tightly. I sure hope so. Welcome on in, ghoulish beings. What is up? What is down? Overall, having a fantastic day filled with all the good vibes. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Hello, werewolves. We get in with the first. Hello, chance. Thanks for the smack to the face that woke me up. <laughs> Hello, clown. Hello, CJ. Hello, Danger Dan. Hello, Helix. Hello, Tragic. And hello, everybody. How are we all doing? What's up? What's down? How's it going? Sasha, no! Stop it! Stop being so depressy! <laughs> so depressy. Wait, wait. I had a straw in my ear. Where did my straw go? <laughs> I've lost it. I lost. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Uh. Oh. Oh. Whoops. Oh. Oh. It's in. It's ah. Uh, oh, it's stuck. It's stuck. How did I get the straw stuck in my hair? Where did it go? It was right there. I felt it. It's gone. Where did I put this straw? I had a straw. In my oh there it is oh right it wasn't in my hair at all okay <laughs> ah this cool Miss Pajest kept there on for twenty five months <laughs> thank you too for twenty five months while you're drawing the book of subs I wanna know I wanna know hello junk hello Baphomet are you guys doing as well what's up with Stan and hello Ace I hope you're good too oh if that was any like a little example of the kind of morning I'm having there it is. There it is. I have a, one of those kind of days where everything feels a bit scattered and all over the place. When it ends. But you know what? It's fine. We need to one of those sometimes. Oh, damn. Almost forgot to write the support. Um, yes, please do. Please chase it. I'm glad Miss Pooh was the one that made you go, oh, yes, I should probably contact them. Please contact them. So to lay stuck in ad limbo. No! <laughs> I hope the ads are over. I hope. What was I going to say? I was going to say something. Nope, I forgot. I forgot. Ignore me. Ignore me. That's like weird. I'm having the exact same hecking day. It must be in the air. It's gotta be in the air. Miss Pooh, right now. Stop it, Danger Dan! <laughs> you guys make me so depressed. <laughs> oh no. So, anyone who doesn't know, if you were not here yesterday, I released two new anime emotes. We have Uki Sad, which is the saddest emote in the entire world. I was never gonna release it because I thought it was too sad to be made. And, um, well. Uh, everyone said they wanted it. So you have a really sad, sad, saddest spirit ever. And then there's Uki Bomb for when things are vomitable. <laughs> it's a road tab. I made it yesterday. <laughs> I wasn't sure about it. I wasn't sure if you guys were going to like it or not. But I was like, I need a bomb emote. But just for myself, really. I just kind of did it for selfish reasons. So I'm so glad everyone likes it. <laughs> it's dreadful. Three frame wonder. <laughs> oh, how's everyone Saturday? I hope it's gone good. Chunk, no, not the depressing sad ferret. It's the little sad wings on the back of it. It just makes me so sad. So, so sad. Hello, look back. Well, you know, what's up with Dan? How's it going? You're going to have to excuse the way I'm talking today. I'm a little bit, like, not quite here. I feel like I'm a little bit on Pluto. It's fine, but that's how I feel today. Very much Pluto brain. It's okay, though. We can only go up, right? <laughs> Saying that, though, the reason I'm a little bit late and why I wasn't trying is because Miss... Um, Miss... I was going to say Miss Pooh. We passed me the electric blanket. I didn't get a chance to plug it in. So, during the next ad break, I'm probably going to plug in the electric blanket so that I can be all nice and toasty. Nice and toasty. Oh, better than having Uranus on the brain. That is true. I don't want Uranus on the brain. <laughs> no, thank you. I, I would very much rather not. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. I'm so excited for today. I'm dying to get back into Anna Week 2. There's a little part of me that's kind of bummed I decided to play on stream because all I want to do is play it. It's so damn good. So damn good. I need more. More! More! <laughs> oh, goodness me. Oh, my goodness. That's another bit of news. Fam, Pugsley has decided to blow his coat. And by that, I mean, like, I gave him one, like, long pat with my hand from the top of his back to the bottom of his back, and my hand was covered in fur. He is blowing his coat. He's getting ready for summer already. He's absolutely, like, I didn't know it was going to snow in March, but here we are, 16th of March, it's snowing <laughs> with fur and fur. Right, music, be gone. Let's roll the intro, shall we? Go on, push the button, 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 push. Let's go. Ah!
Welcome on English Beings, I am Miss Uki. Welcome to my stream of theatre. Hope you're sitting comfortably upon the red velvet seats. Your snacks are crawling and your drinks are toiling and boiling. Welcome in. <laughs> Happy Saturday, the 16th of March, 2024. Welcome on in. I hope you are all having the most fantastic day ever. Hello. It's a bit quiet in here, isn't it? It's a little bit quiet, so let's run through a couple of things, huh? If you are watching in the future, hello YouTube, hello! We see you there, out there in the future. Do we have flying cars yet? Because I've always wanted one of those like pitbull hoverboards, and they're still not out in 2024, hopefully one day, but today's not the day. So YouTube friends, check the comments. I'll tell you when the game begins, if you don't want to hear me chit-chatting with everybody. But I'm going to chit-chat with everybody, for however long it takes me until I'm ready to get into the game. <laughs> So I'm uh, gonna run the music. Music! Much better. Hello, Hordana, how you doing? What's up, Stan? How's it going? Oh no, it's gorgeous in Yorkshire. Finally feels like spring. It is large. It's like starting to get a little bit warmer. And it's also like, um, I saw my first bumblebee today. My first chonky bumblebee flying around. And I'm like, ah! And I'm also like, I, the doves? There's only one dove appearing now, which makes me wonder. It's either something terrible has happened, but in my head, the other dove is probably making the eggs. That's where my brain's gone. So now I'm like, ooh, but yeah, I saw a bumblebee. I love bumblebees, fun fact for anyone who doesn't know. Bumblebees are like one of my favorite, like little invertebrates out there. I love bumblebees. They're so cute. <laughs> Scary, but cute. Very, very cute. It's all okay, my check. Hello. <laughs> um, egg, oh no, not the egg. Oh, then again, it is eggy month. It is eggy month. It makes um, a little podges. Little podges, I hope so. That's my hope, is that I'm gonna see later this year little podges flying by. Because if I see little podges, you really. F I did not force them, I just offered them the table with snacks for them to meet. And they've met, and I'm hoping we're gonna get little podges to visit. Yeah, you are a grand grand. I hope I'm a grand grand. If I do see little podges, you know for a fact I'm gonna be like sending all of the pictures over on Instagram because. I love pigeons. <laughs> I mean, like, I love birds a lot, but I really love pigeons. And the wood pigeons are so funny. So I'm really hoping we see lots of little birdies. The robins were also popping by this morning. One of the um, collared doves was sat on the fence. And I was having, like, a little chat with it um, while I was walking faster on Pugsley. It got to the point where I could be, like, reach my hand out and I'd be touching it. That's how close it just chilled out next to me. It was crazy. And he's never been so brave before, so I was very much like, oh, they're getting used to me. <laughs> I mean, the robin doesn't care where I am in the garden, but the doves have. And now they're starting to, like, warm up to me, and it's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Hello, my night snowman. How you doing? What's up with Stan? How's it gone? Can't say today. Oops, on my way to potential. Oh, yes! Have fun! I hope it is the one. And if it isn't, well, don't settle for less. Don't settle for less. Have a good one. You do you. I hope you and your fiance have a lovely day and you feel all romantic and stuff and treat yourselves right, okay? Have a good one. I love you, Miss Pooh. Like, platonically and then maybe a little bit parasocially in love with you. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> have a good one, Miss Pooh. Thank you for the having fun. You need to play this game. By the way, you need to do the whole anniversary at some point this year. You need to do it because it's so good. A grand grand to kitty cats. Not the kitty cats, the pigeons. To the pigeons. What did I see that about the flower? Just a clumsy um, little fuzzy sphere trying their best to find a flower to wrestle. They're just so silly, especially like when they land on a flower that's so dainty. And it just goes. <laughs> and you see them holding on for dear life. They're in the headpads. It's really, really cute. Ooh. Hello? Irish underscore DC underscore mm -hmm. 95 just kept their antlers for three months. Yeah. Hey, oh. Got an email this morning, and I'm a union man now. Ooh! Yes? What does that mean? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Whatever that may be. Irish DC 95, why you like drawing the bucket tops? Tell me if you like anything drawn on in. If not, it's all gravy. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you. Thank you very much, Lee. And well done, Nightmare on 78 toes. How you doing, Clone, by the way, as well? And what's I doing your 94 toes? Werewolf and... Danny Dan got 32 toes. It's all right. It's a bit cold. It's a bit cold. Enough parasocial in love with you this week. I think we have. We have. It's why now I need to pass it on. No, all the love you took. <laughs> have a good one, Miss Pooh. Have a lovely day. Uh, I'm joining a trade union work. Oh! So hopefully some better things will be on the way for you. That's nice. Hopefully, talents cross. It'll be exactly the direction you want to go in. And the purple makeup today, Mizook. Oh, thank you. Today was actually inspired by... Today's look was inspired by a post up on Twitter. Earlier this week, I said, like, if I was a doll, how would you dress me? Because I wanted a little bit of inspiration of how to dress this weekend. 
And um, what do you call it? So Kedrick, absolutely lovely streamer by the way, Kedrick said, oh, wear your hair in um, pigtails. So my hair's in bunches. And then it was Bobby Wakefield, who is a um, uh, blah, 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 clone hero, a clone hero streamer and a load of other kind of things, but mainly clone hero. He said purple. So I was like, purple, okay. So that was the inspiration of today. I, I combined those two things together. I'm also keeping an eye on what Miss Pooh said, and I'm like, hmm. We'll see how much time I get in the morning. <laughs> I didn't hit the. Well done, you 30 stream streak. GG. Well done. I didn't today, Hina. Did you rest well? Um, if you think about it, onion and union should be the same sounding word. Onion, union. They do, though, don't they? Onion, union. Union, onion. They all the same sounding word. Or am I mishearing that? Hello, Lucia. How are you doing? What's up with Dan? How's it gone? So, how's everyone's week? Um, for those who were not here yesterday, how was your week? Tell me everything. Um, <laughs> long story short, I've had a bit of a hard week, if I'm honest. A very hard week. Um, it's not from Sunday evening all the way until, until yesterday uh, morning. It was a lot. It took a lot of my social battery, to be honest with you. It really, really absorbed a lot of my, like, oh, hell yeah, for every day, you know? It's all good. It should never be a thing like that for me, yeah. For the foreseeable future. <laughs> Finally managed to sort something out. Oh, but it was one of those weeks. It's been stressful at work, um, things like that. I wasn't able to do anything like I really wanted to do in my evenings because it was just spent sorting some things out. But it's okay. Onwards and upwards, right? And this marks three weeks now until I'm done with my current contract. I'll be on the new contract, which hopefully means I can hang out on Discord again in the evenings because I'll be fully working from home. And I'll be working on Norwegian time. So I'll be starting at 8 and finishing about 3 or 4. So I'm like, oh, oh, soon I can actually hang out on Discord again with you guys and actually organize like some hang times. I'm so excited. I'm good, Snap, alright? Finally ready to return tonight? Nice! Good, good! What's the plan tonight? What is the plan? Is it differently a trace person and a scientist pronounced unionize? Is that not how you say unionize? Be how you doing, Bees? What's up with Dan? How's it going? Anyone who does not know Bees with these, please go and check them out. They are absolutely glorious and really lovely. They are just as high energy and large and just so much banter. Go and check out Bees. I dare you. I dare you. Give them love. Give them head pats. I've been playing this game called Fossil Fuel. It's like a wish version of Jurassic Park. Finished it like 10 times. The achievements are glitch, but they unlock every now and then. It's such a drag. Are you actually trying to 100% it? You're not, are you, Nightmare? Hello, Kraken. How you doing? What's up with Dan? How's it going? Some people are going to become onion employees. I'm sure there are onion employees out there. Not the bees! Wait, you know bees? Of course. Of course. Um, like the onion router? An onion router? Um, okay, I just popped in and now hearing about um, contracts. Congrats! Thank you, Ren! Thank you! How you doing, Ren? What's up with with you? I hope you're good. It's been a hot minute. Yeah, so like, I'm in a contract right now. Um, it's gonna last until the 10th of April. And then on the 11th, I start my next gig. Which that's only until the first week of July, and then I have nothing after that. So I'm currently trying to headhunt things, prepping, so, like even if it's just a pencil. I want pencils for uh, to at least end of July onwards. So I'm trying my best at the moment to start hunting for work when I get five, because uh, I've heard some things in the grapevine, and I'm kind of worried about what's going to happen later this year, because apparently the strikes are still having ripple effects in my industry, and I'm like, oh! <laughs> Yay! I hope not, but you never know, huh? You never know. Solaris. Oh, nice. I hope you have fun with Solaris. Unionized could be either unionized or ununized. No, there's still some reads as union and ununized. I'm reading. It's a concept. <laughs> Moruki for real? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Because I really... Oh. I've got a plot in my head, and I've been talking to Bitsy for ages about it. And Bitsy and I are thinking about doing a little something. Oh, well, Bitsy wants to join in and help out on this thing that I've had planned. And I'm like, April? April, I want to spend the rest of April working on it so that by June, July, it can be activated. Because there's something really stupid and I want to make it happen. Which might mean you guys might get one evening stream. Um, in the middle of the week, but we'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. No bad thanks yourself. I'm good. I'm good. I, wait, I asked you. What have you been up to today? <laughs> I'm on time. Hell yeah, you are. All right. Wait, I haven't started anything yet. I haven't started anything. Are you doing all right? 
Oh, of course I know Bee. She's one of all. Bee's is so funny. Absolutely funny. I loved um, when we raided in the other day. <laughs> you having a proper vent about like this one particular person you know that you're like, how? How does it make sense? With all the poggies, it actually made me crease. Like really hard crease. And I was like, I'm so tired, but... <laughs> Um, I am, uh, I am, I got 15, 28, I'll do it, nice, nice, you got this, I believe in you, congrats on your contract yourself, by the way, thank you, thank you, I'm very, very chuffed, I can't wait to tell you guys what I've been working on, but obviously gotta wait until it's out, out, and then the next project, I can't wait to tell you guys about it, I'm really excited about this next one as well, I'm always excited about what I'm doing, to be honest with you, but I'm really excited to see how this one goes, because it's the first time I'm gonna be working for, like, a fully, like, not in the UK, well, they sort of are in the UK, but also not in the UK company. And so I'm very excited about exploring that way of the world, if you know what I mean. Um, it's useful for getting info on the dark web. Oh, I can't be the door. They're talking about the dark web. Ugh. Onion. Yeah, onion. Man, I wish I could bottle your energy. We could both be rich. I would wish I could have my energy actually make money, but it doesn't. It just makes me tired. <laughs> I didn't see any people. What's up with Dan? How's it going? She vents a lot. I love a good vent, though. Let me show, by the way, the sleeve. Yes! It's a little knife. Little, I say knife. <laughs> it's a little butter knife. It's sword arms. And then on the back, I don't know if I'm going to show you guys. Ugh. I don't know if you guys are going to see, but I'm going to show you the back. The back is so cool as well. Ugh. Do you see it? It has a spine on my spine. <laughs> it's so cool. So rad. It's from a company called Disturbia. And it's lush. I also got a dress that has the sword arms. It doesn't have the spine on the back. It has the sword arms. An extra spine? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so that people know where they need to like full on falcon kick me back. And then I'll probably never get up again. <laughs> Look, gotta go mod it all. You're buying Helix. Have a good day modding. I hope it's a nice easy day. Speak to you soon. Kick butt, chew bubble gum. I'm just doing D&D &D prep and then it was 6 a.m. <laughs> oh, rah! You're not doing D&D &D today, are you? You're actually gonna have some time to sleep and stuff. Hello, Delicia. What's up with Stan? How's it going? Hello, Fish. How you doing? What's up with Stan as well? That's class. It's lush, isn't it? It's one of my favorite designs. I wish more, like, brands would do more nice, cool things on the sleeve because I'm not someone who likes wearing things on the chest so much, especially when it's, like, an obvious brand name. I really love it when it's, um, intricate details on the sleeve. I don't know, just... It's subtle enough that you don't see it from the front quite so easily, but then when you're, like, actually moving, you're like, oh, yeah, sword arms. Uh, 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 you know? I like it. <laughs> You're armed. Multiple arms. Slice of onions with a flank cheese and A1 sauce. Are you giving me your order? This isn't a Wendy's. I think Wendy's is an American restaurant. I actually never been to a Wendy's. <laughs> I think this is a comment, but something I imagine Melzy would wear up. I will 100% take that compliment. I love Melzy's um, aesthetic so much. I mean, obviously I do. <laughs> I love um, Melzy's aesthetic so much. I haven't seen Melzy in ages. I hope she's okay. I slept six hours of sleep isn't too bad. No, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad, That that's enough. Maybe have a nap later if you need it. Uh, Wendy's, yum. <laughs> Never been to a Wendy's. I hear it's um, quite nice. That's the one with the red hair, isn't it, on the logo? I say that, Ronald, Mac um, Ronald McDonald also has red hair, but you know, the one with bunches, with blue bow ties. The back design is fantastic. I've never seen a top like that before. Not so lazy and subtle and silent compliments your character. Exactly! That's why I like it. I like things that are a little bit more subtle and not like in your face. I love back and arm designs more than front designs. It's why when I was like doing my merch, I was like, oh, I need arms. Arms need to be involved. <laughs> because I like that little like almost 360 design, you know? And it's pretty good for um, cheap fast food. I do like fast food. That's good. This UK when it's just open down the road for me, it's overrated. Really? To be fair, Chunk probably overrated because they gotta use different ingredients than they have to use in the US one because in US uh, well you know what it's like and it? it's like um uh, for example our can of Dr. Pepper is completely different from the ones they have in the US in the US they make it with different ingredients whereas in the UK we have different ingredients because some things are not okay over here in like certain quantities and even some ingredients are not okay so maybe that's why it's a little bit overrated that we're not getting the true American experience maybe I don't know though you don't sell flank steaks at any Wendy's. I don't know, it been. I'm just making a joke. <laughs> uh, Wendy's nuts. Ah, yes, exactly. They do be um, Bob Evans and USA Russell. I don't know who that is, but cool. Who's Bob Evans? They sound like a teacher. Hello, J-Rex. What's up with Stan? Happy Saturday to you. What's up with Stan? Our Wendy's ice cream 
In Oz? Oh, really? I don't, I've never heard of a Wendy's until, like, I was on the internet. Oh, I got my headphones on the wrong way around again. Oh, I really need to figure out how I switch the audio so I don't have to have wire across my body. Or it's fine, I guess. It's, 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 it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm trying to think what I can update you guys with. But, like, this week, there isn't a lot to say. Um, oh, that's one. Uh, been training my inside leg hangs again. Um, I did a bit more of that this week. And I'm learning that I'm a lot stronger than I thought I am. I've been training my head forearm headstands. So there's like a headstand, but your forearms are on the floor. It's not so much your hands either side of your head. I've learned now I can do them. Well, I say I can do them. It's a bit hit or miss, but at the moment, I'm starting to be able to do them from like no wall behind me, which I'm really proud of being able to keep myself balanced enough to be able to tuck my knees in and then slowly put them above my head. So I'm getting the gains there. I obviously want to level that up to be able to do a forearm stand with my, my head on the floor because there's some really cool like leggy things you can do. And then I really want to be able to nail a handstand. Oh, to nail a handstand would make me so happy. So I've been kind of low key putting my flexibility training on the side because I'm like, I just want to be able to go upside down bat mode wherever I want. <laughs> um, brrr, that's so interesting that we have different ingredients. Like uh, things are banned over the countries and America's like, yeah, that's okay. We can eat that here. Literally, literally. If I remember right, you guys use a lot of like corn syrup and things like that in food. Over here in the UK, I, it might have changed now, but uh, we don't use things like that for our like sweetener in like drinks. We use literal sugar. <laughs> it's mental. It's like... um. I remember once I looked at the ingredients to McDonald's chips, right? Fries. Um, over here, <laughs> there's a lot less ingredients than when you look at the ones in the States. In the States, there's a there's a lot extra bits. I'm like, oh, I thought it was just potato, a little bit fried with some oil and a little bit of salt. And that's it, probably Bob's your uncle. Whereas in the States, a little bit more excessive than that. <laughs> a little bit. It's mental when you start looking at how different things are across the world it's a restaurant chain in the usa bob evans restaurant type it online one day if you want i probably won't but cool to know i have no idea if i'll ever visit the us i'd like to there's some things in the us i'd like to go and do like especially around halloween time i'd love to go to all those horror um experiences that pop up that would be the prime time i'd want to go to the us but honestly i can't imagine myself going to the us anytime soon it's so expensive. Sounds painful. Uh, the inside leg hang is really painful because you got to get it in your like waist, right in your waist. You got to get it on the back of your shoulder, and then you got to get it onto your calf. So imagine this is your leg, right? This is uh, your knee. You kind of have to get it here, so the pole is like by there, right on your like almost ankle, but not ankle. Oh, it's horrible. It burns. But the headstand's not too painful. It's just a little bit like, oh, this this makes me sweat. Oh, it's this one. Ay. Um, so you can bench press 50 pounds? Bench press 50 pounds? I don't know. I haven't done it with weights, but I'm pretty sure I, I do it with my body weight. <laughs> One day you will. Maybe. I don't go to the gym. I do pole fitness. It's what I do. So, um, for those who don't know what pole fitness is, it's literally pole dancing. That's what I do for fitness. <laughs> I do it as a, um, as a hobby. It's uh, one of my favorite hobbies of being able to keep fit. It keeps my mind quiet as well, which I quite like. That's what I do. So I can lift my entire body weight and above my head to go upside down. So I can do that. So I can imagine that I might be able to lift 50 pounds, but I've never tried it yet. And I make two good so far, better than The Last of Us and Uncharted. I've never played Last of Us or Uncharted, but Alan Wake 2 is fabulous. It's so good. I'm so glad I started with Alan Wake 1, then the DLCs, then American Nightmare, then Control, then the DLC. And now Alan and Wake 2. I feel like going that way has made it such much like bigger of a journey. It's been fabulous. It's so good. So good. I highly recommend it, especially going in that way of playing it because it makes you appreciate all the little nuances. And I've only just started playing Remedy games this year. Um, I say that I played Max Payne for like 10 minutes when I was a kid. And I was like, this is cool, but I didn't have the ability of knowing how to play games good then. <laughs> the best I could do was Frogger, you know? Um, and like the same with GTA, it was just getting in a car and running people over. That's as good as I get. It wasn't doing missions. Um, I didn't have like the brain for doing missions at that time of um, my life. And um, I did play Max Payne. And that's it. I've never played a Remedy game for all these years until now. And Alan Wake 2, so far for me, has been the best Remedy game so far. It's like they've taken everything that they've done from Alan Wake 1 and Control 
compiled it into something so unique and interesting. It's so well done. So well done. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. This challenge at my gym for the month of frog. Um, frog's that longest time. Mine isn't the strength problem, it's balance. Balance is like, can be the really big thing that can thwart you on progress. Like you can have the strength, but balance, you definitely need it, especially if you need to make sure you keep your posture good too. When Jimmy lost access to some of the ingredients for Coca-Cola during the war, he substituted the syrup with their own. Thus, Fanta was born. Yes, I know. I read that on Facebook years ago. <laughs> I know, I know. That's a did you know moment. That is definitely a did you know moment. You listen to multiple genres of music. Are you polyjamorous? I'm definitely polyjamorous. That's for sure. Are you polyjamorous? For a full lipstick. Today's look inspired by Twitter. I was yelled at Katie Rick to wear my hair in pigtails and then um, Bobby Bayfield said purple. So I went for purple right down to my tights. I got purple tights on and then right down to my socks. Purple. Well, they lie you look, but <laughs> it counts. It counts for something, right? I mean, one leg's dark. We ignore the dark leg. We pretend they're both stripey. Um, brrr. Like, yo, like, hi, how you doing, Lanatic? What's up with that? I haven't played to Lou? No, I haven't played to Lou, but I have watched a playthrough back when it first came out. Ah, uh, years ago. Years and years. Like, I think I was still a teen then. But I've never played it. Never played it. Quantum Break, it doesn't break. I'd like to play Quantum Break one day, but I haven't done that yet. You know, it's the, uh, what can you do as a kid? I just remember um, failing a Flash game's literally same lamp. Like, I love Star Fox Adventure. But this is my biggest example of how bad I was at playing games as a kid. Um, I played a lot of games, but I wouldn't play them in the way they're intended. So Star Fox Adventures, you know, with the dinosaurs, I used to not understand how the missions would work. I would ignore the missions and just role play as this like prehistoric fox hanging out with dinosaurs every day. And I was like, this game is my home. And that's how I used to play it. <laughs> wouldn't do any missions. I would just stay in the like starting zone and just make my own story up. That looks a shade of purple. It counts. Thank you. I thought so. This looks very blue on camera, but it's also like a shade of like a purple. It's not meant to be so blue. Um, purple enough? I think it's purple enough. Did you watch a documentary this week about the history of Coca-Cola? For some reason, I have no idea why. I feel that. I've been uh, trying my best not to deep dive into things at the moment because I feel like I get it every weekend anyway with a digi nose. <laughs> I'm gonna go snot. <laughs> Still got my buttons. <clears throat> good buttons. Ah, oh, but yeah, Alan Wake 2 is so good so far. My mind's dragging me down rabbit holes. Oh no, not the bad kind, I hope. I hope it's the good kind of rabbit holes. Oh, well, thank you, seven stream streak. Well done, that's a whole week, that is. Gonna go back to games as a kid means that you have to do one to two levels you played as a kid and discover that there's a whole another game past that. Literally. Literally. I've been thinking about doing this at some point. My dad still got our old PCs from when we were um, growing up. So we got our old like, Windows 98 PCs way back when. And I'm thinking about going up there at some point. Whenever I got like five to actually go exploring my parents' attic. Because I want to go in there to find all my like bags of toys. And see if we've got any Hot Wheels and things like that. And they're just for like a nostalgia trip. <laughs> I want to go and see if I can get those PCs. If they still work. I want to see if I can get them hooked up. So that we can stream like from them and play the old games that I've got underneath my bed. Because I got CDs under my bed from when I was a kid. So I've got like I literally got the box of GTA Vice City. Um I got like Pink Panther, got like the Bugs Bunny Looney Tunes games. I got like a good gaggle of them underneath my bed, and I know there's more in the attic. I know there's more. So I really want to go up there. I want to find all the floppy disks, because I'm sure my dad hasn't thrown those out. And if he has, I'm gonna be really cross. Really, really cross. I'm still kind of low-key crossing myself for selling my entire Sims 1 collection. So I could afford Sims 2. Hello, Melissa. How you doing? What's up, down? How's it going? Hope you're good. Right. Should we jump into the game? Should we do it? Is it time? I think it's time. The attic hell now, creepy. Uh, I actually like attics. Like, I really like attics. I love exploring through them, especially when they're filled with stuff. I love it. Absolutely loves it. Our attic is a little bit creepy because we got a load of have, um, Halloween decorations up there, but it's good. Let's go game. <laughs> 24 past midnight. Mm -hmm. 25 um, past double O. Mm -hmm. We live in the land of Ish. We have uh, the full um, experience of transporting to another realm. It was American or any place with an attic or basement. I padlocked both and never opened them. That's where all the spooky starts. I probably would be what that idiot would that would enter and be like, hello. <gasps> Wait, what's free on Epic? Oh, oh, oh! I remember now. They've got um, brrr, 
they actually got a game. Those X Mankind divided. Um, can I can I get that? Before I open Alan Wake 2. Sorry, I'm just gonna get this before it goes away forever. <laughs> Give me that. I want it. I want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. Place the order. I don't want I want it for free, please. Thank you. I've never played a Dose X game. <laughs> never have. I heard really good things about them. There we are. Cool, it's in my library now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jack. How you doing? What's up, Stan? Snooky. How you doing? What's up, Stan? How's it going? I hope you're good. Ish. We are in the land of ish. It's like 12-ish. Nearly one-ish. Sounds something-ish. Amazing games. Those X. I've never played them. I hope to play them at some point. Any dusty room that has tons of stuff you've got about is fun to explore. Exactly. That is why I love going to antique shops. Especially ones that are like piled high with stuff. Because you never know what you're going to find. Those X had some problem with their business model. Oh. Oh, but the game should be good. Oh, it's one of those, is it? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> right, let's put Alan Wake 2, shall we? Let's get into the game. Boot it, boot it, boot it, boot it. Boot it! This. The only thing I know about this X is uh, Mega 64 skit. I know nothing about it. Other than people have told me, like, Oh, Uki, you should play it. You'd like him. Like, why? And they're like, won't tell you. It's like, okay. I'll put it in my list of one day I'll, I'll try and see about getting that. Oh, Snooky, Snooky, yes! And you know what you want else not know? Snooky Shogun. Go and check out Snooky. Snooky is glorious. Fellow Welshy. It's weird how Snooky's got the same sort of name as I do. <laughs> Snooky Ooky. It's weird. <laughs> but Snooky's a fellow Welshy. Absolutely lovely. Plays a wide array of oldie games, especially Resi's. Does a load of challenge runs. If you love challenge runs, Snooky is your boy -o absolutely lush go and check him out give him love give him head pats he's so funny so funny give him love i dare you i dare you you will not regret it oh it's sneaky oh yeah in that order day no <laughs> oh no not like that order hello Razio. and someone's down how's it going i hope you're good i snuck into stream so sneaky watch people are having an at the end of the name shaking my head what well, I have thought, thought about seeing if Twitch will let me just be called Uki. <laughs> Uki or Ooks, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the mist makes me a bit more formal, you know? You're too kind. Oh, you know. I just, I try my best. I try my best. Let me in! Right! Ugh, we've got some things to yell about. Thank you, Chance! Thank you. <laughs> Ookifer? I mean, I guess I could do Ookifer, but I also feel like, ooh... Do I want to be known as Lucy? Because Lucifer? Hmm, curious. Anyway, anyone who has not joined me for Alan Wake, welcome to Alan Wake. Today is part... Part five of playing through it. I've been playing it for the past two weeks on the weekends. And today is the fifth time of me jumping back into the game. It's my first ever playthrough, so please respect my rules. Or oh, no backseating and no spoilers. Tell me nothing. Pretend this game just came out today and you yourself know nothing. Unless I ask for help, then maybe give me some tips and tricks. But other than that, tell me nothing. I love the childish wonder of exploring a game and just getting knee deep in exploring and figuring things out. It makes me feel like I've got a big brain even if I don't. So let me try and suffer a little bit because it makes me feel a bit rewarded when I actually get the things right, you know? Uh, there is some trigger warnings in this game. There is a little bit of gore, a little bit of gore. There is jump scares in it. There has been corpses. I'm going to put corpses into the trigger one because not everybody wants to see a dead body. <laughs> um, and there is also flashing imagery. So if you're photosensitive or anything alike that may be having difficulty with things flashing at you a lot, this game has a lot of flashing lights. A lot of it. So I'm just putting that out there for you guys. Please take care of yourselves. If any of these trigger warnings are making you feel a little bit like, oh no, please take care of yourself. That is the biggest thing. Don't suffer. Just because you want to hang out, you know? Um, I always yell on Instagram when I'm done with a game. So just check my little blog posts every week. I always post them around sometime from Monday to Friday with a little recap of what's gone on on the weekend. Um, and I always say when a game is done. So keep your eyes peeled. It won't... I don't actually know how much longer we got in this game, but it feels like we got forever. <laughs> but I will yell when the game is over. Miss Lucy will be a nice name. It will be, but my name's not Lucy. Is Lucy playing the newer game that came out today? Yes, I am. I'm playing Alan Wake 2 for the first time. <gasps> I managed to get it before it released. <laughs> I have played a game just for music. I remember playing Tank, um, Tank on PS1. Music had me mesmerized. The one that had me mesmerized was Audiosif. Audiosif with that little car that used to go... That used to be the boy for me. I know nothing of this Alan Wake 2 in general. That just came out today. 
<laughs> and heck, they heck, Virginia's beware. Oh my, oh my, how you doing with mugs? What's up, Stan? How's it going? If you feel like blah, blah, blah from the trigger warnings, you better go and be like sad because you, <laughs> you can't, no, don't do that. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, please take care of yourselves because I get it. It's like when you, um, sit through something that makes you uncomfortable, even though you just want to hang out with your mates and you're like, oh, I don't know. Listen to your eternals, take care of you, you know? Um, oh, you said, damn, that's a blast from past. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll always make everyone feel really old all of a sudden. Hello, Abby. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? What's up? What's down? And the other thing to yell about is, let's see, trigger warnings. No packs, no spoilers. Cutscenes. If a character is talking in game and I want to listen to it or there is a cutscene going on, I try my best to remain as quiet as I possibly can. Although saying that, I do kind of laugh along and go, ha, ha, ha. but I do try my best to listen. So I employ I'm just going to yell at you guys that if I ignore you, it's, yeah. I'm ignoring you. I am genuinely ignoring any alerts or anything going on in chat. I do look over and read what you guys say, but I won't be responding until after the cutscene is gone. So, sorry, but not sorry. You're gonna get ignored. If you really want me to read it out loud what you've written, please just wait until after the cutscene, after we've passed it, after I've had like a little moment to reflect on it, and then copy and paste it then. Um, I probably don't like tapping it out of the game just to scroll up because... Scrolling up on Obia sucks, to be honest with you. And actually, I might be getting a third monitor very, very soon. So that I'll have a better chance of being able to keep up with chat. So there is that soon. Very soon. <laughs> I just every excuse I got to use the emotes. Yeah, everyone's going to be so depressed. <laughs> to be fair, I do love it. Uki ignoring you just look like this. Oh, no. <laughs> He's so depressy. Hey, Oaks, I just cooked a big breakfast with Dad and I. Got my parents' donuts. I'm off work and all, um, off all weekend. So time for beer while I watch. Nice. Hope you enjoy the donuts. Hello, Stalkama. How you doing? What's up? It's Dan. How's it going? I don't care what anyone thinks. Uh, just be chill. I feel that. Just be chill. You know what? Let's turn down the light. Let's make it a little bit darker in here. Why not? Get the full immersion. Third money. Let's go. Hell yeah. Right. We're going in. We're going in. So if you want to avoid spoilers, this is your time to either look away and pretend you're not watching or genuinely run away. If you are genuinely running away, may the rest of your day be glorious. I'll catch you very shortly, I'm sure, around the internet. Um, three more weeks until it will be a lot more active online again. Uh, I can't do it in this job. It's just one of those things. But very, very, very soon. I wish more people could be chill. Same, to be honest. RVH, how you doing? What's up with Dan? How's it going? Hope you're good. But yeah, three monitor. I'm so excited. It's because we've got a new monitor. <laughs> a brand new monitor and went, do you want this one? I was like, sure. So I just need to buy a stand for it and see where I can actually put it on my desk because I don't know where I can put it, <laughs> to be honest with you. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. I have no idea where I'm going to put it. I might have to move this camera over here to come up over there, but then I'm going to be interacting with this. But I also need to move this over there. <gasps> Maybe because I do think about moving my GoXLR over here. Oh, that's going to be a bit weird to get used to to move it over here. But I could move my GoXLR over here and then put the money by here. Get in there. <laughs> um, I swear it has its own soundtrack in my head. To me, it has like Bittersweet Symphony. It also has a little bit of, um. oh, what's that other song? Oh, what's that other song in my head? I also hear a little bit of Tattoo. I also hear a little bit of, um, there's another one that came out around that, um, Mad World. That's the one that I hear most of all. The, -na 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 Mad World. That's what I hear when I see that emote. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. Still snooky and got my fingers itching for some more Ari again. Play Ari! Do it! <laughs> Sadness and Sorrow from Naruto. Oh, that's also a good one. <laughs> it has its own vibe. Right, quick save. If you guys were not here before, quick run up of what's going on. We are playing as Alan Wake. We have found him. He's been missing for 10 odd years, thereabouts. I think it's more like 15 years. Um, but he's been missing for years and years and years. And then suddenly, people are starting to wash up ashore and getting murdered in a cult like ritual. Uh, that has something to do with the clicker. It sounds like Mr. Scratch is still about. The darkness is still infecting the lands of Bright Falls. And we're trying to solve the mystery. It's. I wish I could explain more than that, but it's really bloody hard without explaining the entire lore of the game. <laughs> if you do want to keep up on the lore, uh, I do have all the VODs on YouTube. I'm not self-plugging, I'm just saying that if you want to know what's going on in the world, they are all there from Alan Wake 1 all the way to through Control. They're all there if you want to check them out, they are there. If, if you want them. Heck, anyway, it starts, I started blasting. You started blasting! Oh no. Okay, it's Saturday. It is Mr. Obi. How you doing? What's up with Dan? How's it going? Hope you're good. So no lore drop allowed here. Oh, I'm gonna ban Uki if she starts dropping. I won't drop any lore. 
We've had enough of that. Right. There is a shadow boy out here. Wake. What? Oh, <laughs> that sounded like it was right in my butt. Oh, no, that's a mannequin. Where are you? Is he... Not awake. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you butthole. How about you? Wake. What? Gotta be honest with you, since switching my headphones out, everything sounds a lot scarier. <laughs> that was way weird to cry. Okay. We've got to solve a mystery. There's like a murder mystery going on in this area. We've got to solve it to carry on woods. Now go play some Hellsinger. Enjoy, Hellsinger! Have a good one. Ba -ba -ba. Another reminder for those who play Sims 4 there is a backyard park, backyard stuff pack. Free on Steam and PlayStation. Can't speak for any of the others, but that's what's going on at the moment. Right, if I go into my mind palace, it's not my mind palace, that's the other lady, but close enough in a potato tomato. We have a map that we can explore everything on. We are here. Mm hmm. A couple locked doors. Yeah, Echo. Oh, yeah, I found that. We've got a plot board. Words of power, television, and we've got our radio. I'm not going to listen to anything on the radio because we've listened to it all before. What's in here? You saw the tag? You are alt? I, I am alt, yes. I I am an alternative lady. I don't know if that does... What? <laughs> Mild headache, so I watch flashlights to calm myself. I feel that. It's like when you uh, work on a monitor all day. You work on a monitor all day, and so you go into the cinema to go and treat yourself. <laughs> to go and stare on a bigger screen in the dark instead. It does? Oh! It's short for alternative. I had no idea. Cool, thank you for teaching me some German. Um, old and Welsh. What is old and Welsh? I don't think I've ever called someone old and Welsh. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. Sorry, wants a lull, damn it, every time. <laughs> it's okay. You're allowed to lull. Right, we need to go down here. There is a another door that we can enter. Another door. It's curious that they got all these doors with patterns on it. So, Cam, have you played this game before? No spoilers, obviously, but have you played this game before? Right, I can change out the plot board for the final scene, right? Yeah, the pre-show ritual. I can't speak. Hmm. Oh, the that didn't help. Change with the story. Oh, that didn't open up 108. I think that's way. What's this? What's the that? troop were busy building their own wicker man, where they themselves would be sacrificed. Oh. Excuse me. Can you back off? And you. Ugh, creepy shadows. And what's in here? The prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. Mm hmm Move these props to room uh, 225 for the later use in the ballroom play. All right. Can I, only I can spoil the game. Insert evil laughter. Nope. Not allowed. No one's allowed. No one. I even smacked my friend's wrists if they try to spoil a game from me. <laughs> Can't open that. Okay. 104? Oh, that's ominous, isn't it? Look at that, it's got a bloody red light. Great. <laughs> Definitely gonna die in here, aren't I? Uh, 104? Come on, buttercup. Mm. Hello? Oh. It's a bit creepy in here. That's a little bit creepy. Anything on the tip there? Nope, nothing on the TV. Oh, that's a lady. Thing over here. Oh, I thought that was a violin table. I was going to be like, that's sick. It's not. <laughs> Anything in here? Any loot? We have got some bullets. Nice. We'll never say no to bullets. Anything in here? Oh, what's on the frame? Oh, it's a diving suit. That must be in reference to uh, Mr. Zane, right? It's got to be. Ooh. This feels like the bloody shining. Too many mannequins everywhere. Anything in the bath? Nope. Okay. Ah! Ah! There's too many bloody mannequins in here. Too many bloody mannequins. Where's this door go then? 
Oh. Wait. What? Wait a minute. That makes no bloody sense. Open up. What? That is so confusing. Well, alrighty then. Sure. It's another quick save spot, right? Okay. Thank you for the look, by the way. Oh, are you a baddie? You are a baddie. Nope, 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 no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. In the head, in the head, in the head. Oh, it's another one. It's another. Oh, and another. Not today, lads. Come on, Alvin. Whoa. Oh, shotty. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't reload. Please reload. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Why can I only have two bullets at once? This is horrible. No! Jeez, mate. Oh, bloody hell. I'm going to take some bloody painkillers. <sighs> Sausages. Great. Love that for me. Reload everything. What a bunch of bum holes. Okay. It's another red room. With some arrows on the floor. Hmm. One needs a 224, the other one's a 223. What's in this one? It's an ominous sound in here. Hello. So everyone had a good day today so far? Been up to anything exciting? Ooh, what's in the briefcase? Oh, flashbangs. Yeah, I'll take those. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> oh. Yeah, my day's just been really, really nice so far. I did wake up about seven, though. I did wake up about seven, and I had an instant, like, nah. <laughs> I took myself back to bed. I was not quite ready for the day yet. I'll come back for those bullets. I'm going to go and shove some things into the storage box. Oh. Didn't realize now the new parkour, but here we are. Do, 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 do. No, I'm excited to sleep. Oh, rest well, Nawabe. It's nice to see you. Hope you have a lovely rest. Till we speak again. Kick butt, chew bubblegum, okay? Have a good one. Do, 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 do. What's that? Flare gun ammo. Nice. I'm going to move the... Hmm. I'm going to keep the flashbangs, but I'm going to move the... The little, 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 what you call them. <laughs> My English is so ski whiff at the moment. Uh, keep the flare ammo there. You're across the world, that is true. It is annoying, in it? But rest well. I hope you have. Whoa. Aww, are they back again? They did not respawn. No. Stop using my batteries. You bum holes. Please rest well. Have a lovely rest of your... Well, rest of your tomorrow. <laughs> it counts. I you playing Shadow Mordor this morning. Oh, really? What is Shadow Mordor like? I've heard about it. It's always been one of those games that pops up on my Steam. But I've never played it. What's it like? Ooh. Hello? I know where the prop's at. Where the prop's at? That's a lot of beer. Like Mordor with shadows. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, I'm silly me. I should have known. <laughs> Thank you, Mixie. I would have never known. Oh, TV! Oh, it's another episode of Door. Hang on. Anything good? Sometimes a quaint small town. Sometimes a hulking metropolis. Different every time we set upon the road. Does Mordor have shadows? Asks to the eight ball. Satisfying sound in it. It's open world, is it? I thought it was linear. Give me an answer. Oh, I can't see with this much light. Too dark. Signs point to yes. Apparently so. Apparently there is shadows in Mordor. <laughs> see me. 
Mounting new season of mind bending up road. Written by Alan Wake. Ooh! I this is Night host, Springs? Orlin Dor. And I will see you soon. In. Mm. Night Springs. I was wondering if we're going to see an episode of Night Springs. Come on then. I'm ready. I'm not having that. Give me my show. <laughs> I'm playing it again. Excuse me. Night Springs. A special place. A shifting space. Existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Sometimes a quaint small town. Sometimes a hulking metropolis. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. And yet, like a half-remembered echo of a fading dream, always familiar to us. These are the stories that take place there. More inspiring, macabre, terrifying, heartbreaking, nail-biting, absurd, and thrilling. Sometimes all of these things at once. A haunting new season of mind-bending episodes. Oh, I see. Written by Alan Wake. It's an advertisement. Warland Door, and I will see you soon in. I wish it was an actual episode, though. Well, it's fine, I suppose. You know, listen to the Night Springs intro. It's so good. Yes, it's so good. So, so good. I was wondering if we're going to get, like, an actual play of it. Can I please go under here? Oh, that's not Crouch. Was that Crouch? That's not Crouch. Is this Crouch? That's not Crouch. This Crouch? Oh, excuse you. That was a sound and a half, Mr. Allen. Nope. Crouch, Crouch, why? Nope. B? Nope. Oh, shush, you stupid shadows. Stupid shadows. Though you must remember that one does simply not walk to Mordor. But what if I want to walk to Mordor? What if I want to? Yay, my mum. Ooh. Looks like that came out of nowhere then. Oh, get out of it. Shoo. Okay. Mm. Hey, Fagoth, how you doing? What's up with Dan? How's it going? I feel good. Right, I can't go under... Oh, yes, I bloody well can. Okay, you know I'm going to shoot the door. I'm gonna... Oh, wait. Hmm. Go into my mind palace. Surely I should be able to do something about this, right? Huh. What if I press the pre-show ritual? I wonder if that changes things. <gasps> Synopsis! Oh, God! I would always synopsify Alan Wake in its entirety to be able to make sense of it. Um... Oh God, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's a lot. <laughs> the synopsis so far of Alan Wake 2, it's going to sound a little bit confusing because you kind of need the knowledge of the other ones, but basically Alan Wake has been missing for 15 odd years and, um, he's only just reappeared in the ocean, well, ocean, from the uh, Cauldron Lake, being found by an FBI agent called Saga. Saga seems to be a little bit more uh, intertwined with the land more than we ever thought. She has missing memories or everyone else has got misplaced memories. Either way, Alan Wake's story is now ended. He has still got manuscripts written all over the place and we are trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Does that help? Because it doesn't. There, there's no way to synopsify what the hell is going on right now because even I don't really know. Like, I got a grasp of the, the world we're in, but to explain it... <laughs> Dude, you are asking a lot <laughs> without me having to go through the entire game franchise <laughs> uh, to be able to, like, explain things. And I don't have all day to sit here and explain everything, but that's the quickest way I can explain things right now. I'm Gracious and Prince and Fall. Listen, man, I got two to join my Dungeon and Keeper RL. Only two died from torture. Oh, well done. Sounds like a productive day. I'll see you in three minutes. <laughs> okay, Mixie. Are you? Because I'm good, thank you. Tired, but good. I'm going to rewrite the reality and sing Ukrainian, but am I, I not? I to be at the scene, to see and understand it, in order to change it. Okay. Fine. I guess. Sure. <laughs> do, 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 do. So there was something in 224 that I needed, but I can't find the thing I needed. But it feels like that is a faux board. I can't move the faux board. Hmm. I can waste the pistol ammo, right? Yeah. I could do that. Nudgy, nudgy, nudge. Act away. <laughs> uh, quick reload. 
Anything good in here? We've got a fragile boxes. A fragile. Got a nice little pot. Nothing else in here that I can see. Feels like there should be a word of power or something in here. Ah, oh, there it is. Found it. Found it. Oh. There you go. Stop being um, Omega Brain. Can't help it. My brain is just massive and throbbing all the time. <laughs> um, bonk. I'm sorry, Adam, but what is that sound? That was a sound and a half. Um, I thought you had to change the environment. No. No, not at all. Not yet, anyway. And it's a simple puzzle. That is true. If it's a simple puzzle, then I'm lost. <laughs> Everyone, in about one minute's time, we have got three minutes of adverts coming up. They happen every 57 minutes, give or take. So they happen basically every hour. Uh, this is just to prevent anyone from being thrown into adverts randomly. At least this way I can warn you when adverts happen. And it also means that I can get up and have a little break myself so that I can go and stretch, go to the loo and do all the things I need to do. So I implore you to do some self-care during, uh, uh, during the ad break. Go and take your meds, take your bits, go and get a drink, get a snack. Go and warm yourselves up. Actually, in the ad break, I'm going to go and sort out the electric blanket as well and get myself all nice and toasty again. Uh, but go and take care of yourselves in the ad breaks. It's a great opportunity to do some self-care for your future self. Go, Troy, you've been avoiding all day. You've got three minutes to do it. Not three minutes. Make it a challenge. I believe in you. I bet you'll nail the day. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. <laughs> oh, sorry, Sig. Sorry. <laughs> Sig, thank you for the gift on um, Steam, by the way. I've been wanting to play Rusty Lake forever. Thank you. How you doing? What's up, what's down? How's it going? So true. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks. It's almost 9 a.m. and my dad's gone by crying. Glad I fed him eggs, fried potatoes, and sausage and bacon. It'll fuel him. That it will. With a triangle in the triangle hole, we can smash the triangle and square. Why won't this work? I just have a need, okay? I have a need. Anyway, adverts are about to start. I'm going to turn up the music and see you guys off the ads, okay? And then we're just going to keep on roaming. This way I can pause the game and no one misses anything. So here's the music. Have a party. See you guys in a second.
Welcome back, everyone. Hope the habits were not too long, Tings. I got my electric blanket on my butt. Everything's good. <laughs> Hello, Kara. How you Welcome doing? Welcome back, operator. Uh, thanks, J Zig. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> How you doing, Kara? What's, what's done? How's it going? Enjoy your look. Don't feel like you have to respond. I just remember what you just said. But have a good one. Bloody hell, Zig. Keep going for it. La 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 la. Two, two, two. Can't go in two, two, two. Can't go in two, two, one. Did anyone do anything nice when he had a break? Hello, Papa Rap. What's up, Stan? Hope you're good. No, don't eat me. Or attack me. Two, two, nine. Two, nineteen, even. Two, nineteen. Oh, that's horrible. Can I close the door behind me? Can I, can I like, not have them enter? That would be nice. Okay. Hello, Cubert. That's almost done. How's it going with you? I hope you're good. I'll take that. Can't pick up the flare. Oh, it's another safe spot, is it? Very creepy. Very creepy. Uh, eh? Yoink. Oh. What did I change? That's a lot of, uh, vases. A lot of vases. I think I change over there. In spite of feeling cold and decided to whack the open the window, something my brain said fresh air. It's good for you. It's good for the place as well. Get some ventilation going. Cleanses things. I think. 202? No. Whoa, rehearsal This is where room. they gathered before the play. This is where it began. Bloody hell, how does it make sense of all this place? It's all a bit wobbly. Very wobbly. Okay then, let's go to our plot board. Let's make it exciting. Rehearsal room. Pre-show ritual. Plus Oscar did the worst poop I've ever smelled. Ooh. <laughs> oh no. Mm. Delicious, what's the kind you can smell? Another idea. Another idea? Ooh. Uh, oh my, there's so many vases. It'd be such a shame so I broke all of them. If I had a baseball bat, I'd be fully going for it. But I ain't wasting precious ammo. I need my ammo. Why set up a play in a hotel? Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Did we summon the same thing? Tapped into something horrifying? It, it seemed like it was part of the play. But it wasn't. Does that sound crazy? You don't want to ask me about crazy, kid. A haunted hotel. Yes. That's a trope for a reason. Mm-hmm. About to enter the bloody shining now. Ocean View, isn't that from Bloodlines? I think you might be right, Fagoth. I think you might be bloody right. I thought it was sounding familiar, but I was like, oh, it must have just been early in the games. I think you might be right, you know. That'd be one hell of a, like, uh, a linkage. <laughs> I summoned Dark Magician, Attack Magician. Oh, but you triggered my face down trap card. I can't remember the name of it, but it's the one where you fall in a pit. Ha ha. <laughs> LGD dead. What's up, Stan? How's it going? I hope you're good. Right, let's change it. Let's change it again. We're gonna go for haunted. We're gonna die. Haunted. <laughs> uh, that's what's gonna happen, huh? <laughs> Not the trap the hole. Change the details of the world. Ooh. Yep, this looks a lot less friendly, doesn't it? Okay. Yep, that's that's groovy. At least it was not the square home. Stop it! You bunch of bullies! 
<laughs> Come on stream just to get heckled. <laughs> I deserve it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ooh. Bloody yeah, this place is ooh. Oh, I thought it was jam then. I was gonna be like, oh no. Oh no, I need to sneeze. Oh god. Oh, oh. oh. I was trying my best not to make that be the biggest sneeze in the entire world. <laughs> Did I succeed? What's in here? Have I been in here? Oh, TV! Darling? Darling! What are you doing? Well, <laughs> talk to darlings about. There's Yuki, thank you, it stings. <laughs> if I don't like desserts, Anna would love cake. What did I roll? What did I roll? Did I roll a success? Did I get a perfect 20? A nat 20? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to re-binge into BG3. I haven't played it in weeks, ready for when this contract ended. I'm kind of like, really ready to just have my soul sucked into it again. I sure hope I don't get sent the timeout corner. <laughs> I hope I don't get sent into the time I call. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's what you sound like. <laughs> That's when you're Oi! 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 Bloody hell, mate. Whoa, 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 crowbar, you crowbar. Oh, oh, I can't dodge. You are a meanie. Oh, no! Hello, Zip. How you doing? What's up, Sam? How's it going? Hope you're good. But, but, it's really trying my hardest there. Ah, crit failure. <laughs> Stepped on a trap. <laughs> oh, where am I now? When did the last order save? Maybe I like the punishment corner. I mean, what? Don't say it like that. It sounds naughty. Kind of, yeah, I'm gonna stop right there. Because <laughs> I'll fall into my own pit. I didn't die like you, so I'm good. Oh, we're sassy today, aren't we? We got a bunch of sassy butts. I see how it is. I see how it is. I failed once, and you're all like, eh, me, 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 eh, me, 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 me. Uh, you died. Like, Thanks, guys. Thanks. Rubbing some salt in the wound, huh? So lovely. So lovely. <laughs> La 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 la. Let's do this again. Me 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 me. That's what you sound like. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> and yoink. And off we go. <laughs> Not the salt. Not the bees. Not the bees. La 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 la. Do you wanna know a fun fact? This is where they gathered before the play. Might this have. This is where uh, it began. Might have been practicing the dance from the other day. I have been practicing the dance. I'm still really pantsed it. But when I go and get my uh Another my hot vision. wobble, he did it work. Another idea. Oh yeah, been practicing the dance. I haven't even watched that many of my own streams. Hmm. Why should I you the dance we drink? Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? Blah 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 blah. No, no. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Did we summon the same thing? Tapped into something horrifying? It, it seemed like it was part of the play, but it wasn't. Does that sound crazy? You don't want to ask me about crazy kid. <laughs> We're all mad hotel. here. Anyway, haunted. Yes. Let's keep making That's progress. That's a trope for a reason. Haunted. Let's go. Let's smash it. Nice. We're not going to get smacked up. Why shadow boys? We're not. We're going to make it through this time. Ballroom blitz. Oh, don't say about... Hey! <laughs> 
about 15 to 20 minutes uh, from being cozy in bed watching a stream but it's morning should go out and be active or you know it's your weekend you do whatever you want to i would probably just sit in bed if i wasn't streaming right now or stand on the sofa playing games i was like no it's just because of the utter randomness <laughs> I was like, there was a moment i was like i don't remember that happening <laughs> oh no but ballroom blitz did smack tell you about the ballroom blitz is this why you bring it up to me now or is it just happy coincidence it Can't could not be there. opened on the side. Oh, <gasps> gasp! Uh -huh. I'm gonna watch it just to get the log of Dr. Darling. I kind of miss Dr. Darling. A little bit. And his fun little recordings. Oh, Dr. Darling. Where now? No. Ah, it's those things again. Those things again. If you know, you know. <laughs> I work at night though. Oogs all night. Ah, that's fair. That is true. That is true. I know. I'm pulling your leg. It's Matt said nothing. The voice said ballroom. Okay, good. I thought Smart brought up. <gasps> Where are you? Breaker. Breaker. I couldn't get in. I was missing something. Missing room 209's key. I want in. I want in. I want to speak to my buddy. To Whoa! Jeez, mate. I was going to ignore you, you know, but no, now I'm going to pop you on the noon. Pop. Pop. Yeah, you could have had a nice, peaceful shadow life, but no. You decided to be a bumhole. Oh, it's the control door again. I wonder why these doors are all... It's gotta be linked to the Ocean View Motel. Or was it Lake View Motel? I can't remember the name of it, but it's gotta be linked to... Oh, I gotta have to bust that down, don't I? Um, it's gotta be linked to that motel, huh? It's gotta be. There's no way it isn't. Hmm. Can I bop it? Bop it. Bop. Bop. That... Oh, I wasted a battery there. I'm an idiot. Bop. Oh! Invincible cups. Well, that's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. It's fine, love. I can tell you right now, Toad, my back is as straight as possible. It's the straightest thing about me right now. <laughs> How you doing, Toad? I hope you're good. Nice. Once it was down, I hope you're good. Open up. Hmm. It's all very loop-de-loop, -loop, isn't it? It's very loop-de-loop. Remember, ask my bathroom Ritz. No! You need to know nothing. Nothing about it. Room 209. Yes. Thank you. Hey, friend! Hey, Tim. New I map, huh? Yep. Look, I've never been to New York, but I can tell you that this ain't it. <laughs> Noted. What's in this uh, drawer over here, huh? Nice, you got a microwave. That's nice. That's good. Chicky microwavable snacks. He does seem to like to go on adventures a lot, doesn't he? So I found out my GF had another BF alongside me. Didn't want me to know. Oh, there's an ah, oh, right? As in, you're not into it? Because that sucks if you're not into it. That has such a poopy behavior. Oh. Oh. I'm assuming that's the way you're saying it the way you are. That's such bum hole -ish behavior. I hope she hasn't wasted too much of your time. Why would you even do that? I don't understand. I literally cannot fathom that sort of behavior at all. Do you hear that? I heard you humming. I heard you humming again. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't get this song out of my head. It's a real earworm. I heard it in my dreams. I know the song you're humming. I know that song you keep humming. It's 
The theme from Night Springs. That old sci-fi show? Sci-fi horror anthology. I used to write for a long time ago. Look, it sounds a bit nuts, but I think the song is connected to Door. Or, it's my subconscious telling me that this is all pretty out there. <laughs> what makes you say that it's out there right now? Hey, Sebby! How you doing, Sebby? What's up, what's down? How's it going? It's been a hot minute. How's Tekken? I was watching Weeb play Tekken. Weeb's my partner. He's been playing it downstairs. He's been playing Tekken. It looks so sick. So sick. Tekken 9. No, Tekken 8. It's 8 in it. So pretty. So, so pretty. How you doing, Sebi? Anyone anyway, watching who does not know Sebi Webs, go and check out Sebi. Sebi is hilarious. Proper Aussie. Really proper Aussie. I don't know how to say in a proper Welsh accent. Can't do an Aussie accent. But he's lush. Go and check out Sebi Webs. It's equally loud. Caps lockage. Banterage. Go and give him love, give him head pats. I dare you. Zebby's one of my favorite people to go and lurk in because he always makes me smile. <laughs> He's so funny. I does massive long streams as well. Go and check him out. Give him love. Tekken 8 is great, but very sweaty. It looks sweaty. How do you like the new characters? It goes like, I'm blue. Dabby dee, dabby da. I know it's Kelly Boy. What's up? What's down with you? How's it going? And this game is fantastic, um, Seb. I've been playing it since uh, January. I started with Alan Wake 1, did the DLCs, then American Nightmare, then Control, plus Control's DLCs. And now we just started Alan Wake 2 two weeks ago. It's so good. We've been doing the whole, like, universe of it. It's been so, 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 so good to go through it that way because I've been seeing a lot of head nods to the previous games on DLCs that you wouldn't have noticed if you haven't played those be yeah, like before. So good. So good. Do you have a shout? You're welcome. Me next, right? I hope so. I mean, she had told me from beforehand I wouldn't have a problem because I'm polyamorous myself, but the fact she kept a secret from me is what got me annoyed. I would be, though, break trust to me. Communication is key. Communication is always key. Do you need to play Alan Wake to understand this? No, you don't. But it would help with understanding the world a lot more. I feel like it would give you a greater idea of what to expect in Alan Wake 2. Although Alan Wake 2 does flip it on its head a little bit because it's completely different. But it'll help you understand the world that is going on in it. Um, understand the characters and a lot of head nods back. Because it does pretty much go back to Alan Wake 1. It's worth doing in my opinion. Very, very worth doing. You should do Alan Wake. Join me. Do Alan Wake. It's what I've been doing. Right, Mr. Tim, I'm going to have a look at your board. I'm going to see what's the difference with Miss Door on it. Let's have a look. Is there anything new here? Door went missing in 1988. Age has not... Yeah, we read this. Mm, Uncle Frank would have known more, but he is dead. Not his real name. Hidden meaning. But then we also have... Remember, I was at the morgue. Yeah, he was at the morgue, and then he transplanted here. Okay, I might do a wake one, but not control. Why not control? Why not control? Because control has a DLC that directly goes into two of sorts. <laughs> uh, the redhead woman connected to the door, her identity changes, connected to polyhedron, she'll become for me. I don't think she will, but she might do. Who, where, why, motive, facts. Any new facts? No new facts. Just wants to know about the redheaded woman would be Jessie. This is place a dream feels like it's not real. Now New York, not NYC. Away to other places, a nexus is the door of the gatekeeper. We're trying to get somewhere, everywhere. Door, gate, portal, port, opening, access, window. I think you need a new whiteboard, bud, but cool. <laughs> All right then, where are we going next? You gave me a map, which should make it a bit easier to navigate. But we'll see. What are you playing at the moment, uh, Sebi? Are you playing, uh, still playing Tekken or you onto something new? Little podium. That's cute. Little podium. Like, join us for our murder mystery. Oh, no. It's a ballroom. The ballroom would be the stage of a key scene in the play. In my experience, ballrooms are usually a bad sign. But what do we have here? Key? 101. Nice. Cheeky quick save. I'm going to do a manual save. Go on. Overwrite it. Nice. I basically didn't need to. But you know what? Yeah, given the opportunity, gonna use it. I'm doing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth right now. It does some things well, but completely disowned. A little ruined the story. Curious. I've never played any of the Final Fantasy games apart from 14 and 15. The online years ago. And the boy band. <laughs> That's the only two I've played out of the entire uh, franchise. I would love to play more one day. Seriously. 
No, 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 no. I want to put the things over there. I want to play Rebirth at some point. That means I can't watch you because I'm trying to avoid spoilers because I really want to play it at some point. I mean, like, I just want to play the entire, like, as many other remakes of Final Fantasy as possible. One day. One day. Shiny Cursed and all ballrooms. Mm hmm. I'm expecting bad things to happen, not gonna lie. Gonna go on the outskirts. Oh, it's posh in here, isn't it? A bit dusty, but posh. Oh, I feel like I have to go up there. Do I have to go up there? What's at the bar? Any good snacks? Car pushing simulator? <laughs> it's so good, though. I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Now, since I played Parasite Eve, I've actually gained a lot of love for a turn-based combat, which is why I want to play the older ones now. <laughs> Uh, FF9 and FF7 are fantastic voice act, but if you ever do those on stream, cool! I'm bad at voice acting, but I give her a good little uh, roll. <laughs> if I was to play Final Fantasy, it'd 100% be on stream. <laughs> because I would need everyone to wave their pom-poms so that I feel like I'm like crushing the game. <laughs> crushing the game while I'm also failing at the turn-based combat. <laughs> bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. What's this? Hello? Nothing there? Alright, you want me to do something, huh? Alright, let's have a jog. Let's go to our plot board. Oh, the frames! Alright, plot board. Let's have a look. Ballroom. Uh, let's go into the pre-show ritual and then we'll try Haunted. Oh, the God! Changes shake the world around me. Alright, Blair Witch. <laughs> Jesus, that's cr kind of creepy. Oh, more DM mask. All right, what does it say? Play schedule, 2023. Rehearsal in room, move to room 202. Rehearsal in room, move to room 202. Pre-show ritual, premiere. Yeah. Remember, hit your marks, keep your masks on, and make it weird. I can tell you right now, you don't need masks to make it weird, but it helps, I suppose. Do, 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 do. For anyone who's wondering what's going on right now, we are in Ocean View Hotel in the darkness. Which is like a world from our world. And essentially, we are trying to navigate the hotel to get answers of what's going on here. We have to kind of solve a murder. Now, there's a murder mystery party that has happened in the hotel. It's like one of those uh, LARP plays of sorts where actors are kind of like um, doing what you call it. Blah, blah, blah. The yes and tactic of acting together about the ritual. And something bad's happened here. So clearly someone's been moited. So we got to figure out the moiter to get answers. There's a lot of crime solving in this one. The cult in the play was called the Cult of the Tree. Yep. With their deer masks, they were the backwoods echo of the cult of the words urban horror. Mm-hmm. Yep. I know that much. Okay. Let's change it to Haunted. <laughs> I was planning to see like, um, ooh, flippy floop, flip, flip, flip it back. Thank you. <laughs> it's a king thing. No, it's not a king thing. If it was a spicy game, I wouldn't be playing it on stream now, would I? Or would I? Oh. Oh! It's getting real, all right. Oh, yeah. I recognize my writer's room on the stage. Yeah. That is definitely his little typewriter. What's going on up here, then? What's that about? Bong Chan, okay. <laughs> Sorry for being cheeky. Hello? Oh, it's another one. What a nice set you got here. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him, and he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess, Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you, but turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was, shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. 
He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. Great. Great. Go on then. Summon the devil. Why don't we? Why not? It's a bloody Saturday. We got all Sunday to sort it out, right? <laughs> I wonder. How did you not... Obviously, dildos is an auto-ban word. Didn't trigger even automatic experiment over. Got your cheese... Got you a cheeseburger you didn't ask for because that's life, okay? Thank you for the cheeseburger. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll eat that later. Thank you. <laughs> you donut. <laughs> I was watching. I could hear the door. I was like, did you just leave and go somewhere? <laughs> Thank you for the cheeseburger. Bested boy. An Iceland cheeseburger? I don't know, but it's a cheeseburger. I love cheeseburgers. Thank you, weep. Wouldn't that Max Payne game will tie into this uh, somehow? I wonder. I do want to play Max Payne at some point this year. I don't know when. I actually didn't want to play the Max Payne franchise. Now I'm wondering if I should just go through the entire Remedy verse, actually. Please, still don't. Still don't. <laughs> Do our best. Do our best. How are you doing, Kurt? What's up, Stan? How's it going? Oh, no, the remakes. Forgot about that. Oh, no. Never forget about the remakes. Because those are heckin' amazing. Haven't had those yet. That was the Amazon Post is on its way, though. Oh, nice. Nice. That's probably going to be my vitamin C. For those who don't know, I'm trying to get rid of the green of my hair and... I ordered some stuff to try and remove it because I want to go orange instead. Anyway, the devil. More important matters. I see cheeseburger sounds like something perverted on Urban Dictionary. Dark, but the story had to be dark. Jeez. Oh, there's jam. There is. This is a lot of jam. Oh, there's a lot of bodies. Great. Great, that's what happens, I guess, when you summon the bloody devil, ah! Sausages, it's like they never learn. <laughs> You're right, though, it does sound like... What would it be on Urban Dictionary? An Iceland cheeseburger. Max Payne was my first PC game, has a special place in my heart. I would love to play it, because I have a special place in my heart from watching my dad play it. I used to sit on the floor next to him, watch him play it, and I, I used to think it was so cool. Really, really cool. I want to be able to play it one day, so I can feel like... I don't know, that weird finalization of bonding with my dad, I guess. So Quantum Break with Tim Breaker is on the list as well. Mm-hmm. It's on the list. I, I guess. Uh, the trouble is, though, I've heard the cutscenes in that last for ages, which means I won't be able to talk to you guys during them. So I was thinking about playing Quantum Break off stream, but record it and pop it on my YouTube. And then we'll do Max Payne at the same time. So, like, you get a bit of both. That's the way I've been trying to brain it out. Because I do like having a little chit chat with you guys, you know? I think it's heaven, to be fair. Best place to stack the freezer. What's better than a devil you don't know? I don't know. <laughs> a devil you do. Oh. I thought that was going to be a, like a punchline, but I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> What's better than a devil you don't know? I don't know. What's the de best devil than the one you don't know? Devil you don't. Cool. I don't know. It's just the best I can go with. This is hey. not my writing. This is Scratch mocking me. In this room, he will hurt her. I better not hurt our wife. I'm going to be very, very cross. <gasps> Look at the rubber ducky. Oh, so cute. I love rubber ducks. Oh, no. Right. Where's my flare gun? Oh, God. No. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. I died. I died. No, no, it's just a friend you haven't met yet. Oh, I like that. It makes it kind of cute. <laughs> um, I'll pass my five check. I love that's how it takes. Like, oh, I've heard of Weep for weeks. But you know what? The Iceland burger test sorted. Some heckin' reason Fish is still subbed despite, despite me not streaming at the moment. Fish is just a very supportful person, is why. Where am I? Oh, do I have to redo the entire ballroom thing again? Ah! Do I have to redo the entire ballroom thing again? Sorry. We'll go into pre show ritual, collect the information, and then we'll go into haunted. And then slipped and spilled the gem again. <laughs> the scene had changed. The cult in the play was called the Cult of the did. Tree. It's because it's With just so jammy, masks, okay? That's they were why the you didn't wipe up your messes. Echo of the cult of the words urban horror. Because if you don't clean up your messes, you're just going to be slipping and sliding all over the place, you know, like a banana on the floor. How you doing, moist and delicious? What's up, Stan? How's it going? 
Oh, yeah, fish has checked in every day with a new med support like that has helped. Oh, that's so sweet. By the way, I saw your message. I just didn't have the spoon to respond yet. The vegetables. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Let's go and get this word of power first. I recognize my writer's room on the stage. I now we're going to do something extremely fun. We're going to play a wonderful game called Who is my daddy and what does he do? <laughs> that was not something I expected to hear today. <laughs> Who is your daddy and what does he do? Uh, wrong answers only. Increased damage dealt by the last bullet. The revolver chamber by 25%. Increased double barrel shotgun damage by 25% when hitting multiple enemies with one shot. Rules 15% of max health when landing a direct hit with a flare gun. Mm. Oh. We'll go with what goes around. I don't want to be a policeman. I'm a little princess. Oh, no. Oh, I need to rewatch Kindergarten Cop. It's been years. A random of random is random. Oh my god, we're going into the random XD era of our stream now. <laughs> but I want to know what happened. You have to, you mustn't know a thing. Daddy Greymon, we are not imagining Daddy Greymon right now, not with his beautiful nip knops. Butt lice, ew. <laughs> butt lice, man, that is horrid. Is that like a knit nurse, except for butt lice? You must be able to get butt lice, right? If you had thick enough bum hair, you could probably get lice on your butt. That would suck. Marks all nearby resources and points of interest on Wake's map. Expands an inventory by one row. Adds one charge. Oh my god. All this would be banging. I like the magic pocket or the battery. Hmm. Infantry means I can carry more. But the charge on the flashlight would be bang in. Oh, we'll go with infantry. Because then I can carry more batteries. Okay. I'm going to do a cheeky little quick save. And then we'll go into the haunted, okay? Big brain here, right? Big plans. Just don't Google that. I will not Google butt lice. I'll make sure of that. I should have typed that as uh, one sentence really. There's never an obligation to reply. There's no spoons. Spoons are zero today. It's what my head meant. Mine just typed something completely different. It's all good. It's all gravy. I know. I know. Right. Do the thing. Nice set you got. Here. <sighs> Make it what devil. Was the Make scene it devil. In this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. Why do the they have play, to make it corded like this? It's rewrites so reality fun. whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. Oh, yeah, but it was Mr. Scratch. Big time celebrity to play him. And he was method acting the role to perfection. Mm -hmm. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm hmm And who was this mystery celebrity? He Let was a bumhole. Alan Wake. <laughs> I wish I could tell you. But turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was, shit got weird when he was around. So for those who Some don't of the know, joke that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mr. Scratch. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. Is he was born to play the role. Spoilers. I don't I actually know agree if. Agree with Casey on that. I don't know if Mr. Scratch is the devil, but um, we're currently like in the world that's called the darkness. It's like an alternate reality of sorts um, that is formulated from the typewriter. And it's like its own living intelligent entity of sorts. And in Adam Wake 1, uh, it, it created Mr. Scratch, which is like a carbon copy in face and voice and almost behavior of Alan, except it's like an anti-Alan. He wants to hurt the world. He wants to take over the world sort of thing. You know, just general bad guy vibes, like an evil twin <laughs> where you stem from the pages itself. It's very, like, oh no, to be honest. But apparently he's the devil himself, which would make a lot of sense, quite honestly, the way he likes to play with the world. Auntie Alan. Uncle Alan! No! <laughs> Auntie Alan. <laughs> I'm imagining Alan dressed up as, like, a hyper femme woman now. Something terrible in the scene. Mm -hmm. But it's what the story needed. Quickly. Oh, I want to go into my infantry. I haven't tried a flashbang yet. Let's try it. 
I haven't tried it yet. Uh, oh yeah, I need to look at this typewriter. Not my writing. Not my this writing. Scratch mocking me. Boo hoo, my hurt my wife. Okie dokie. Funk. What's that do? Oh, it does that. Oh, I got an achievement. Um, reload. Whoa, 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 whoa! So it's got projectiles. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we're out of that. Uh huh. Nice. Anyone else want to party? No? I'm Big Boss PP now? Good. Good. <laughs> so, whoa, 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 whoa! There's only two ways this can end, and in both of them, you die. Yeah! <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Wow, that was so fast. So fast. That was so easily possibly get wreck time. Yeah, I know it's going to respawn you, but... What? You're right there? Cheeky devil. Can you? Okay. Everything's good. Thank you for your contribution, Sig. You know what? Let's close these doors. Alright, lock those ones out there. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, um... Rather jammy down here, isn't it? Rather jammy. Right, now we've got to kind of like go back on ourselves a little bit. And see about, um... Oh yeah, the flare. Pick it up. See about, uh... Solving the crime. Who's up my butt? Are you following me? Can't see anyone. Guess not. Nice painting on the walls. It's beautiful, isn't it? Such a lovely shade of red. Ooh. <laughs> How did you jump scare me with a fart? How did you do that? I, th I thought I'd be fine. How did I jump? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm such a wuss. An absolute wuss. Blink and egg. Right, rehearsal room. I can change it to being devil, but I want to have a look down here first. Make sure I put bloody hell spells. I mean, it's nice color, but it would be nice if they did it up to the ceilings and stuff, you know? Another safe space. Okay, I guess we're going in there. I'm just gonna go in there. Ooh. It's very, um, definitely get moinded aesthetic, isn't it? <laughs> right, rehearsal room. La, 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 la. Let's change it to be... Devil. The devil. My writing was affecting reality. That it was. And here's something over there. Footsteps. Okay. Oh, another moider. One more moider. Oh, what's this? This was not the ritual murder site I was looking for. This had just been an appetizer before the main course. Mm. So it might have been in the rehearsal room? That's got to be it, right? In the rehearsal room. Well, technically we're in the rehearsal room. There was another rehearsal room somewhere. Wherever that was. It's back this way. Okay. Is anyone having anything nice for dinner today? And hey. Anything nice for din dins? Sounds like I got boika. <laughs> and then through here. Nice. Oh yeah, there was a steam sale on. Did anyone pick up any good games? I'm this close to getting myself Street Fighter. I'm trying uh, not to do it, but I'm also like, I might do it. I've been wanting Street Fighter for ages. Do, 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 do. do it. I'm thinking about it. Boiger, where? We've got Boiger. We've got Boiger. Didn't know we was going to get Boiger, but we got Boiger now. I picked up Unpacking. No way. Have you played it before? It's so good. It's a really sweet game. Really sweet. Boy. What? Whoa. <laughs> Bloody made me do a poo then. 
Not there. 101. 101. I want to go to 101 because I got a key for that. Where are you, 101? Go into the safe room? I think it was. Where's the safe room? Not over there. Is it down here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shush over there. Safe room in here. There's like a door that leads to another door. Oh, more corpses. Nice. Love that. I don't, but love that. Um, you can make your own character. Exactly why I really want to play it. I want to see myself kick butt. This murder, but not the right murder. How disappointing. Right? It's, it's like when you really want cheese, but you realize you've got extra mature cheese, but you just wanted mature cheese. And you're like, well, that, that's cheese. It's good, but it's not really quite right on my taste buds, isn't it? It's definitely that sort of energy. Uh... I'm still knee deep in playing Cosmotor. Uh, shouldn't get a new game. Ooh, what's that one like? What's it like? I've never heard of it before. Do you mind um, educating me? I want to be educated. Oh, yeah, but I saw DD play and I broke down completely. Oh, it's so good. Um, I say I played it. My clone played it and she loved it and she hasn't stopped talking about it. I hope one day there's another game just like it. It's so good. I hope you enjoy it. Good night, Tragic. Rest well. Hope you kick butt chew bubblegum in your dreams. See you soon, okay? Have a good day. Ooh, buckets. Close door. Brrr. Heard of FTL? No, I have not heard of FTL. You can build your spaceship and conquer the galaxy. Oh, that sounds sick. TV? TV. Give us the girl and wash away the debts. <laughs> okay. All right. I realize I threw out um, too much last year. But sometimes it's good to throw out things. It means you can move onwards from stuff sometimes and create new spaces for new memories, right? Bath of the Light is a nice game. What's that about? What's that about? As an advocate of self-care, get it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Not like I got all the time to like binge through the story. But... At the same time, I'm like, I just want to punch things and kick stuff. I feel like it would be good. Saying that, though, I'm thinking about popping onto Palia tonight. I'm thinking about popping onto Palia. I was thinking about doing a screen recording of uh, a house tour of my current home plot so that you guys can see it. Because I know some of you guys want to see my home plot, but I haven't been able to pop in and see it. So I've been thinking about doing that. What's in there? Ooh, more loot. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Because I'm going to redesign my uh, home plot on Palia. <laughs> I really want to. I need to draw out my sketch, though, of exactly what I want to do. Ooh, more loot. Yeah, cheers. Thank you, butts. Thank you. Similar to FDR, just that you can build your own spaceship from scratch. That's cool. Brrr, I ran out of cereal today. No! What cereal? What cereal was the last thing you got to nom? If you have like a nice cozy stream game, recommend it. I might have to check that out. I might have to. Or maybe the um blah, 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 blah. the clones might, because I gotta be honest with you, with the clones, they've been itching to get out of their little corners. Itching for it. They've been out in months. I think when we're done with Anna Wake 2, it might be time for them to uh, have a stretch of their legs. So they might be interested in that. Oh, hello. Right, plot board. We haven't done any of this other stuff yet, so let's have a look what haunt it's like, and then we'll try the devil. Oreo cereal? What's that like? Does it make the milk chocolatey like Cocoa Pops? Love Cocoa Pops. We've had shreddies at the moment. I love shreddies. Oi! And you. Oh. All these swirly circles. It's a bit horrible, isn't it? It's a bit horrible. But no changes. Alright, then devil. Devil, devil, devil. The devil. Brrr. Nah, it's my best honestly. Oh, 
What are you gonna get next then? What's the next cereal? I love that you got an emote for that. This was the devil's path that the oh. staircase was draped in blood. Oh. Hello, boys. Why that one? Should be this one. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's a Lord Jam. Okay, there's a box. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Lighting's nice at least. It's beautiful. I want a red lit staircase. <laughs> it's actually really stunning. Right, another cheeky save. Just to make sure. I mean, while it's there, I may as well, right? It's gonna respawn these bad boys. Oh. Actual bad. Actual bad. Oh, play chess. Nice. Someone's inside. Grim. <laughs> All reload and reload the flare gun. Getting pretty intimate here, I know. I think we're literally getting into the mind of a writer. I might actually start to understand why they write like six million sentences to explain one thing. Hmm. Well, okay then. Up the stairs. The nope stairs of doom. It's a beautiful staircase though. Look at this railing oh craftsmanship i mean we can all the painting on the walls seems like someone had a good go of it really unleashed their inner toddler but um this staircase beautiful run we don't run we boom boom powering up for the best hello sergeant matrix how you doing that's always dan how's it going over here hmm. i felt the presence of a new idea here New idea. Oh, we've got another vision coming up. Don't want to clip it. Or not. What's up here? Oh, wait. Are we going to end up in the room of the neighbor of the beast? Maybe. Can I please see the, um, the eclipse of the idea? Is it down here? Ah, there we are. Go on, let's have a KC. Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception got me a room number. Oh, friend! Hmm. Oh, new friend! Six, 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 oh, friend! He's my friend! Oh, oh my friend! Bangtastic. I mean your bangs to be clear. Seven, eight, bongo. Kai! <laughs> Characters are talking in game, you rude! <laughs> God, thank you, Mythic Guy, for 1,000 biddies, you absolute sausage. That is, you know you can say that for free, right? There is never, ever, ever, ever a need to spend that much. But thank you very much for your support. Bangtastic. I mean, your bangs, to be clear. Do you like them? I cut them myself like two weeks ago. I gave in and I went, sure. Kai, you're going to put your name to your book of biddies. Thank you. You're far too sweet and generous. Thank you so much for your support, always. Far too much. You've basically just funded some new snacks for the ferrets. I need to get them like a big, a big jug of uh, fish oil because we're running out. And you basically funded that. So thank you, Kai. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Na 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 na
is right there. Right there. Thank you very much, T. I appreciate you. Love the in-between so do I. It's one of my favorite cringe shows. <laughs> Thank you, Kai, again. How you doing? What's up with Stan? How's your day? I hope it's doing good. Hello, DJ Ruthless. What's up with Stan? You changed your name. How you doing? What's up with Stan? And the hydration. Thank you, the hydration. Anyone else need a step out step while we listen to the cutscene? Boomer. Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play. And always in character. Always in character, ah. Uh. Let's miss a scratch for you, though. He's a bit of a bumhole. What? <clears throat> asking the A-bomb. Um, so Karma is asking, should I get out of bed today? Super nice. Yeah, I did because I thought it would make sense. Now that I do my music all on YouTube. Oh, nice! Nice, definitely makes sense then. But how are you? I'm good, thank you. He can butt, chew and bubblegum. Usual vibes. Signs point to yes. It says yes. Get out of bed. <laughs> the eight ball is spoken. Right. I wonder if we'll be able to go into the room 665. That's always been linked to kind of Dr. Darling of sorts. So I guess we'll see. 656. Not um, 665 though, is it? Any Dr. Pepper and cream soda? I don't have any, Norm. Uh, it's not really easily available to get in the UK. So I don't have it. I've never tried it though, either. I'd imagine it tastes like those um, strawberries and cream. Um, like those little boiled sweets. I imagine it tastes like that, but fizzy. Great ball of eight. Why hath thou forsaken us? The eight ball never lies. I'll never forget the day that I was like, I'm gonna have prawns for dinner. And then you guys were like, no, you won't. And I was like, oh, yes, I will. And so you guys asked the April God, will Luki eat prawns tonight? And uh, <laughs> the April said no. Um, I was not going to eat prawns. But I did. I ate prawns. Except later that night, I vomited. <laughs> so technically, I didn't eat them. <laughs> it was horrible. Would not recommend. The April knows all. <laughs> Shop down the road has them. You can get them on Amazon too. Down your road. Well, that's lucky. On Amazon though. Yeah, but it costs a lot sometimes to get things from Amazon. Sometimes. Uh, have you played the previous Alan Wake? Yes. Uh, from January up until now, we've been celebrating Alan Wake. Uh, where I've gone from Alan Wake 1, the DLCs, American Nightmare Control, Control DLCs, and now we're in Alan Wake 2. So we've been doing the whole like little world of it. Obviously, mine is Quantum Break and all that. That's later down the road. We'll do that at some point. But I wanted to just do this little bit first. And it's so good. I'm loving it. So, so, so good. How you doing, Monstrous, though? What's up with Stan with you? Wow. Yeah, I'm not kidding. The April doesn't lie. <laughs> she borrowed them. I borrowed them in my stomach for a little while until uh, they came back out. It was horrible. It was a proper, like, spicy dinner. So you can imagine it fizzled my nose on the way out. <laughs> Am I going to be gross about it? Oh, that looks like the... Yeah. That's the door. That's the door. I ain't going in there yet. Should you keep ones? <laughs> it's a no. <laughs> Definitely not. Also, it's Dr. Pep strawberries and cream, funny enough. There is. There is. Um, get next day on Amazon? I could. I could, but again, getting soda from Amazon is really expensive. Really expensive. You often have to pay, pay at least from where I am, sometimes uh, two to three times the price than you would if you got in shop, you know? And I ain't doing that. You know why I ain't doing that? Because I'm cheap. <laughs> 15 quid last time I looked it said it, for like a pack of six it was gonna cost me about 30 pounds and I was like nah mate I don't want that you also gotta remember there are region specifics too you know hello Steve how you doing what's up with Stan how's it going did Uki learn a lesson from defying you April says forget about it <laughs> Hello, uh, Steve. Thank you for doing the thing. Oh, wow. You get the full experience. I do the universal role. What's your favorite game? I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. At first, Control was my favorite. Uh, towards the end of Control, though, it was less because I got a bit annoyed by the hiss constantly repeatedly popping up. But I gotta say, experience so far of the entire universe, I'm loving Alan Wake 2. It's like the encompassing of all those games I've played into one that's formed this. So far, this is the best one. It's like, uh, it just feels like Remedy's best. Where is 665? Do they literally skip out on 665? The 666 is over here. But no 665. By the way, everyone, adverts are due very shortly. 
At least in this corner, you get one before adverts. During the adverts, I will be pausing the gameplay so that no one misses anything. I'm going to go for a cheeky little wee as per usual. So I implore you to take care of yourselves in the ad breaks. It's going to last three minutes maximum. Uh, so go and take your vitamins, take your medication, get a drink, get a snack, go to the loo, do a poo, do something that's good for you. But adverts will be coming up very shortly. Uh, when I get paid, I'll see if I can get a box and send you six cream sodas. It's all good. It's all good. I'll get it one day, just not today. I've got other things that are more pressing because go remember, I had six months where I had no work thanks to the strikes in America. So um, I had no work and I'm still recouping my savings after that. I've only been in work for like two, two, three months now. So soon, soon, once my savings are back up and they're not in scary zone, I'll start indulging again on like, you know, frivolous things like fancy cans of Dr. Peppers that I'm not sure if I like or not. I like too, you mean John Wick 5? I've never watched John Wick, fun fact, so I have no idea what that reference to. Um, hmm, hmm. If you do not have a P.O. box, I'm serious, I don't have a P.O. box, no. P.O. boxes kind of eek me out a little bit. I thought about it, but I don't know. They kind of scare me. <laughs> anyway, adverts are due any second, so I'm going to turn down the game music, and I'm going to turn up the music. So I'll see you guys in a second. I'm going to go for a wee. Here's some music. See you in a moo.
<laughs> Hello. I was trying to get myself back in my blanket. I was having a really hard time of doing it. Welcome back, everyone. I hope the adverts were not too long things. Hello, Steve. I have a poo box. I definitely do have a poo box. How you doing? That's almost done, Steve. I hope you're good. I better send poop anyway, so that works. So long as it's poop covered in glitter. Otherwise, I don't want it. Right. They're missing the room 665, and I'm really curious about that. Unless it's just beyond here, but... They're missing room 665, which is really sus. Really sus. But I guess we're going to enter room 666 because we're in the devil zone. Blanket times. I've got the electric blanket back. We passed it to me today. He's like, I'll be fine in my dressing. I was like, okay, if you're sure. <laughs> so I, I stole. I say I stole. He gave me the electric blanket back. So got it. How you doing, Faye? What's up, Dan? How's it going? I went to the Hotel California. Well, you can stay, but you can never leave. Oh, that's... That doesn't reek of a boss battle, does it? Right, how are we doing? Um, reload everything. <laughs> um, let's have a cheeky heal. Yep, some Tic Tacs. Let's go. I bloody knew it. I knew I it. I sense his presence lingering in the room. Oh, yeah. I was about to have another killer idea. Oh, don't say that like that. Where's our torch? Oh, it's another one. Hello. Let's have it. Okay, let's talk about the murder victim. Mm. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Oh, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame for sure. She went back a long time. Kept insisting she had seen the long-lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene, executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him, meeting his muse. It turns out he knew her. He'd only joined the play to get to her. To murder her. Not you again. Oh, oh, oh. Running, running, running. Oh boy, running, running, running. One away, one away, one away, one away, one away. Oh god. <laughs> keep on running, keep on running. Gotta get down the stairs, gotta get down the stairs. Gotta keep going, keep going. Come on, Alan. Ooh. Running the other way, other way, other way. La 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 Oh god! This way! No! Did you? Away from me. Oh good! This way! This way! Oh god! Come on, Alan! Come on, Alan! Come on, boy! Oh, get that cardio! One away, one away, one away! Jesus! The dark presence had come for me. Drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. Bloody hell. Whew. I can't believe we made it out of there. I, mean, I thought that was the end. I was going to be like, well, there we go. That's going to take a couple of goes. I can't believe you did that. Blink an egg. Whew. Okay. Breathe. Everyone, you got your breath? Well, good. Bloody hell. Someone made that mess of fire. God, they're going to clean it up. Bags, you know it. <laughs> take a chicken and run. Fun fact, I worked on chicken run too. So I'll, I'll take that and run with it. <laughs> GOG, got a discount on Legacy of Kane series. Do they? Which ones do they have a, um, a discount for? We found out the Max Payne series. I was too young to understand how to play it when it came out. But I sat down and watched my dad play a bunch of it. I can't remember anything about it other than it felt very matrixy and very moody and rainy and quite grayscale and there's a guy in a trench coat, uh, which I know as Casey is based on. I want to play it at some point, like the entire franchise. So I can't really tell you because I haven't seen it since I was like less than 10. <laughs> I was born in 93 to give you an idea. This unstoppable, unstoppable dark present can be stopped by a 40 watt bulb. Mm -hmm. It's a bus. It's a little scaredy cat, really. It's like a little kitten. Move that over here. Cool. 
Got so much flare gun ammo. I'll move that over here. Let's try and make some space, huh? Let's move my flare gun up here. Uh, let's move the flashbang down here. Oh, we're doing some infantry management. I do love a bit of infantry management in a game. Uh, we're going to move the health items down here. Put you there. Put you by there. Going to move you over here. Going to put the big first aid as well in the thingy majiggy, but we'll do that in a second. Move that over there. Now I got a nice little nook for the batteries. Oh, look at that little nook for the batteries. How cute. Gonna move this gun down here. Gonna move the flare gun over here. Nice. Cool. Okay, seems like I got this campfire email. So it's interesting. Nothing blood omen is just for one euro. So both soul reavers. That's not bad, though. I don't know how they play on PC, though. Um, hello, Spikey. How you doing? What's up? What's done? How's it going? Ba -da -da -ba -bum 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 -bum. Right. Where are they going? Now the darkness blocked that way. I was hoping to explore it a bit more, but I guess not. We gotta go and enter the climax. I feel naughty just saying it like that. The muse was the murder victim. Mm -hmm. but the final scene took place in room 108. Oh boy. To room 108. Where are you, 108? This one says. Ah! Stop! I could have dropped my croissant! Sammy! Sammy! My bloody anus and then some. Whew. You bum <laughs> Hello, Sammy! How are you? What's up with Stan? Thank you for working my kegels, you bum hole. Jeez Louise. You absolute bum. What's that by there? I don't know. We want to go to 108, so we want to go on the left side. I guess. 666. Six, six. This make this map is stupid. <laughs> this is a stupid map. And you pronounce croissant? Croissant, like that. Croissant. Okay, I will be. I mean. needed to find the muse. Oh, I the know. I'm Room having a moment to speak to the people in the voice in my head on the left of my screen. Bloody hell, Alan. Rushing me, is it? See how it is. Be gone. How are you doing though, Spikey? What's up with Stan? How's it going? Do you, do you usually get all the um, needed patches included? Sometimes. Not always, though. Cross aunt? Cross ang. Quaso. Quaso? Quaso? That's not how you pronounce it. It's croissant. Croissant. Not quaso. Definitely not quaso. Too many audiences in my head at the same time. That's how it feels right now. <laughs> Doing the best. Room 108. Mm. How do I get to room 108? It's all blocked up. And uh, it is the scene. Oh, God. Whoa. Go by here. Plot board. We need to change it to the climax. I feel really dirty saying that. Oh, what danger, Dan? <laughs> I'm good. Had good sleeves. Feeling all floppy. Good. Good. Got any plans today? Or are you just going to flop about the place? Whichever pronunciation is most annoying. That's how I'll say it. You'll like this. Um, I had jammy dodgers. Like a little mini pack of jammy dodgers. For anyone who doesn't know, they're a type of biscuit. and um, Or a cookie, if you're so inclined. And I got the mini packet for work. Because I really like having biscuits at work. And um, I went to go and grab them. And... <laughs> We've said something along the lines. Here is your um jamais dodge. He said it like in a really French accent. I can't even replicate it. But the way he said it rinsed me for hours. A jamais dodge. A dodge. Jamais dodge. It's like what? <laughs> it's a prosh jammy dodger. <laughs> right, climax. A jamais dodge. Yeah. It's so it's so stupid. I love it. <laughs> now it just sounds like a very posh biscuit. A jamais dodge Yeah. <laughs> it's so stupid. Um, oh, dare I ask what that is, Kurt? Dare I? Oh. Dare I ask? Hello. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I just noticed the flooding. Oh, no. Lady. Beware the drowned 
lady. That's what we've got. Beware the drowned lady. Alright. Alan Snake. Someone say there's going to be bloody snakes in this now. Hello? I'm about to have a bloody, like, accidental crisis in a minute. Hello? Oh! Hello? I made a typo, it should have said, not blood, and cool! That's the second is even a word. So you're learning my native language. No, don't unlearn it! Oh, that's a lot of writing. Is that more? Um, Sons of Asgard? Uh, what does that say? Lost on the shore, between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer, reflected in motion. In his room he will hurt her, in hers he is caught. His story ends, her story does not. This is the ritual, to lead you on. Your friends will meet him, when you are gone. Well, that's comforting, isn't it? Great. Wonderful. Open it up, Buttercup. Now that's an old bath. Is that a coffin? No. This was the old murder bath. site. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub. Beneath the body. Uh -huh. Somehow it was important. If a naked lady pops up there now, I'm gonna do a poo. I'm just saying it now. I'm gonna do a massive poo poo. Oh no, that- Oh no! No! Oh, she's even got toes. Oh, I don't like it. Not that she's not aching. That's a bonus. Right, excuse me miss, I need the records. Another step. Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wait. Are we All right. still trapped? We have the clicker. We can feel it. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write the story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. It's a story. You can do that. You can write out. It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper, closer to escape. Somehow, I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of her turn. Oh. End of part. Oh, damn. <laughs> Jeez. This game is too good. <laughs> Next step, Saga, yeah? Not sure if I'm getting this right. Duh, being butter egg horn. If so, we got it shortened to just butter horn. I've never heard it before. Never heard of it before. Human soup? You are not getting a straw in that. I will give your wrist a smack if you did. I'm here. You are where I'm here. Platypus demonia. And so it rhymes German. Maybe I need to start learning German. Not as good as 13 Ghosts. Oh, I love 13 Ghosts. 13 Ghosts is one of those things I think should be made into a TV show. Like done in 90s style. Hello, Weinder. How you doing? What's up, Stan? How's it going? Some say it loops forever. I can't wait to listen to the soundtrack of this game. Ugh. 
Yeah, lyrics are going on a bendy. I was playing Shiv to Unleashed. It's kind of survival horror. Nice! I love a bit of survival horror. Oh. I'm really curious about what's going to go next. So we're going to go back in our apartment. And hopefully find Alice. But I want to see what's going to happen next to Saga. So I think we're going to go into Saga next. And see what happens next. And then... Then go back to Alan and see what happens next with him. And just keep flick flapping back and forth. I hate the song. You hate it? Aww. But I like it. <laughs> it's not usually the kind of music I listen to, but I dig it. I like the way it's... Reflection of the game so far, you know? And I like that. It's kind of like the music in Persona 5, you know what I mean? But different. Interesting though, so we solved technically another murder of sorts. I wonder if there's gonna be another murder. Not dangerous as a hater? What's not dangerous as a hater? No? No, well, I guess we can agree to disagree then. <laughs> Oh, taking this moment to have a little deep breath before we'll jump through. So good. So good. I can't wait to listen to the OST. I've been really trying my hardest to avoid the Alan Wake credits and everything because I want no spoilers. I'm so excited. Right. The name is the German word for not dangerous. Oh, I had no idea. I'm learning a lot today. Learning a lot. Right, we ready to jump on through and keep on exploring? I gotta Google the exact word, but makes sense. Ooh. Right, next chapter? Next chapter. Let's go! I'm so excited! <laughs> Thanks, Epic! <laughs> Orcs? Right. I need to find a way to a puzzle so that we can play a saga. But until then, I'm gonna try and make it out of here with Alan. I can hear music. But I have no idea what's being played. But the water is gone. Is it in here now? Oh, there's a radio. It must be coming from there, huh? You know, it doesn't sound like it's coming from there. It sounds like it's coming from behind me. Weird. Oh, that's why I got my headphones on wrong way around. I was like, huh? <laughs> no wonder. There we are. Okay, now it sounds like it's coming from there. Ah, oh, I really do need to flip my headphones. I really do. Why are we yelling words? I can't speak German. I can speak Welsh though. But I can't do German. Leave the butterfly out of it. Did you guys talk about butterflies now? I don't feel part of this conversation. I feel like with Google again, that people are just throwing words into chat. Expecting a result from Google, but I'm not Google. My name's Oki, not Google. Anything in here? Nothing new in there. Nope, more shadow people. What do you want? What? I'll smack you up. I will. Right. Do a cheeky save. We're gonna do a little proper manual save. Then I guess we'll try and find a puddle somewhere. Butterfly, I see. Why, 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 why would I know that? I don't speak German. I don't. I speak Amraic. What's well, made up? It's just um, people clearing their throats. Hey, hey! So you mean to tell me I spent my entire educational system, apart like up until college, in a made-up language? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Translate it for you. Thank you. My woman made um Porsche. She was a potty mouth. Name Porsche. Porsche. I know someone who has the exact same name as well. Porsche. She's lovely. Get to Parliament Tower. Tower. Was here again. Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. Mm. It's a bloody tall building, isn't it? It's kind of imposing. Okay, I'm afraid so. Oh, whoa, 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 nearly missed it. Had I chosen to pursue the cult, or had they chosen me for some unknowable purpose? To be a demon, to sort the clues based on my interpretation, to change that which I observed. It was all a play. Shadows on the wall of the cave. An echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? 
in a performance set up for someone else. Because the internet finds it funny, because uh, we're planning to yell angry while saying stuff like that. It makes you feel any better, Danger Dan. When I yell in Welsh, people think I'm being really happy. And it's really annoying when I'm actually really angry. <laughs> All language is made up. Yeah, language is definitely a thing. Definitely a thing. Do, 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 do. Oh, don't forget to... Yes! There we go. Thank you. There's a puddle here, huh? Thank you. Right then. Let's go to Saga. Let's switch reality. And zoop. Um, I don't know what that means. What are you asking me? I'm not German. Shadow the shadows. You gotta always jump in the shadows. They have the best kind of like parties. Ah, oh, jeez. Careful there. But please remember the language of the chat. The language is English. Even though I speak Welsh, I'm also not allowed to speak Welsh. Well, I say that. In passing, I can. But the mods don't understand the Welsh language, so we stick to just English because that way everyone knows what's being said. Angry noise. Ah, how cute. Intensify angry noise, basically. That was it. We were all the way back in this area where Artie performed. And we got to go back to Bright Falls. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. How you doing, Matt? What's up with Stan? How's it going? Mean. It Quiet means. Quiet now. I don't know what it means. Feels like I've suddenly gone deaf. Those old folks sure can get loud, huh? I don't mind it. What happened to uh, grab life's gifts while you can? Fair point, mate. Ooh, what's this? Ah, uh, we look at this, didn't we? Yeah. Don't need to collect that one. Before we jump in our car. I think over here. I don't believe so. Oh, it's getting kind of dark now, isn't it? All right, mate. Just having a quick little peek. Make sure I'm not missing anything before we leave. No, I can't see much. All right, let's go back to Bright Falls. Hmm. Nice. Uh, Bright Falls, please. I believe that's where we gotta go. I think we need to go back to our plot point. Especially now it's getting dark. I don't think we want to be out in Cauldron Lake. I have a funny feeling we're going to go to Cauldron Lake, though. I have a sneaking suspicion. And I don't want to. I don't know what that says. English, please, and chat because I can't read German again. Be, uh, them, uh, being gachy day af, um, day af, uh, kamraig, but I don't speak German. Fling any. On be them gachy, uh, day af tea. Alan Wake. My name comes up, your books come up, you come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. Oh! No! What happened to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. Oh, my head's killing me. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. <sighs> Take it you're not a fan, then. Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in the dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening, what will happen. Dreams, I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now, even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. just want to fix this 
Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Ooh. Get down! FBI! We want the rider! No one else needs to get hurt! Fuck off! <laughs> What are you doing? Saga? Scratch! It's close! Stay down! Wait! I need a gun! No chance. FBI! Casey! Look out! It's coming! Scratches back. Oh, we're ten four. No chance. Hello. I had escaped the dark place, so had the dark presence. Scratch. He was here, in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head, stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? I am so confused. <gasps> okay. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, give me a minute. I gotta, like, get a grip with what the hell is going on here. Hello, Hex. I hope you're good. What's up with Stan? How's it going? Oh, do they kiss bud? I hope they don't kiss bud. Oh, no. Hmm. Well, we have no gun. We don't even have a flashlight. Everyone around us is dead. Um. Apparently, Mrs. Scratch is nearby. But what if... Now, don't answer if I'm correct. What if Mrs. Scratch is... In the most, like, non-icky way. Is in us? Like a dual personality of sorts? Maybe? And that's why everyone's dead? It's because Mr. Scratch took over? Maybe. I don't know. Can I pet the deer at least? I'm so sorry you're covered in gore. I mean, you're dead, but I'm sorry. There's no way to be treated. I is very late today. It's okay, Hexen. He's got many hours left today. How you doing? What's up with Stan? How's it going? I just had donut with coconut shavings. Nice. Really want a bounty at the moment. What are the real scratches? The friends we made along the way? <laughs> He's such a butt. Such a butt. I hope no one else is dead. Casey? Where are you? Casey? Oh, boy. Got to pet that deer? I'm not allowed to pet the deer. I needed to find Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. Yeah, but pet the deer for luck. <laughs> no, I'm not allowed to pet the deer for luck. Well, I guess look at the deer some privacy. Here you go, bud. No more gore. Why are we talking about Cass Casey and the stat? Who's that? Oh, yeah, the YouTuber. Why are we talking about him? Okie dokie. Casey? That door's open. That door was never open before. Oh dear. Very much oh dear, oh dear. I'm gonna sound like a bloody chuckle brother in a minute. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no. Okay, nothing over here. Oh, we're covered in blood. Ugh. It's gonna be so sticky. I can't go to our bedroom. Because we have to go into the kitchen. 
Wait, that's not a normal bloke, is it? Oh, it does look like a normal bloke. Oh, no! Not normal blokes, too. Should only be the cultist, right? The deer's hungry. I wonder when it got fed last time. That is true. When did it get last fed? No snacks in the kitchen. Disappointed. Alright. Someone's in the window. From the window. Casey? Hang on, let me try this door. Oh, bloody hell. Calm down, wake. Got any cleaning supplies? We can throw a silic bang at them. <laughs> oh, no. It was worth just reset my washing. No! Myself. It's so annoying. Hello. Oh! Big gun. A flashlight. How nostalgic. Two bullets. I mean, I see I should go over there, but what's over here? La, 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 la. I didn't miss last stream though because I was sleeping. Well, how dare you sleep? How dare you have a life outside of my stream? My stream is love. My stream is life. I'm kidding. <laughs> we are believing. Um, if I didn't wake the first Adam Wake game had a sequel, it would be called Adam Wake 2. Okay, Lucio. Enjoy wherever you're going off to. Thank you for making my brain hurt. There you go. He seems to be spilled a lot of ketchup on his shirt. He has. He had a, like a jam donut party. What's in here? Oh, it's a water again. Sorry, Casey. That's Casey. Ooh. He was still alive. Just about by the sounds of it. Uh, not that one. There we are. Dear Uki, sleep is precious. No, sleep is for the weak. <laughs> something, something, metal head. Whoa, bloody hell. Whoa, bloody hell spells. Shadow. Mate, can I have your stick? Oh, shut up! Shut up! Logan. Who the hell's Logan? Run out of bullets! Shoot! Running, 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 running. Casey! <laughs> Casey, help! Help me, Casey! I'm like a little princess! Who the the FBI were after? Get the were they letting themselves be taken? Yep. Or did the Dark Presence not discriminate? I don't know. But he's, he's right there. Right there. Reload. I am in the light. You cannot hurt me. It's a stone. Aww. Are you kidding? Whoa! Running, 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 running. Never mind. Bin that idea. Bin that. What kind of jam donut party I've ever had? I definitely won't want a donut party. That means I'm covered in jam donuts, to be honest with you, because that would be a waste of donuts. La 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 Give me things, give me things, give me things. My head was unbearable. Scratch was getting closer. Still no bullets. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep following the blood, follow the blood. We're super, and that's why everyone will suffer. It's him. Where? Whoa, Jesus. Whoa. The pressure eased off. Uh -oh. Scratch was further away. I could think again. Casey. What the fuck? Casey? Who's that? Where are you? I didn't sound like Casey. Sleep is for the healthy guy. Casey, I know, I'm, I'm pulling your leg. That's not the kind of jam mo yeah. I can't read when I'm panicked. Fuck. I'm eligible for your game protagonist. Hello? Oh! Casey! The Predator? If Casey's dead, I'm gonna be really miffed. Kieran Estevez, Federal Bureau of Control. We'll take it from here. Out cold. Wait, this is my case. This is no longer an FBI investigation. The case has been transferred to us. Ilmo Koskela, 
What? This is bullshit. Noted. We're moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation at the sheriff's station. Any other pieces of evidence with you? Anything relevant? The clicker. I can't trust them with it. Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Then your work here is done. Hey. You did well. Thanks. Wait. My partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for He's him. my partner, damn it. Agent. I should be... Go home. Careful, moving wink. They think he's a para-utilitarian. No. Fuck this. I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. <laughs> what? Imagine Casey's gonna be so angry. Hello, Mr. Anderson. Happy Saturday. I'm good. How you doing? What's up? What's down? How's it going? They're taking control. What are we gonna run into Jesse? That would be mad. It's a bit of a happy song after that, isn't it? <laughs> oh, so good. I'm still convinced. That Scratch and Alan are one now. It's what I believe. <gasps> Can oh, nothing. How dare the carrot fall? It's now waiting for the FBA to show up and take control. Imagine. How are you doing, Captain Oz? What's up, Stan? How's it going? Why are we so angry? The singer of the song is a man but looks like a woman. And. I sometimes look like a bloke. What's wrong with a bit of gender heckery? <laughs> Everton's? No! No, don't clip it! No, you saw nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing at all. No, I did not! Oh, hi, Yogi. Hi, Coke. How you doing? What's up, what's down? How's it going? Hope you're good. Carrot crimes. I did not do it on purpose. Slight difference. Hello, Shadow Dread. What's up, what's down? How's it going? I did nothing. Nothing. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. It's all good. Good afternoon, Nookie and Beings. No long woke up. How do you sleep? Did you sleep well? How's everyone doing good over here? There's two chapters so far today. One in Alan's reality and one in Saga's reality. Although things are about to get terrible. Have you won yet, son? No, I think we're losing if I'm anything. Stop the song. The song stopped itself. The song stopped itself. Sky's up and the ground is, well, pizza. I'm fine. How about you? Mm, pizza. I've got boy girl on my floor. I'm good though. I'm good. Right, let's keep on going. Bring it on, Buttercup. More song, please. Tor and I Odin were in the photo with a the clicker. They might know how it works. They I'm might. I'm off the case, but I can still visit family. Mm. <gasps> we're gonna go to Valhalla Nursing Home. If I get the opportunity, I should probably go back to Wake Story, right? Woke up a bit dehydrated, so I hydrate myself to feel better. Ah, oh, please keep hydrated. Please do. Good for you. Like a sponge. I do like a good sponge. Hello, Natura. How you doing? What's up, Stan? How's it going? It's been helping me more. Oh, phone. Hello. Hello. Taga. It's Tor, your grandfather. Hello. About time you were coming to visit, kiddo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. We're losing. Oh, fuck. <sighs> fuck you, you fucking hag. Fuck! Shit. What? Something is off at that nursing home. Are we sure it's just not the nurse? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you who? Mmm, yeah, zoo. Now that's a good milkshake. Brrr, nice makeup. Thank you! I asked Twitter, like, if you were to dress me up like a doll, what should I wear this weekend? And I put together two things. One said to wear bunches, like pigtails. So I got my hair in pig bunches, pigtails. And the other one said purple. So I went with purple today. <laughs> tomorrow, though, we'll see how tomorrow's go because I'm aiming to do Miss Poos, but we'll see how I feel in the morning. <laughs> um, nice chat. Oh, thanks. I, I, uh, 
I say I made it myself, but it's all your your contributions to it. Where's the energy for it? Or is the Jenny already on? I guess the Jenny's already on. Nice. Right, so we can switch reality, which we will do. Have you been to the nursing home? No, I haven't been. I have not been yet. Do, 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 do. Unless you mean in real life, then yes. But not in game. Although we just went from Alan's reality to Saga's reality, so we should go back to Alan's reality and then we'll go back to Saga's reality. Big brain, you see? Purple's a creative color. I love purple, especially like a deep purple on velvet. It's beautiful. I go hiking, do you? Nice. Nice. What's your favorite kind of hike? Oogies is living at a nursing home confirmed. I am not. I'm living in the morgue. Good. I popped in without spoilers. Nice, Dr. Poxy. You see nothing so far. How you doing? What's up? What's down? How's it going? We are going to carry on playing the game, though. I'm just letting you know that. You might see some spoilers. <laughs> I'm just going to switch reality. How you doing, BRB? You're so scary. What's up? What's down? How's it going? Yes. Good. Cool. I like hiking, too. I especially through woodlands. How you doing, Dr. Poxy? I hope you're good. I know, I'll be lurking. Okay, please look. I don't want you to get spoiled. You should play it though already so you can catch up and hang out with us. I'm kidding. I actually don't know how much longer we got this game. I feel like we're getting into like just starting the middle ground. Just getting into the middle ground. I feel like we're so far from the ending. So good though. Can we go to my reality? I get confused. I mean, I guess we ooh, We could. Hello. Oh! Tron just kept their antlers for 27 months. Uh -huh. Shiny puddle reality confusion for the sub book. May I have a happy little puddle, please? Yes, of course you can have a happy little puddle. That's so cute. Thank you, Dethanon, for 20 bloody hell. 27 months. Did I read that right? 20 bloody seven. Blinking egg bun. <laughs> Thank you for your continued support. Happy little puddle. As we're not in. And when it shall be. Thank you very much, E.T. Sharon. How you doing? I hope you're good. What was I going to say? Oh, two new animated emotes have been released yesterday. You have Uki Bomb and Uki Sad. Uh, Uki Sad was made ages ago. Uki Bomb, I made yesterday. <laughs> I hope they um, bring you more ability to express yourself. Oh, I will when, um, I will when work allows, please. I want to hear how you enjoy it. I want to know how you think about it as well. Right. I need to go to the apartment, but I'm sure the phone's gonna ring. Uh, music, the director, or whatever it is, it's called. He likes to bring in different kinds of art to the games. Didn't you and Vigil TV bring in of all the art and entertainment together? I think he and they are doing it very well. Writing visual stuff, gameplay, music needs more performative art. Agreed. I do like a bit of performative art. Whoa, I just found the melee button. It's right trigger. <laughs> I just found it now, like 20 hours into the game. But you know what? It's better late than never, correct? Yee, look at them. It's horrible. <laughs> I love that nope. Nope is in the middle, looking back and forth like, oh, yes, one there, the one there. I think the sad emote is the saddest thing I've ever animated in my entire life. I'm so sad about it. Like, it literally brought me such, like, sadness drawing it and then creating it and seeing it come to life. For those who don't know, all the emotes and stream graphics I made myself. I made myself. <laughs> do, 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 do. Right, back to our apartment, is it? See what's gonna happen up there. Do, 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 do. In truth, we should probably just stick with one reality all the way through and then go to the other reality, but I don't wanna do that. I like flick flacking. It's worse than having it just cry. It's way worse. It's set in the ring. It's got sad little wings on its back. It's basically nearly grey. You can tell it's going... <laughs> <laughs> All around me are familiar faces. Return! Initiation 6. Um, okay, made Alan Wake. I did not make Alan Wake. I did not. Bitch, that is such a story and emote form. I love it. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, Alice! You are right? Hmm. Oh, this is ominous. Can I have my torch? I can. What's in the bathroom? Oh, it's a dark room. Oh, I should turn off my torch. I'll ruin Alice over. Alice turn the bathroom into a dark room. Mm-hmm. I don't want to ruin a photography by having my torch on. 
You just know there's um, snot coming out. It's crying so hard. Yeah, it's making snot bubbles. Oh, and it's got a little sweat on too. Here you go. Oh. Okay. You can see that they're in development. Is that supposed to be a picture of us maybe over there? Entering through the elevator perhaps? Is that a dead Alan? That's definitely dead Alan up there. Are they slowly coming into um into exposure. They definitely feel like they're getting a bit darker. And what's that one on the right? It looks like a negative. Hmm. Curiouser. I'm curiouser. What's that say? Oh, I can't read that from here. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to my Uka for Lands. I hope you enjoy your stay. Not gonna call out your name though, just in case you're lurking, because I don't like calling out lurkers. But I hope you're having a good day today, but with all the good energies. A dark room or the dark place. It's a dark, dark room in a dark, dark place. <laughs> Down a dark, dark corridor. Something, something alike. Something, something alike that. Oh, it's spirals all. I bet I can't open it still. I needed to get inside I knew the it. manuscript. I knew it. Oh, she's remodeled again. Oh, no, we're entering through the kitchen. <gasps> Ooh, what's on the computer? This wasn't here before. How is everything? From Baza! Hey, Alice. Everything's good with you back home. Just checking in. Tried to call, but couldn't reach you. You're prob- Oh, my God. You, <laughs> you are probably just deep in your creative process. I know uh, you artists get when you're in the middle of your projects. Everything else disappears. If you call back and can't reach me, I'm doing whatever it is an executive producer is supposed to do. It's a mystery to me. Oh, and if you want me to help with anything business related to your exhibition, just say the word. You're a pal, Barry. Aw, oh, Barry Wheeler. Hey, Alice. Shark circling. They now want to turn what happened to AI... Oh, to Al, sorry. To Al into a movie and or a TV show and or, get this, a hecking video game. I told them to heck off. Also, in case you hear about this from someone else, a true crime writer named Tammy Booker is working on a book about Alm. I did it down, a publisher, and told them we'll sue. Don't worry, I got you covered. You're a pal, Barry. Is this some, like, weird fourth world breaking stuff? Like a do-do-do-do moment? They're gonna make a game about him. Another one from Baza. Hey, Alice, checking in, because I haven't heard from you. Everything good back there? I've been trapped in non-stop meetings with no breaks. Open kimono. I have considered peeing in a mug. Lunches be damned. How do these people ever get a movie made when all they do is sit in meetings? It's beyond me. You're a pal, Barry. Open kimono and pee in a mug. Is he CJ? <laughs> joined a cult. Uh, hey, Alice. You don't think I've been replaced by an evil double, but I've joined a cult and I love it. Joking about being a cult. Kind of. Well, blessed wellness retreat. Working with Al or the Andersons was tough sometimes. But these movie biz types are insane. My stress levels were through the roof, but then I was shipped off about the retreat. Best decision I've ever made. I never felt good, this good and, well, healthy. The guy who runs this place, Chester, is a goddamn miracle worker. Not a wacko in any way. I know you think I'm full of poop, but I have lost a ton of weight. And you wouldn't recognize me. Chester says I'm lucky to have ended up here. That something bad would have happened to me if I stayed in New York. I believe him. I wasn't feeling great after everything that happened. Especially after those FBC creepos wanted to chat with me. Enough to turn an anyone into a conspiracy nut. I hope you aren't good over there. Come visit me anytime. West Coast is not as bad as I made it sound in my earlier mails. You're a pal, Barry. Greetings from Hollywood. Mmm. Oh, heck, time book is the lady who saw Naked Nightingale. Mmm, it is. It is. Uh, she's the person that we sort of interviewed at the start of the game, right? In the diner. That's Tammy. Am I correct? And she was with that bloke who did the murder mystery at the hotel, if I remember correctly. Hey, Alice. I'm more a fish out of water in Hollywood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because she was writing a whole book about the murders. So it makes sense that she wanted to write a book about Al and include her into it all. Uh, include him into it all. I'm more of a fish out of water in Hollywood than I ever was in Pacific Northwest Wilderness. These yuppies with their glow-in-the-dark teeth couldn't be more fake if they had six fingers. And everything is so heckin' great all the time. Even when it's in fact the opposite. More than once I've thrown up in my mouth during meetings with these movie exec jerks. Oh god. But I gotta be here to look after Al's legacy. Everyone wants to gobble up this film rights for the Casey books. And have moronic ideas on what to do with them. 
It's my duty to herd this horde of tan zombies into the general direction of something resembling good taste. I'm painfully aware how deeply Al would have hated adaptations if they didn't do justice to his vision. He was a master of hating things deeply. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> For good reasons. Um, I mean, it, that's why we love him so much, right? Anyway, gotta hop on to another video call. Now to talk about casting. Your pal, Bazza. Aww. I'm glad to hear Barry's doing well. I was wondering how he's doing because we haven't heard from him at all in this game. Oh, it's another ominous TV. Okay. Got him so much sleep. I really want to cosplay Bazza, if I'm honest. I really want to cosplay him, especially with his like little uh, fairy like jacket. <laughs> Hello? For months after Ellen died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion, the shock, the, the guilt, fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Aww. Baz is such a softie. He acts like an absolute, like, a bit of a sausage, let's be honest. He does. He kind of does swing himself about the place. But he is a genuinely nice bloke. I think, anyway. Even when he was in his evil self in the earlier games. He was still kind of weirdly nice in a weird kind of way. He's a bit of a bum hole, but it's kind of like a... Can't help but enjoy his company even then. I love the nickname you gave him. Baza! Baza! Inspired by um, Baza from Resident Evil 2. <laughs> Whenever I run into a Barry, it's instantly Badza. It's lovely, adoted. Alice's work the had consumed the apartment. Her only, whole life. Only the best Barrys get to be called Badza. Otherwise, they are the worst Barrys, and they will only remain as a Barry. Mm-hmm. Gotta say, though, every time I hear the word um, Barry, I think of Barry Island. You need to show the truth. Ah. I see. So she's trying to make the... The darker, the better. She's trying to make it like the exhibition, I guess. Like a, an example of the exhibition. There's another one by here. What is that? Oh, it's Alan's dead head. Of course. Wonderful. Wonderful. Is this one? I got a clue. It looks like a... Oh, is it a hand in water? Probably in the cauldron lake. Oh, well, there's another TV in here, but there's another one over here. That's why it's not called Baza Island. Exactly. It's called Barry. Rip all the berries with them um, by nominal distribution. <laughs> we just don't like the art. But there's an advert. There's an advert. Hey, oh, uh, so interesting fact. Did you know? Oh, you triggered the bot. Of all the species that made it abroad, Noah's Ark, the male dog was actually unable to get there in time. Luckily, he was a good boy. Think for half a second there. <laughs> good boy. It's really good. That was really grim. I like that one. That's a really nasty one. I like it. <laughs> anyway, and then the corner of the shadows. If you have not noticed, there are adverts due in about 1 minute 30 seconds. Whenever an advert rolls in this corner, I pause the gameplay. I pause the gameplay so that no one gets any spoilers. So don't you worry, you're not going to miss what's going on on this TV happening over here. I'm going to go for a wee. I'm going to go and get myself another can of Dr. Pooper. So I implore you to do the same. Go and take care of yourselves in the outbreak. Take your medication. Take your vitamins. This is your pill reminder. Do you have things you need to take? Do them. Got chores you need to do? Do them. Go to the loo. Do a massive chunky poo. Have you been holding your wee in? Good. It's time to wee. It's pee-pee break, guys. Or you go outside and look at the sky and go, oh, yes, that's the sky. Touch some grass if you want. I don't know. Just feel good. Do something that's good for your future self. 
And, but, yeah, I'm gonna go for a wee. The app has only lasted three months, and there won't be another one for a whole hour. So, don't worry about that one. Don't worry about, about that one. But once the outfits are done, we're gonna jump in, and we're gonna watch all that's on this TV and see what Alice has got to say next. I'm so excited. I heard pooping. I'm gonna be pooping in a minute. It's poo-poo time. How are you doing, Grave? Hello, llamas. Well, I hope you guys are good. But, yeah, 40 seconds. There's no point me even entering through, because I want to know what's going on there. And I, uh, I also need a wee, and I also want a Dr. Pooper. So, we wait. A poo-poo time. It's a pee-pee poo-poo time. Yes, it's time to unleash all the lemonade that's inside you. <laughs> Your pee meters need to enter zero. Otherwise, you can't sit with us. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's so mean. So, so mean. It's a good time to grab snacks, too. Have you eaten today? Go and get something to eat. Do it. Or have you got washing in the washing machine? Go and put it on the line. Find out the girl that I liked likes girls. But they also like boys, too? Or is it just, just girls? That's the case, then. Rip. But at least you find out sooner rather than later, right? Sooner rather than later. It's so that you don't waste your time. Anyway, adverts. They do now. I'm going to turn on the music. I'll see you guys after the ads, okay? See you in a minute. Uh, uh. I just scoffed teeny tiny Maryland cookies. I had the multi pack. I just scoffed some cookies. Feeling better. Got some fresh can though. We're ads supposed to play. Yep. Yeah. This all. Sometimes they play. Sometimes they don't. For according to my stream manager, they were playing again. You might be lucky and not get any. You might get one. You might get the full three minutes. It's the RNG of um, ads. It's one of those things. But welcome back, everyone. Let's go and have a look what's going on in this room. Hello, Alice. Hmm. 
One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image of the horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed. And I picked up my camera. Oh. Good story, I guess. Weakness is clarity. The comeback. Okay. All right. Hmm. Don't know if he's telling a story. <laughs> I'm loving it. All right, what's on number three? What's going to happen? Hi, Alice. There was something the lamp. in the dark. Something I needed to see, to show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. The search. Clarity is purpose. I see, I want to say that's Scratch, but I think that's us. Hello? Oh, God. Okay, Alice. We're going for it. Hello, Art. There's a world hidden behind ours. A dark tide ebbing and flowing against reality. Faces in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that that vast paralyzing ocean. But photography can freeze reality in a snapshot, put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there. Ooh. There's a nope zone. Realization, the purpose is strength. Okay, let's go in. A it is. Let's dive. manuscript of a novel return a horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place taking over bright falls i couldn't remember writing it i had not written it i would never write this i knew who had scratch a monster with my face if this story came true scratch would get out people would die destroying the manuscript it wouldn't stop it from happening i would have to fix it edit it I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end.
Don't think I'm a sting in the morning. Whoa, okay. You hate this song? Well, that's like your opinion, man, even if it's wrong. <laughs> Gee, so... Did Scratch succeed? But I also low-key wonder, when Alan scratched out his name on the manuscript, or if that created Scratch, it makes... The more I play this, you expect more answers, but you get more questions. Oh, it's hmm. Oh, so, so Saga was already in the town. So by that thought, what happened to Saga's daughter has happened. However, by Alan writing her into the story, has made her possibly wipe her memories to become the character he wrote her to be within the story. Which is why she can't remember what's happened. Perhaps? Maybe? Some say that loops forever. <laughs> Cheeky devil. <laughs> oh, I really hope this game gets answers. Because, like, it's making a little bit of sense, but trying to put it into words is hard. I guess we're switching back to Saga much sooner than I thought. We're really flip-flopping between the worlds now. We are slowly exploring more and more. So what's going to happen next? Saga's going to go to the nursing home. But what's going to happen to Alan? I guess he's probably gonna wake up outside the TV set and he's gonna be like, oh, what happened? It's probably what's gonna happen. He's gonna have like a proper anime reaction. Uh. So curious. So curious. And yeah, there's apparently weird song issues with Poe. The artist's Spotify makes me sad. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. I wonder what that's about. Anyway, let's keep going. Continue! I need to know what's gonna happen next. <laughs> Best TV show ever, but that's not a TV show. <laughs> Scratch stopped me before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. Mm. The memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there, at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. And what about the world? It's just Alice. Just Alice is the worry. Not the world. Just Alice. No one else. Just, just, just here. Oh, we can't leave. Okay. Do I go to the flop board then? Ah, uh, yes, we Oh, yeah. Flop board? I needed a new draft of the story. Hmm. One that would get me ahead of scratch. Draft three. Okay, let's have a, can I, can I zoom in? What does it say? Part one, masks. Running out of time, Scratch wrote return. He stopped me before I could reach the end with my edits. He added now, the horror story will still come true. I stopped Scratch before he escaped. One last chance, one last draft of initiation to get me there. Scratch wrote return, he has it, stop him. Okay, how do I stop him? Do I start clickety-clacking? Do we start click? Click, click, click. I guess we start clicking. Hello, Duke. How you doing? What's up with down? How's it going? Chaos. Always chaos. How you doing, Duke? What's up with down? How's it going? Happy Saturday. Old time zone. Hope you're good. Boop. Zane has said we worked on return together. Mm -hmm. That was a lie. Scratch wrote return. I would pay Zane another visit. Oh. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. Another monitor? Are you sure we're not behaving like Scratch? Hmm. Oh, there he is. Door! Man. 
masks. Initiation seven. Doing good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Talk to Mr. Door. Is the water meant to resemble Cauldron Lake? I've got the oil spill right here. The oil spill. It's the darkness spill. Well, we have been flip-flopping back and forth. Mmm. I'm trying to decide. Should we go back to the other reality or should we go and speak to Mr. Door? I can't decide. I'm thinking we should flip back because that's how we've been doing. We've been going back and forth. But I'm also like, like Door. But kind of low-key want to speak to Door. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's so tricky. Artie, what would you do? I don't know. That door looks very friendly. <laughs> and plus, I've joined My reaction for exactly. Gingerly. My reaction exactly. Voyage pass! Why are you like drawn to the book of subs? But book? Book? Book of subs? Where are you? It's Saturday. Book of subs. There it is. Oh, it's a very short one today. Thank you so much for using your Prime. I appreciate you. Bass! I hope you enjoy the new emotes that have been made. <laughs> it did a double. Why gingerly just kept their antlers for five months? <laughs> right. Hi, right. some bar hug. Hello. Why you like drawing in the book? Let me know. I want to know. I want to know. Um, you got two new emotes this month. Well, uh, this week. You got Uki Vom and Uki Sad. I made two more. Well, I say two more. I did. Yeah, there they are. Uh, for your enjoyment. Right, I'm going to do it. Ip, dip, sky blue. Nanny sitting on a loo. Dropping a poo. Singing a song. Out goes you. Out goes us then, I guess. Saga it is. Saga! Yep. In and out of different realities. Do -de do -de do do trying to make sense of the world. I don't know what's going on, but we're trying our best. I say that, I I getting to grasp with what's going on. But I still have no idea how to explore I'm plus of joy for Duke Dinglish. Bam and Boy gifted a tier one sub to Duke Dinglish. They have given two gift subs in the channel. Oh Thank you so much, Nima, you like Dragon Book subs! Thank you so much for giving Duke a set of Atlas a joy. Thank you, thank you. Duke, I hope you enjoyed the Atlas for the month. Thank you so much for that, boy. That's really generous of you. Thank you for the support. I'm passing up the love. That's really cute. Thank you. Saga Anson, in as much detail as possible, am I allowed to use reference? Am I allowed to use reference? Bam and boom. One, Saga. And uh, Sen. On in. Oh, I just realized. Yes. Okay. In brackets. Ref. I'm allowed to use ref. Good. Because let's just say we are currently eight months behind in the notes. <laughs> so just imagine me in eight months going, oh, God. Saga hands in from brain. Woo. <laughs> ah, nah, 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 nah. All right. We're going to go to the nursing home. So we got to go. But what's over here? Never got to explore this area. Open up the map. We haven't got to... Oh, we're already on the way there. Oh. And there's a cult cache up there. Is that a manuscript? Oh, well, we're backing up about a cup because there's some things I want to have a look at. La, 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 la. Um, hi. Hello. Hello. Still here. Still here. Still yelling into a microphone. Can I jump up here? Oh, I can. Nice. That boat's very angry. Some would even say it's cross. You're a bum hole, Another you know that? Rhyme. Such a bum hole. Hmm. Go on, Anne. What's this riddle? What is it? Mother, may I go outside? May I run and play? I say to you, my daughter, dear, go outside and play, but only in the light of day and only round the trees so grown. Never near the lake, my child, and never may you drown. Well, that feels personal. That feels personal. What we got? We do have a ma we have a child doll, and we have a mother doll. Is this one we can actually do something with? May I go outside and run a play. They go outside and play, but only in the light of day. Around the trees are grown. So tree, child, and mother. I'm guessing must be home. Something feels different. 
I should look around. Oh, I did a thing. I don't know what I did, but I did a thing. What did it do? I do not know. I'm taking the dollies. What'd I do? What'd I do? I don't know what I did. I haven't got a clue. That's the first time I've done one of those. Hello? What has changed? I do not know, but something has definitely changed. Hmm. Is that not a... That looks like one of those ducks from the um, FBC. Hmm. There's a lot of toys everywhere, isn't there? What's changed? I've never done that before. A rubber ducky. I love rubber ducks. They're so funny. We've seen some really good ones recently of like Regan from Exorcist and whatnot. So good. Hmm. I haven't collected rubber ducks in years, mind. In actual years. Is there going to be any sort of eggs up here? Sneaky eggs? No, just the end of the forest. Keep our suspension of disbelief. Map? Hmm. Oh, there is a cold stash near here. But where? <gasps> there is. There is. Nick and hiding behind the rocks. Another locked box. Hmm. What's that about? Is it a number? Oh, it's one of these ones. Middle. Top. Bottom. Right. Left. No! <laughs> I slipped. Middle. Top. Bottom. Right. Left. idiot what have we got we've got some ammo we got a first aid kit and a flare what does this one say the cult of the tree sees everything oh does it now <gasps> actually we haven't been to the mine palace in a minute before i go to the mine palace let's have a look hello dear you good why does it feel like the textures have gone a little bit speed with maybe they have maybe they haven't they just need some time to buffer and cash in <laughs> A bubber ducky? Is it a bubber stucky? No, it's a fine. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Why is it didn't take our mind palace evidence? Valhalla nursing home. Torin Odin might know something about the clicker. They With might. Wake out of reach. This is my best lead. We'll see. Right. Finally. Can get this down. Tor's about to tell me something. Put it by here. Is Tor okay? I bet he's fighting the nurses, if I'm honest, but okay. Let's see. Let's go into nursery rhymes. I did a thing. Um, Rhyme found a capsite over in Bright Falls. Then we also got a bear doll. <laughs> bear doll. We also have a monster doll. How many of these do I have left to collect, I wonder? We have a maiden doll. Still feels like there's a bit of gappage. A gappage, wow. Um, put the child doll down as well. Are we only missing one? Maybe? Looks like we might be just missing one doll now. I wonder what that could be. Field notes about the rhymes. Put that with here. Nice. And then we go into our next case. Are the dog variety? <laughs> it's such a sausage. Staff found in Bright Falls. Then we also have Stash found a watery trailer area. I can read good, honest. Then we got the story. So far, we have entered the watery overlap by completing the parade float that we did. The overflap. Then we can't do these yet. That's fine. We also got Cult of the Tree. We got Ilmore was going to attack us, actually. That's Whatever that's it. about. Hmm. And Cult tried to kill Adam Wake. Where can I put that? Hmm. Cult goal? Would it be in that? It would. Why do they want to kill a wake? Because I reckon he's, um, scratch is why. I can't put any of these down. They're both for later. Okie dokie, artichokey. 
done the thing and stuff. Let's go and check if we can upgrade our weapons. Then we'll keep having explorations. Hello, hello, how's waking going? It's waking. It's all waking up. How you doing, Asteria? What's up, Stan? How's it going? <laughs> These are crunchy looking. Um, increased reload speed, deals damage, increased damage, stand up blind, and knockdown. Bows and bolts have been using that. Fires two bolts before needing to be reloaded. I like the sound of that. Bolts launch into enemies or attract bullets fired near them. <gasps> that sounds sick. Full string, hold the fire button to draw the crossbow further for increased damage on a straighter R. Mm. I'm gonna do this one because it Sandra sounds really had good. Hit the taken with the crossbow. She Magnetic. switched to a gun and kept firing at it. The bullets hit home, following a strange trajectory. I as like if the it. bolt had carved a track in the air for them. Sick. A magnetic pull for them to follow. Nice. And what about the pistol? Are you good with pistol? Increase magazine by 50%. Another headshot. Land two headshots in quick succession to stun enemy. I mean, if I had a headshot, I'd be down on the ground, wouldn't I? But I guess this isn't the game. Oh, how are we doing on that? We're doing good. It looks like we just need a couple more. Cool, cool. Poor weapon books, all cursed with a low amount of pixels. <laughs> I don't know why the textures are taking a while to load in today. But I did clear my uh, PC recently of like loads of uh, just stuff that needs to be cleaned out. Mom may be gone, but whenever I read this, I feel like she's still here. And I reckon I might have cleared my uh, my cache for my games. Saga, for what it's worth, I think it's upon that Logan grows up, seeing you do what you love, what you're great at. And I'll teach her so much. There'll be times just like this when you question your choices, your confidence, even your own sanity. Uh, when things get dark, remember to trust and love yourself as much as your family does. It won't be perfect, but I know you'll do amazing. Love you always, Mom. That's cute. It's very cute. And do we need to profile anyone? No, we should be alright. Okie dokie, artichokies. Let's uh, go up for a wonder. What did I open? Oh, look, it's a moose. What did I open? A portal of some kind. But what portal? Another dimension to somewhere? Where? Do I step on it? No. Something fell over. I don't know what, but something fell over. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll have a little exploration. <laughs> This is one of the best things in the game. You have great as if Alan wrote it down in the story and the weapons start behaving such. It was very cool. It's very neat. Very neat. Do like. Very much like. It makes everything feel a little bit more like it's always been and never will. I like it. Map. Manuscript. Did I just walk straight past the bloody manuscript? Oh, is it in the bloody building? There's another stash nearby. I think I'm going to go and find it. May as well while I'm in the area. Do, 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 do. Is there a manuscript in here? Where? <gasps> there! Let's pick it up. And then we'll have a listen to it. Ugh. Off we go. And let's have a listen to the history of Valhalla Nursing Home. The Valhalla Nursing Home. Founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the old gods of Asgard fame. For their twilight years built after the return comeback tour flip-flop to be their farewell tour cut short cancelled as their agent barry wheeler had managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that balance lays the demon a couple of others the old men rocked like their namesakes the backstage parties got out of hand the air was thick with smoke wheeler squinted his migraine flared, booze and drugs. A rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. I would love to know what their after parties are like. Grandma in a blanket, not just a blanket, it's an electric blanket. And on top of that, I've got a blanket behind me and I'm sat on another blanket. I'm surrounded by blankets right now. Oh, this one's doing my head in though, hang on. Cushion, you are gonna have to go because you are nudging my bunches in a way I do not like. It's annoying me. There we go. Oh, I feel weird without my like back of the head rest. Oh, it's all good. Right, let's go and get that other stash that's down here. And let's explore this area a bit and then we'll go off to the nursing home. Just hate the cold, don't you? Well, I don't mind the cold, but there's 
being cold and then there's shivering all day. I just really feel the cold. I've always been that way. Even in summer when it's like hot as heck, you can guarantee there'll be a point where I'll feel like I'll get a load of goosebumps and then I'm cold for the rest of the day. Whoops. Have you ever had a dream that, 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 that you, you, you can do What? <laughs> Sick! <laughs> that was dirty. <laughs> you bum home. Like a snowman in hell? Yeah, I guess so. I'm just one of those people that's like a lizard. My blood is runs cold for some reason and I just can't see feel the chill. No matter what I do to try and avoid it. I just do. It won't be long, though, before I start whinging about how hot it is all the time, because summer's on its way. Nothing over here, just a broken up campsite. Alright. Good thing we love lizards. I love lizards. I used to have a lizard. Did I ever tell you guys that? I think I have. Her name was Dopey. We picked her up from a man who didn't want her anymore. She was quite an elderly lizard. And she was lovely. She was a blue tongue skink. She's just a really lovely lizard. She'd sit up on her rock and watch TV with me. Whenever the TV would be on, she'd be up on her rock immediately to watch it. She was lush. I love Dopey. She was so, um, silky is the best way I can explain how she felt. Silky. She's so funny. Don't make me hungry. I plan to make you hungry. Unless you want to be made hungry, we can do that easily. We're roasted in a globe of garlic. Mmm, garlic. Garlic bread. Alright, we're going to the nursing home, by the way, in case you can't guess. I can't bother exploring that way. We've been there. We've done that. Let's keep going. Do, 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 do. Wait, does that mean I can reload my... No, I can still only hold one crossbow. Well, one arrow in my crossbow. Oh, that's a tongue twister to me. Do, 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 do. No Easter eggs, though. No Easter eggs so far. Uh-huh. Whoa. Where? No. No! Oh! Jesus. Reload, 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 reload. Where'd he go? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's two. There's two. There's two. Birds the yell. Running, running, running. What are you doing? Run! No! Bloody old lady, take your pills. <sighs> quick, quick, heal, 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 heal. We need to heal, we need to heal, we need to heal, we need to heal. Okay. Jeez Louise. Woo! You mean my youngest dog watch Stargate together every time Stargate theme plays? She runs to me and lays in my lap and watches the whole episode. That's so cute. It's so cute. Where are you, pup? Where are you? Whoop! Oh no! Whoa! Oh, come on! Seriously? Where'd he go? Oh, he's zooming. Whoa! Whoa! There's two of them? I ain't got the nonsense with this! Kinnick. Do you not know how valuable my Whoa! My bullets are right now? Uh-huh. Even my batteries mate. Oh come on. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, pup. You need to be done. Uh-huh. But Oh, I got him. Blink and neck. <gasps> Jeez Louise. Feel oh. up by the cup. Ooh. It's like I'd be aiming at them and they just go whoop. <laughs> to like a completely different hang, like direction from where I was aiming. It'd be annoying because I'd be lining up waiting for them to come for me. And then they just go, oh, I'm over here now. Bunch of bum holes. Right, as I look at my infantry, I'm going to have to do some rejigging. Quick slots of that over here. I know those take a while. Get a quick slot that to up here. Okay. 
Should be fine. Should be in the big wood there. We'll see. Shame I lost those arrows. Don't know where they've gone. Are there any more wolves? Please no. Please no. Right, let's see. Ranger cabin and nursing home. I would like to go to the ranger cabin first. Oh, there's Easter eggs nearby. There they are. Where are you, little lunchbox? Where are you? There's Another this. Alex Casey lunchbox? Hell yeah. Open up, buttercup. Can't read anything again. Just then, I suddenly slammed into something that felt like a sturdy, well-built brick wall. I almost fell, but a strong arm grabbed me by my waist. I hardly knew what was happening. A voice reached through my confusion. Frightened haze like an outstretched hand. A gruff, manly voice. The deep, reassuring voice assured me. Don't you worry, miss. I've got this. Looked up just in time to see the monster barring through the forest at us. Just then, a blast. The monster went down like an elderly person who has lost their cane. I looked at my saviour and saw a handsome face with a dark hair. He wore a stylish tweed jacket and held a smoking pistol. Looks like I got here just in time, he said. He smiled at me, but my heart fluttered like a bird. I'll say, I thought to myself. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Lovely little bit of fanfic in the de uh, desert, in the forest. That's one way to dodge the bullet, uh, bolt. It's almost like they're doing wall hacks, to be honest with you. From Shakalaka, here comes the spirit doggy. Not the spirit doggy! Got your blanket thrown, I'm into. Wait, what? My blanket thrown? Oh, yeah. To be fair, I was this close to going. Oh, hello. <laughs> I was this close to getting my duvet. I'm plonking it on my chair, and then I was like, no, I can't do that. I'm already kind of weirdly claustrophobic today. Can't do that. Even in darkness, you can't escape the slash pick. Can't do it, Steam. Fix a life. Ooh, guitar. Hmm. It does feel like my graphics have been lowered. Hang on. I don't mean to cut a pause here, but oh, I feel like things are looking kind of dirty in here. Hmm. <laughs> Why is it so low? Hmm. No, everything looks fine. Weird. Very weird. Okay. It's just being a butt. I know they're not all on high and ultra. But I try my best to make my PC burn while I'm on uh, stream. Okie dokie. Oh, is it flooded? So I can't access. The bloody ranger cabin. Ah, tisk tisk. Fine. I guess we're going up here then. I let's smash. Oh, oh, oh. Boop. <laughs> there you go. Okie dokie, Archie Shoki. Mm -hmm. Rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? It's kind of fun to say. Okie dokie. Guess we're going over here, ski. Follow these lovely little nature paths. Whoa. Oh. Oh, there's another egg somewhere by the looks of it, maybe. Maybe? You know what? I haven't done this. Nice. Bonk. Oh, reload. Oh god, there's so many of them. Whoa! Bro. The woods. <laughs> Shut up right now! No, no, no! No! Not that kind of bang into the woods! No, 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 no! No, no! No! Inappropriate! <laughs> not at all! Not the time! No! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, oh no! Oh, no, 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 no! no. no. Reload, 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 time. It's horrible! What do you want about? Whoa! Where? Where is he? Well, he can't see anything! Whoa! Oh, okay, you see, uh, he's up there. You're a bum hole! No! But! Whoa! Whoa. Fucking monsters. Yeah, I need more bullets now. 
bunch of bummels. Oh, now I got a load of words. <laughs> Ignore me. <sighs> All right, then let's do a proper big heal. Very well time who did that? I was sick. You bunch of. Well, back you turned on RTX. The game seems to have a memory leak. The higher settings, the faster it gets play. We saw it fixes it for a while. Oh, is that it? Should I turn off RTX then? I did it on for giggles because I never bothered using it before. This is the first game I've actually turned RTX on for. Yeah, it's my fault. I keep playing games from the 90s though, don't I? But da bum bum bum. And they don't have RTX. They just have, let's have the model in the other room making it look like it's a mirror, but it's not. These cursed newfangled games with their memory leaks and lots of leakage. There's a lot of leakage. Oh, are you kidding me? I bet I can't get there. I bloody knew it, but now I know there's eggies down there. And I want them! Fine. Thank you, though, Scooter Bagger. Uh, I think they lowered the GPU requirements. Yeah, they have done that recently, if I remember rightly. There's a patch or something. That they've uh, lowered some of the uh, requirements. It's probably why it looks More a little bit different since I saw the game. And yoink! Yeah, let's take this. Let's take that. Oh, wait, we can't take that. We've got to read it, sorry. One bolt in a dream. <laughs> Is that my band's name? It might be. How you doing though, Scooter? I hope you're good. I was going to leave some cookies, but I was worried an animal wouldn't would get to them, so I didn't. But I thought that counts, right? It counts. It definitely counts. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Anything else down here? Any more sneaky sneaks? I wonder. We've been up there, that's where the eggies was. Ah, it's another dead end. Anything there? No. Okay. We should probably reload uh, our pistol, at least. Of anything. Definitely make sure that stays uh, full. You know what I did earlier this week? I sat through the entire Jurassic Park trilogy. Now, I love Jurassic Park. But I haven't sat through... Well, that was rude. I haven't sat through the Jurassic Park trilogy in a hot minute. And I decided I was going to do it. So I did it. The Matrix is a system. <laughs> That system is our enemy. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Have I entered another dimension? Oh, you know what? We're going to turn off the RTX. <laughs> Have I entered another dimension today? What's going on? Brrr, one bolt in a dream. Yeah, I read that. Hi, Andy. How you doing? What's up with Dan? How's it going? I finally need to turn it off and on again, though, for um, RTX to go on. But we're going to turn it off. I probably have to restart. But hopefully that makes things run a little bit better. Might make my PC a little bit less toasty. Oh. No. I don't want to fight. I really... Really can't be bothered. Oh, get out of it. Go on, have that. I'm running. To the nursing home. To the nursing home. Here's a run of this going on. Not allowed to chill day. Never. Keep on running, keep on running through the woods. No, 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 mate. Get out of my butt. Not today, sir. Not today. Oh, look at it. Oh, that's ominous as heck. Oh, I love it. That's such a beautiful building. Tor and Odin claim to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. Nice. The less I knew about Done him, in. the better. Look at that's got like the little railings on the top of the roof, man. That's like a Sims build. Oh, what a little. Guessing that's where we enter. I just heard a knock at the door. I don't know why there's a knock at the door, but there was a knock on the door. We will get him, sure. Do, 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 do. <laughs> play old school Zelda I've been itching to play some you know I've been absolutely itching to because I've been playing TOTK it's given me like a major want to go back in time and play like Majora's Mask 
or um, Ocarina of Time. Or even like Wind Waker. I've never played Wind Waker. I only ever got to play that free trial from the uh, Super Mario Dash. Uh, Double Dash Racing one. Oh. Oh. If somebody wants you to open the door, I ain't open the door. I, I've got all you guys to uh, hang out with. They can come tomorrow. In fact, no, they can come by Monday. Do, 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 do. Did you hear the door knock? It sounded like it was right in my ear hole. I don't think I've ever heard anyone actually bother use the door knocker. Usually they just like full on pound the door with their fist. Nothing over here. I should probably turn off my flashlight now. Why? Right, let's look at this sign collected for my mind palace. What's this one say? Vote Mayor Setter to sit in office. Meet Mayor Setter in some more hole in Watering. Uh, yeah. Cool. Maybe one day. The Wellness Center. Bloody hell, it's dark, isn't it? Hello? Anyone here? Hello? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bleaking egg. Jesus. That really got me. You bawled. That was so loud. <laughs> was it? Oh, no. Oh, I had a full D experience then. Thanks. Thank you. Did not like that. That felt too real. <laughs> no, it could be a cheeseburger. It could be my cheeseburger. I feel like I just hailed a cheeseburger. Oh, look. A manuscript. How about that? Lincoln Eck. Go on. Let's have a read. Too real, man. Too real. Saga at the nursing home. Go on, give us the spoilers. Saga had slid into a nightmare. A growing amount of evidence said her daughter was dead. Saga couldn't accept that. Wake said it could be undone, but Wake was gone, in the custody of the Federal Bureau of Control. Casey, her only ally, was gone too. She was alone. Agent Estevez had pulled rank on her, stonewalled her, shut her out of her own case. Saga refused to give up. She needed answers. Tor and Odin Anderson would have some. A family visit then. No one could blame her for that. Saga was trapped in a horror story. It was manifesting itself around her like the darkness of a mental illness, pushing her deeper and deeper. Could you hear that then? Could you hear that? Can you hear it? I hope you can't hear it. There's the owl boy again. The owl loves telling a story. Have you noticed? Loves it. Quickly to the case board. Let's do the thing. Let's slide some things on here. So can't do those, but we've got some more cases. Do, 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 do. Nursery rhymes. Let's go and oh no, not the nursery rhymes. Sorry, we want the Isaac Casey lunch boxes. No, you can't hear it. Good. Maybe just start drilling again. Ugh. Let's have it. Who left these? Who knows? I don't know. Oh, that doesn't go there. That goes into the Bright Falls area. Of course, dog. This one goes over here. Nice. Look at me. I'm such a good FBI agent. I know stuff. Oh, I love these lamps. They make me think of the old time you wind me like oil lamps. So good. So the Valhalla resting home, huh? A bit ominous calling it that, but okay. Ding dong! Old gods return five! It's waiting late for visitors, you know. I was just getting the... Hi! Oh! Saga? Yeah. What's up? Hello. I'm here to see Tor and Odin. Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. Why? Tor actually called me over. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. Her facial expressions are too good. 
too good. You know when she did like almost childish, um, like talking down to you? Oh, they can't see anyone right now. You know, they had too much fun. Wanted to kick her face in. <laughs> Thank you for letting a weird lady with a crossbow on her back come in. Looks a crossbow on back. I know. <laughs> I love the architecture. Ooh. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. Mm. You say that like it's your first time here. He's here. <laughs> Alan, I am your biggest fan ever. Cardboard Alan. Best Alan. No, I must speak to Cardboard Alan. It's been so long since I've seen you. It's been like actually like a month and a bit since I've last seen you. I just want to know that I am your biggest fan. And I love the way that Baza carried you everywhere. It was like my favorite thing in the entire world. Have a good one. All right. Stay safe. What's in the box? What's in here? Ooh. An arrow. How about that? Ooh. Some batteries. Excuse? Just kick her in the balls. If only was that easy. Another lunchbox. It's Rose. Rose is leaving the lunchboxes for sure. No like suspicion is at all. A lot of the first game, I'd be surprised if anyone actually trusted her. You are strong. You are successful. You are confident. Map. Hell yeah. This woman is a walking red flag. Hell yeah, she is. I can't wait to find out what her problem is. Alex, KC. What's over here? Oh, it's a shrine. It's a shrine. Lovely little shrine, huh? Uh, the cuts out. Cardboard Allen. Yeah, I miss Cardboard Allen. What happened to Barry anyway? He's moved. He's moved um to like out of hot. Well, no, he's gone kind of like Hollywoodish area because they're making an Alan Wake movie. He's been referenced there throughout the game so far. He's been emailing Alice, and that's how we found out where he's at. But we haven't seen Bazaar. But he's been busy making sure that Alan's uh, legacy is done in a good way. Do you think Alan worries if he's cut out to be a famous author? You are a bum hole. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Wake up! Alan Wake's crime novels have become the sensation of the nation. Join us as we flip through the pages of The Man Behind the Books, Folks Magazine. How has your life changed since the books become so popular? Oh, we might answer your question here, but now, Batman. Alan Wake. After do a lot more magazine interviews. Other than that, it's not so different. You are hilarious. I can see why you're a writer. So what do you do to get your creative juices flowing? Writing is all a very solitary journey. When I'm working, I like to become... Be all alone in my room with my manuscript. There I can wrestle with the story, get inside the heads of my characters. Sounds exhausting. And yet you find plenty of energy to party, right? Where on the street is, you've been out enjoying the New York life. Any favorite spots? I prefer it if we could focus on my writing. Definitely. Although I'm sure our readers would love to know where they can find the New York's hottest writer on a Saturday night. Are you working on a new book? Yes, on some level. I'm always working on the next story. Right now, I'm looking to something different. A departure from what people would expect. Something new. Be careful with that. People don't always like new. What does the role that... What role does the beautiful Alice Wake play in your work? Is she a muse? Alice keeps me stable. She's an anchor. Stopping waves from carrying me too far out to sea. So you say, but you are also a bit of a bumhole to Alice. I'm caught up a chat. Look at me go for once. I was wondering if you could help me. Longing internally. Will you serve pancakes? You were my muse all along, Rose. Naughty Alan. <laughs> Be my light in the darkness, Rose. Oh, she got his nose right, isn't she? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Where is this title? Alan Wake, the bad boy of fiction. Best-selling author sets a feisty new tone for writers. Alan Wake is an author best known for his Alex Casey books, a series of thrilling novels that reinvigorated the crime genre. But Wake isn't just known for his literary works. He's also famous among New York's exclusive clubs as a late-night party animal. This author is redefining what it means to be a writer. Gone are the days of isolated figures hunching over typewriters in dark rooms. Wake is a man who hits the town in style, a regular at the hottest spots in the city. Happy to see, happy to see and be seen. The people and the paparazzi can't get enough of him. It's not just a social cancer that makes a, this writer stand out together from his peers. Artists are famous for their tempers, but Wake is a complete different orbit. Damaging property, him photographers, black eyes, avoiding lawsuits. This writer's a train full of rage. Anybody get off the tracks? 
Like a punk rocker, Wake is grabbing musty old stereotypes, smashing them to pieces. And this is the one rebel to keep an eye out for. This is why I think Scratch and Wake are one person. This is why I think they are literally one person. Because of his temper. Hello, Vanstoy. How you doing? What's up, Stan? How's it going? Where is Alan Wake? Mystery writer mysteriously disappears. Whoever wrote that title needs a smack on the wrist. The best-selling author known for its Alex Casey novels has been reported missing in the town of Bright Falls, Washington, MR. Oh, bleh. Mr. Wake, sorry. I thought it was like another like code word for state. Mr. Wake's wife, Alice Wake, has not given any comments on this case, but is confirmed to have been one to report her husband's disappearance in the authorities. <gasps> to the authorities. Wow, I can't read today. The mystery surrounding the novelist's disappearance don't stop there. Other individuals from town were reported missing with similar time frame. It is unclear whether these disappearances are connected. Wake's literary agent, Barry Wheeler, has indicated that he has no information to provide. Despite having seen having been seen with Mr. Wake in Bright Falls, uh, just before the author's disappearance. What? Well, no, I haven't done reading, thanks. Scrolly, scrolly. The writer Alan Wake has a history of violence toward the press and is rumored to struggle with addiction. The story will be updated as it unfolds. Hmm. Naughty Alan. He's very naughty. Very naughty. For the twilight years. Old age is a state of mind. Oh, it looks like they've been doing yoga and stuff. Someone's been doing a doodle. Oh, careful with the dumbbells. Don't kick it. You're going to hurt your toes. Oh, what does this one say? Oh, it's wash your hands again. Can you tell that uh, this might be after the pandemic? <laughs> Alan Wake is a writer. No spoilers! Spoilers! Rock around the rocking chair. <laughs> so stupid. Sorry, Rose. I'm having a snoop. What's this one say? Oh, God. That's a lot of reading. The Valhalla Nursing Home was established in 2014 by the Old Gods Foundation. Originally built in 1965 by an unknown architect of the Finnish filmmaker Thomas Zane. This man is steeped in artistic history. I met Odin and Tor Anderson in 2012 in a strange trip that resulted in strange new friendships. I was honored to manage their band. Is this Baza? I was honored to manage their band as they made their comeback, touring the country and producing revolutionary new music. However, all good things must come to an end. Valhalla is a place of rest. In that spirit, well, this building will serve as a place where people can spend their golden years in peace and comfort. May it be a home to those who need one. Welcome to Valhalla. Barry Wheeler. Baza made this place! Oh, Vaza! Such a good boy. You should not leave ammo around the place, by the way, Rose. It's dangerous. The residents must be really scared of you and your crossbow. Oh, well, I haven't met any residents yet. They're so far so good, huh? Oh, there's our grandparents. Brrr, hello, Dinny. How you doing? What's up? What's down? How's it going? Even Vikings need their rest. Not in fact. Well, I guess they eventually do go to Valhalla. If they're lucky. Steals one of the toes before Kitty can eat it. <gasps> How dare you! Sneaky, sneaky. What does he think of karaoke? Hello? Old gods of Asgard. Mm. So Odin and Thor had abandoned everything. Do you know nothing about them? Do you know nothing? I have my reasons. Why? She must have bought the potato chips. I'm terrible booty. I'm like the actual villain of the game. Let's be honest. The actual villain. Oh, mm, how has it been an hour already? I disagree. It has not been an hour. There's no way it's already been an hour. That's insane. It literally feels like it only went off like five minutes ago. That's mad. Alan do karaoke. I would love to see Alan do karaoke. Technically, he's done a part of a musical. So technically, he could actually rock the karaoke. How you doing, Jordan? What's up with Stan? How's it going? Everyone, adverts are due very, very shortly. They are due in about 1 minute and 30 seconds. So I implore you, take your meds. Take your vitamins. This is your reminder to do your medication and stuff. Uh, if you're not into doing all that stuff, that's cool. I'm not your mum. I'm not going to boss you around. However, I do implore doing some sort of self-care, whether it's going to the loo, do a poo, go and get a drink, get a snack, go and do some cleaning up. Is your desk a bit messy? Put it in a little bit of order. Put the things on your desk that need to go in the bin, in the bin. Do something that's good for you. Do it. It'll make you feel a lot better for the rest of the day. Trust me. Your future self will thank you. You bibbed and bobbed on reality twice. Of course there is an advert. Well, I... It doesn't feel like there should be another one already. Way too soon. Way too soon. But fine. I do need a Wii, to be honest. So, no surprise there. <gasps> TV! 
Do I have time? Hello, Yako. We got four. Looks like another perfect morning in paradise. We got forty seconds. I agree, Ilmo. A perfect morning for me to drink this coffee I'm holding. Thirty seconds. Oh shit! This coffee is shit. Yako, did you just drink a regular brand coffee? Oh, I did. My perfect morning is ruined. And all because seconds. of your shit coffee. If only we could have good coffee. Hey. What? What's that sound? Oh. <gasps> Ten seconds. <gasps> we saw that. Oh, look! It's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh wow! No, there's an app at. But, but I'm gonna pause it. We'll be right back after the ad break. Okay, here's the music. Ah! Welcome back from the adverts, everyone. I hope they were not too long things. <sighs> Let's crack on with the adverts, shall we? An advert into another advert. <laughs> um, coffee, good coffee takes a while to brew, does it? I wouldn't know because I don't drink coffee, so that's interesting to know. Anyway, play. I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better love making, and deeper connection to animals. With a thermos full of hot coffee close at hand, you are always prepared for what comes next. How does it taste, Yako? <laughs> mm. I feel like a million bucks. Thanks, old dear diner coffee. Bright Falls Blend Organic Coffee is brewed with care right here in the Pacific Northwest from coffee beans that are sourced locally in Puerto Rico. Try it today <laughs> at Coffee World and the Old Deer Diner, and don't forget to try the delicious brunch special this month only for Deerfest. Mm. 
<laughs> oh, so good. Why are you watching ads in game? Because why not? Don't you love watching adverts? I can't get enough of them. Tear delicious. You know, but oh, don't you three seem streak? My wife screamed at me. Why I hadn't heard a single word she said. I thought, well, that's a weird way to start a conversation. You're a butthole. You're a butthole. Delicious. It makes you wear a suit. It looks like it. Maybe I need some. Sorry, Rose. I was distracted. And when I was like this on YouTube, and I'll never skip an ad again. You would though. Let's be honest. Takes a lot of time to make them cheesy like that on purpose. I think they're beautifully oh, done. Thought I'd lost you. Well, here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Oh, that's. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. Norman. Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Okay. I'm gonna have a look Torn over Odin here first. here somewhere. Need to find them. Mm-hmm. Take that. Nice. Are you guys all right? Still got your ankles out. I see Norman. Cheesy like that and still funny. It's so good. Well, I would, but I would never block them. Hello. Mm, I've seen Torin or Odin. Do either of you know where I could find Torin Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs, mm -hmm. but your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Oh. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Well, maybe he's just having a bad day. Who knows? Uh, what happened to Tor? Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. <laughs> and what are you knitting? That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Oh. Well, okay then, Norman is mood. I quite like Norman. Mandy May is also a bit of a mood sometimes. Are especially you, with the uh, planning to go watch the Needle in the Ear Fest parade, Mandy May? And sit in a crowd of noisy drunks all day? I'd rather stick this knitting needle in my ear. Oh, she likes needles in ears, doesn't she? Okay. What's over here then? Nothing on TV? Nothing else? Oh. Artie, this is your home. You Artie? don't need to keep cleaning. I take that mop away, but I know you'll just find it again. Girl, girl, what a once after being told no. Why rest when you are poor to work? <laughs> hey, uh, and you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, box, holy ray. Just thinking about it makes my dad's foot waggle. <laughs> Look at that, I know. <laughs> oh, she's back again. I love it. I absolutely love that artist, like, basically heart of this story, let's be honest. Does it go back in the hallway? It does. Love it! She sure has a thing with needles in the ears. She does a bit, doesn't she? But I watch out for Manny May and her knitting needles. If she gets haunted by the thingy, I'm gonna be so cross. Uh, do not stick a needle, needle in your ear, kids. Don't do it. Don't stick anything in your ear that cut, like, if your finger gets stuck, it should not go any deeper. You say you mean I've been here before? You said I've been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. 
It's useless. I need to stop the story. Did she just huff me out? That's it, you're getting a torch in the face. Excuse me? Bum cats, e needles, what's next? Who knows? Why didn't you mention Tor was hurt? Mandy Man Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? It's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. Ah, mm. uh, Poet and Muse. You can listen to the background music. How you doing, Valor Devil, by the way? What's up, Stan? How's it going? Hello, Artie. Nice to meet you. I'm Saga. Hello there. Saga Anderson. Hey, Pazin. Name won't make the man birch. Even a Swedish name. I'm Art. I know who you are. Anything good on the jukebox? Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers, old gods of Asgard, my pals, the Berkele Vikings. Berkele. Um. I'm looking for the Andersons. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. And were you in a band? Were you in the band? <laughs> Minak? No, no. Merkele satana en olven. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have shared a stage or two. Oh, I love Artie. What does this do? Locked doors. I guess that's a need for a place like this. The song revives the soul. <laughs> it's pretty good. But it's not uh, but the lime and the coconut, is it? Our language, Artie. Good group. I know. He's vile. Vile words. <laughs> Antlers of joy for Scoots a beggar. Bauman oh. boy gifted a tier one sub to Scooter Bega. Thank they you have for that boy. Three gift subs in the channel. Thank you so very much for giving us a fans joy. What are you like drawing the book of subs? Times two. Well, second time today. What are you like drawing the book? Thank you for that boy for giving Scooter Bega sub and us a joy. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support. Marati goes on vacation, ends up in a nursing home. You know he's secretly having the best time ever, though, right? You know he is. This song has the best guitar solo ever. Can't wait to like sit through the uh, OST at some point. Now this time, okie dokie. Thank you though. I appreciate you. Um, Scooter Bagger. I hope you enjoy the emotes drawn by yours truly. There's new anime emotes that come out this literally yesterday. <laughs> I'm hoping to try and draw at least one a week because I still got like eight more spaces left that I need to fill, and I need to draw them. Well, eight in tier one. There's still four in tier three. Hello. Ooh, it's very oddly quiet, isn't it? It's almost too quiet. Ooh, shoebox. I could do some uh, switcherooskies in here. Let's see. I do have some more arrows. Let's go and move some arrows over. Let's do it. I'm going to move my arrows actually down to here. It's a shame I can't stack them, but I get it. Uh, rifle ammo. Let's put it right here. Let's put you over here. You can go up here. And then there is also some of those first eight wipes, which I'm going to put over. Huh? Sorted. This chapter is probably my favorite. I don't know why, because I just started playing it, but I'm enjoying it so far. <coughs> Excuse Scooter Bigger spoiled what? five beings. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> you silly sausage. An absolute donut with sprinkles on top. Thank you so much for giving out five and as a joy. Thank you very much, you scooter bagger. What was that about? What was that about? Been watching forever, long overdue, but you didn't have to do that. I am here to chill out, to just hang, like have chit chats and stuff and hopefully make someone out there smile. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. Scooter bagger, why you like to the book of subs? Thank you. That's so sweet of you. Thank you very much, Lee. Can I get draw nothing without a reference? I definitely can. Definitely can. I'm gonna give I'm the deer a pet. Pastures now. Pet the deer. <laughs> thank you for feeding mods as well. I hope you're good out there, buddy. I'm not gonna call out your name though, just because you might be lurking. But thank you for feeding the mods. It's nice to see you. 
Uh, quick save. Actually, I should probably do a manual save. It's been a hot minute. Uh, mouse, get off my screen. Uh, here we go. Overwrite it. How many hours now? 22. Not bad, not bad. And let's smash it. Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> here you go. The atmosphere and pacing and tension is done really well, which uh, you'll come to see as well. Tell me nothing. I will show, I will explore all. Oh. This entire game, though, has been so good. So good. Right, what's over here, then? Oh, we got another door lock. Oh, God, got an itch. Got an itch right there. Oh, right between the shoulder blade, you bum hole. Get out of there. Oh, my shoulders are really tight. Oh, I think I need to get the muscle driller. Okay, nothing over there. Nothing over here. Judging by this by here. Oh, it's Pat. Pat? Very old. Oh. The government built a bunker here during World He's in War II. He's in here. the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker, Shh. it's Spencer. been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it. Ironically, I believe. Wait, they motel? Go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and electronic cigarettes. Ridiculous. The future is... <clears throat> the Ocean View Motel? So, the teens would drink there. Do other stuff that isn't appropriate content for you listeners at home. But the bunker has a tendency to flood. Especially oh. during the winter. In the 90s, a, a group of teens went down there one Saturday night and got a little drunker than usual. The teens noticed one Don't girl, mind me, Pat. Nora Hesburgh, was missing. They figured mm. she just went home. When Nora's folks didn't find her in her bed the next morning, they called the police. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you for the follow. Wait to look up a land. Hope you enjoy saying not going to call out your name, though, just in case you're lurking. Search the bunker. And I hope you're good. Found poor Nora floating in one of the flooded passages. Oh, that's horrible. She had a real talent for music. I played the first game as well. Mm -hmm. Estimation well, point, they, Alan Wary. You still hear her singing in the I'll tell you, home. my entire gameplay since January. Nowadays, teens think the bunker is haunted. That doesn't stop them from going there. The police have tried to lock it up, but you know young people. They're persistent. Now, as for myself, an impartial journalist, I have lived here at the Valhalla Nursing Home for five years. And in that time, I have never heard Nora's singing. Just the humming of a certain neighbor of mine who has an inexplicable love for Finnish tango. <laughs> Hi, do you play horror games or not? I do. I do. I love playing horror games. They scare the bejeebus out of me. <laughs> it make me scream a bit too much, if I'm honest. But I love playing horror games. At the moment, we're going through Alan Wake universe. This is Tor's room. But we'll be back to more horror games very soon, I'm sure. Finish Tango. The Finish Tango. What's some of your faves? Oh, God. Do I have to just name one? <laughs> ah, some of my favorite ones. I... Ugh. Mm, Alien Isolation, because it was the very first horror game I ever played on stream, and it's the first horror game I ever played from start to finish on my own. I mean, like, I know I did on stream, but I was basically on my own. That's one of my favorites, so it has a special place in my heart, because I never thought I was going to be able to finish it. I really do enjoy the Outlast games. I know they're a bit Marmite, but I actually quite enjoyed that world. Really love Poppy Playtime, although I haven't played Chapter 3 yet. Or the uh, multiplayer. I haven't done those yet. Need to at some point. Uh, Dead Space. Fantastic. So good. The atmosphere in those games. I really enjoyed number two. Three was good, but not as good as one and two. Um, I actually enjoyed Blair Witch. Although saying that, I think the latter half of the game was way better than the like middle and beginning. Oh, God. What other ones have I played? I've played loads. Loads on stream. Trying to remember all of them, all the individual <gasps> Evil Within, bloody good game as well. So good. Love that universe. I wish there was a third. Silent Hill and Resident Evil also. You know, gotta have those call outs. Definitely this one. So good. And I loved all the Remedy recent games. I've never played Remedy until literally January. I mean I say that. I played like 
uh, Max Payne as a kid, but when you play my, like any game as any child from the ages of zero to like 12, I'd say, you don't have an understanding of how to play games. You just kind of play them to your best ability, but it's not always in the way that they are designed. <laughs> um, and that's how I did it. I just like popped on for like 30 minutes. I was like, ah, la, 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 and then turned it off. I want to play Max Payne though one day. Now that I'm an older lady of 30, I think I'd be able to play them now. Back as a child, that's like 10 years old. Couldn't do it. Didn't have the brain for it. Alien Isolation is so spooky and love Outlast. Yeah. Have you played Quantum Break? No, I have not. Not yet. It's my plan for when I play the Max Payne games is to do um, Quantum Break as well. Uh, Song of Horror. Loved Song of Horror. I have played Condemned. Loved Condemned. It was really good. That vault's on um, both of those. Both of those vaults are on um, YouTube as well. If you want to check them out. Uh, Phantasmagoria. Loved that. And Harvester as well. Both great games. So cheesy. I like the both of them. I really want to play Phantasmagoria 2 at some point. Really want to. I haven't quite had the chance to yet. I really want to get to into some more FMVs. Uh, they are remaking Max Payne 1 and 2. Are they? It's our Quantum Break a couple days ago. Nice. Well done. I can't wait to play Quantum Break at some point. Don't know when, but I will. I play Cry of Fear. Yeah. I Funnily enough, I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those few games that everybody loves. More moonshine. But I hated was this it. Was a drunken rampage? I had the same experience about um, Visage or Visage. Hated that. Absolutely hated it. A lot of people are like, this is the best horror game ever. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> Which is fair enough. Which is fair enough. We all got different opinions. And that's the one thing about horror that makes it so tricky. It's so divisive. Because it's so subjective to what you think is horror and how it gets under your skin. And sometimes it depends what mood you're in, like how you are in your brain and where you are in life at that point when you're playing it will depend whether you enjoy it or not. Like say if I played Alien Isolation now, maybe I wouldn't have enjoyed it as much as I did back then. It's one of those funny things, isn't it? You could just not be in the right headspace for it and it just doesn't get into you the way you think, you know? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. Well, I need to keep looking. Obviously not. It's obviously not here. We should go into our mind palace. Um, has pretty heavy themes. Cry for your game. Yeah, I hated it. <laughs> I can deal with a lot of disturbing things. I'm what, like, I consume horror, as though it's like Coronation Street or EastEnders to most people. I consume horror every single day, and I just hated that world. It was not my thing whatsoever. Uh, well, chat didn't help with Visage games either. That is true. That is true. It was just... I, know. I did hate it, though. It had a good idea. Just executed in a way that I thought was incredibly boring. <laughs> um, hi, Shagsy. How you doing? What's up, Stan? How's it going? And Casaboos! Thank you for 19 bitties! I'm gonna put your name to your book of bitties. <laughs> How you doing, Casaboos? What's up, Stan? How's it going? I hope you're good. Brrr, visage, I really enjoyed it, but not on stream, so I can. People back seeing it might ruin the experience. I love the mirror chapter so much. It was okay. Again, as I said, I just... Did not like it. <laughs> Hated it. Excuse me. Shagzy 101 just kept their antlers for 19 months. Good thanks, you. <laughs> you could say that for free, you know. You could. Where's that pen go? <laughs> you could say it for free. You are aware of that, right? Shagzy, what would you like to do with the book of subs? Thank you very much, Lou. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, silly goose. I hope you enjoyed the new two animated emotes I made. Uh, they released yesterday. There'll be more coming up uh, very shortly. Not, no choice. No, 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 no clue. Lady's choice. Sure can do. I'm a lady, apparently. A lady. Ooh. Don't know why I have to say in the little Britain way, but I do. I'm a lady. Brrr, lady's choice. Turn on in. And one day it shall be. Thank you very much, Lee. I appreciate you. Ugh, but yeah, no, I streamed it. I didn't have that much backseat. It's just... Oh, God, it was a lot. Did you know? And it's like, oh, for God's sake, I can't be bothered. <laughs> but just the world of it all. I just did not like the way it played. It was not my thing. Same with, um... What's the other one that's kind of similar to it, but different? I can't remember the name of it. I played it for 12 hours. I can't remember. Um... Oop. There we are. Let me animate mode. Thank you! I'm glad you enjoyed them. Makes me happy. The reason I keep making them. Uh... Is Tor okay? There we are. This is just my experience. We're playing Silent Hill 2 as a kid. I did not understand it. But it haunted me for many years. Because I felt like there was something there that I did not understand. Replaying it later, it hit me like a truck. It's so good, isn't it? I never got to experience it as a kid because I didn't have a PlayStation growing up. So I only experienced it as an adult. 
Loki, glad I did because I think it would have gone over my head. Saying that though, I don't didn't play horror games as a kid. Did like them. Didn't like them because um I'm one of those people when I play video games, I put myself in the shoes of the characters I like I play as. So I get a little bit too into games. I get really immersed in the world. Like I literally feel like I become the character, so to speak. Even on stream, even though like I'm in and out, I I, I feel like I'm walking through the shoes of Saga and Alan. You know what I mean? I get really into the worlds. And so playing horror games all the way before streaming, couldn't do it because I put myself in the world too much and it really would mess me up. <laughs> really mess me up. So, um, when I started playing horror games on stream, I learned to enjoy the fear a lot more and now I kind of seek it. When you're an adult, I'm a level 30 mortal of sorts. Level 30, can you believe Excuse it? Excuse me, miss. Hello. But you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? Sorry. I thought not. Sorry. <laughs> don't mind me. And now I have to start over. Sorry, but you got loot over there. And I want the loot. I'm just gonna go into your drawers, okay? I mean, not like that. In your cupboard drawer, okay? Breakfast is at seven. Oh, it's Tomorrow here. Will be eggs, toast, mm. grapefruit, orange juice, tea, coffee. Toast. The right, sorry, miss. Stops at nine. Sorry. Sorry, Donna. Oh, there's Odin's room. But whose room is there? Oh, it's, it's a window. <laughs> I thought it was another room. It's going to be like, yes! No, never mind. Odin. Oh, gosh. She does look a little bit under the weather, doesn't he? Just a little bit. Or like that. <laughs> um, Song of Horror, I tried to finish, but the chapter where you go to that snowy ruined cathedral, I just died so much due to forgetting the controls after not playing for a little while. I didn't feel like continuing. Oh, that's fair enough. I think it's worth playing to the end. Uh, it's really worth it, but it's a really good game. It's one of those ones that you'll either love or hate. I prefer horror games over horror films. Are they scared uh, and creep me out way more? Agreed, but I also like... I don't know. I'm just one of those people that loves the films, love listening to the audiobooks, <laughs> love gaming horror. I love drawing horror. I love consuming horror artwork. And I also really love horror experiences. Like, um, those, they always pop up around Halloween, but where they have like live actors and things. I love those. I just like getting scared. It's a little adrenaline rush. Odin's in Makes bad me feel shape. grounded to the world a bit more. He was drunk and watery. Oh. Or is this something more serious? Better not be serious. We do love the scary stuff. I just like going, ah, and then feeling good. Oh, is that our mum? Is that our mum? That woman in the painting looks like mom. Maybe it is mom. Was I born here? Perhaps. Or is this more of the story? I think we were. I think we're linked into this way more than we think we are. Um, I think the first horror game I played was Fear. Oh, I love the Fear franchise. I gotta say, though, the second one was a bit messed up, but really good. I was too chicken to play when I was, like, 10, but bravely when I was 15. Loving horror games ever since. It's funny how you need to be at the right moment. It's what I always say to people, like, just try and find a horror game. Stick it out from the start to finish. And you you might find yourself enjoying getting scared. It's a, it's a mental gymnastic you gotta jump over, right? You kind of have to learn to enjoy getting scared. Especially in horror games. And when you do, so much more fun. So much fun. You go into things like not caring if you're nervous. It feels like a, it sounds lame, but it feels like a superpower when you play video games. And you're like, hey, if I get scared, I get scared. Who cares? Do, 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 do. The sea of night. To drink from the cup of the wise one. For wisdom to be a seer. I gave up my eye in the light of the moon to shine and see. The many worlds to madness and beyond, across the dark dreaming sea, the branching paths of the tree. I gave up my eye so many times. We have lived and died and been reborn. We have met here before, and we will keep on meeting still. Where did I put my eye? Before time, I gave it to Mimir. Mimir, sorry, I know there's a way to pronounce it, but I cannot remember. I play God of War forever. To drink from the well of wisdom, the cauldron. 1976. I took it out to myself to see, and drank the moonshine. 1988. He went. He who stands on the threshold took it from me. The time will come again to be right again, right again. Oh, game does spooks well. It really does. It's so good. So unexpected if you played the first one too. 
It's the anticipation knowing something is going to happen, but not knowing when or how. Yeah, it really shakes you up. It's Solid Snake. Who's Solid Snake? Odin, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> I hope he's okay. I have some questions for you. Odin Anderson, can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? Ooh. He's in no shape to talk. I have to bring my profiling. Um... Hangover? Is there any part of horror games that made you feel ugh and go nope, not today? The only thing that makes me really want to turn off a game. Okay, there is a couple of things, but I'm not going to go into it because I think it's a little bit too dark to talk about on stream. But one that does get to me, which I consider a bit more lighthearted to mention on stream, is when a game involves a character being eaten alive, specifically when it's yourself. Uh, that gets to me. That makes me feel a little bit too uncomfortable sometimes. Really make my skin crawl because that's one of my biggest phobias in the entire world. I often have nightmares about it. And I struggle with certain uh, forms of any film. I sometimes struggle with uh, zombie flicks as well. It's one of those things. Moist! Moist underscore and underscore delicious oh. spoiled one beings. Thank you so much, Moist. Why were you like drawing in a book of sobs? Thank you, Moist. I appreciate you. Thank you very much, Lee, for spoiling me and someone else too. Just give it one fourth. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that, you know? You didn't have to do that, but thank you very much. You like anything drawn, let me know. Just know that there's like an eight month backlog. It'll go in there eventually. I just don't know when. Anyway, <clears throat> hangover. Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? Ooh. It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? Well, that was interesting. Okay. All right. Yeah, I need to to get PPG between me too. Yeah, it gets really under my skin. It makes my fingers feel pins and needly. The Callisto Protocol has something like that. One of the death animations. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a few horror games I've played where I've gone, well, I feel gross now. <laughs> but I keep going through it because I can't help myself. I did enjoy the Callisto Protocol. Very good game. Miss Hansen, we have been looking for you. Oh, God. The cult photo. I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band, and those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. Well, that's really The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. Mm. I should have knocked that you escaped the baby and Rezzy. I'm so glad I did, because I saw afterwards what happens. I just, I'm so glad, because I think I would have vomited. <laughs> Um, our connection. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Something is wrong. This is the reason. With Tor. Is there something more than intuition behind it? 
One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. I bet he's got the darkness or something trying to infect him right now. I hope not. Damn good band too. Mm -hmm. Get it, Tor? Thunder? Staying at Valhalla? Tor and Odin? Obviously, I get it! <laughs> Tor in danger. You said Tor is in danger. <laughs> What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer. Never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him. And then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. And the clicker. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. Mm. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. Definitely not. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. Maybe by Prince in Darkness, he means Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Una reverse, flipsy flopsy. They just dawned on me, but Saga's antlers of joy too. Yes! When she sat there, she has antlers. It brings me great joy. The clicker is an amplifier. Do a tour and about the clicker. Then we also have art like ba ba da ba da ba da dum bum. Here? Yes. Nice. We have a deduction. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? I don't know. Not sure I have a choice. Mm. Definitely a bit of that in it. Bit of that in it. Look for Torin's room. He but 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 it's all okay. There we are. Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. Mm. And then cases. We have fact versus fiction. Odin spoke directly to me in the mind palace. Connection to Tor and Odin. So it must be a family thing. And painting of mom and Odin towards hmm. bedroom. And then we've got another case thing for the cult of the tree. Tor while in the cult has been trying to recruit them. We put that. Hmm, where do we put that? Rose Marigold. Oh, Torna. There we go. Sorted. Yeah. Okay. We're nailing it. We're nailing the day. I wonder how many deer have we got left to collect? And how's this looking? Hey, look at that. Looks like we just got the middle. I'm going to say there's got to be middle. And then we might have found them all. Can I pet the deer? How many more left? Oh, great deer. Four remaining. Sick. I'll do my best to find the last four. <laughs> cool. Right, so Odin can enter our mind palace, which must mean Tor must be able to. So they've got their own mind palace. Every time I feel like I'm getting a better understanding of this world, it just keeps getting deeper and deeper. So good. Too many hands. Who's got too many hands? Hello? Are you alright there, miss? You okay? Standing on the wet floor, you know. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Huh? Sorry? Oh, bloody hell! With no sense of up or down. She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. <laughs> she ain't wrong, it's made me smile. You absolutely... <laughs> oh! Bloody lulled by the old lady. Of course. Thanks, lady. <laughs> I nearly choked on my own spit. Lincoln Egg. 
Make sure to swallow before I talk to people, I think. I really considered Alan recklessly toying with people's lives in the first game. I'm glad they call it out, 100%. He's a bit of a bumhole, really. But you can also say that about Mr. Zane as well. Here's thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Christmas. Mandy May. It's dark in Mandy May's room, isn't it? Just like I remember my granny. <laughs> oh, jeez. So she makes the little dream catchers all over the place. I call them dream catchers. I don't think they're actually dream catchers at all, but they remind me of such weavings. Na, 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 na. And I don't actually know. They're like sun catchers, I guess. They don't really catch the sun. Knitted, knit cat, dust catchers. Got there eventually. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to my full lands. I hope you enjoy your stay. Not going to call out your name, though, just in case you're lurking. But welcome, welcome. I'll be having a lovely day today filled with all the good energies. Oh, look. It's Alan's door. Getting in is forbidden for your own safety. Oh. Time is long for those who wait. But in the end, stand to thanks. Sheesh. <laughs> Didn't see you there. He moves fast, doesn't he? Uh, can I go in your room, Artie? No, Artie's like, don't you bloody dare enter my room. Sorry, Artie. I was wondering if I could enter it and have a snoop, but I guess not. Ooh, Gail. Need the key. I can go into Gail's room? Who's Gail? Norman? Norman's room! Don't be naked. Oh, it's all good. Oh, he's got a nice little window up here, doesn't he? Hello. Oh, yeah, he's got plenty of clothes. Plenty of clothes. Oh, look, he's got a deer above the fireplace. Nice, nice. Do, 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 do. All right, Norman, your, your room's cool. Nice little room. Who's at the end of the hall? Cynthia? I don't have the key. I can also enter Cynthia's room? Curious and curious, sir. Bye, RT. Sorry for trying to enter the nope room. We're going to go to the wellness center, huh? Okay, I can do that. I can 100% do that. If that old lady doesn't get me. <laughs> Bloody hell. I should have known better. Plenty of clothes he chooses not to wear. He just likes to have his ankles out free. You know what? I can respect that. I can respect that. Nothing here. Oh, they're still just chilling. Surprised Norman's not cold, if I'm honest. Can I put some on the juke? Whoa, you are fast, boy. You are fast. Boo. <laughs> Busy today. Busy, busy, busy. Okay, Rose. Uh, what do you mean? I know Tor's in the wellness center. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No. He's... Well, yes. But you really shouldn't go in there right now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. But it's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> Yes, okay. I'll oh. let you in. Thank you. Thank you, Rose. Ooh. Look for Tor in the wellness center. Uh, okay. I'm going in. Let me in. Nice. Watch out. For puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. <laughs> you don't say... You don't say. There, it's, Rose hasn't been the same since way back when. Rose Corporate, I do this. Oh no, not this. Oh no. Plenty of clothes. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm going to take the ramp because it's a. Oh, look at the guard. Look at the little gazebo. Oh, it's kind of cute, isn't it? Am I allowed to go over there? I know the wellness sense is there, but what if I go over there? Oh. I need something to cut this. Still haven't found a bolt cutter yet. I'm sure I will one day. Maybe now's the time. Into the wellness center. Hello, the door's opening. I got a bad feeling about this. It might be because the audio changed, just like when you have um, Phasma before, you know that ghost game, but okay. Hello? Anybody out there? <laughs> Please. Dark. Yep. Empty. Be ready, Saga. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. I am ready. 
Bolt? No, Bolt! B O L T. Bolt. Bolt cutters. Not bold cutters. What's in the bathroom? Toilet. Mm hmm. Nothing that out of the ordinary. Some heels. Nice. Well, I think it was more ammo. Alrighty then. Uh oh. Hello? Tor? Tor? Oh, it's God. Saga Anderson. I'm really nervous about Tor, you know. Really nervous. Can't go in the security room, I bet. Of course not. Not feeling about this place, but not as bad as the previous place. I got a bad feeling. I got a real bad feeling. Examination room? So far, so good. No one. No one's dead so far. It's good. It's good. We was in wanting to go in, but she's fine to leave Tor in here. Yeah, someone tells me she's a bit of a sus pancake, you know. Wait, no, not a sus pancake, because that would mean you're a pan. No, you're a lovely pancake. She's just a different kind of pancake. The one that's made without the normal ingredients, you know. Sus. Made with dust. Mm. Yeah. That's what we'll go with. Made with dust. <laughs> no, fish! No! <laughs> Don't use the emote against me. I'll cry. <laughs> No! <laughs> My script page, let's look. Let's have a read of Tor is Bewitched. Tor Anderson had lightning in his veins. This was rock and roll, baby. That weaver girl had cast a spell on him. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Oh, no. Tor deserved this. Tor wanted this. Did he? She wanted the song. A gift. He had to get it for her. Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor fought it. He was strong. He'd never be taken. But the darkness could still drown him. Tor needed to warn someone. It was all happening again. Tom was back. Coming back. Tom would need help too if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone. Someone who could help. The name escaped him, drowned beneath dark water. I'm really nervous, you know. Hello, Gizmo. Well, what's this game? It's called Alan Wake. Well, this is the second Alan Wake game. There's two of them. It's a very good franchise. Highly recommend. It's made by uh, a company called Dare Remedy. I'm a little unclear about the difference between these pancakes. One's made with dust. The other one is not. That's what makes it a sus pancake. Would you eat a pancake that was made with dust? I don't think I would. Hmm. The other one is nice and soft and pillowy. A sus cake. Alright, we've got a nice little spot. Is there any way we can say? No? There's a file over here. Oh, is this Tor's bed? It's gonna be, isn't it? It's definitely gonna be. When Alan wakes, tired, and in sleep. Oh, we are not going into that joke, man. I've had two weeks of it. Two weeks of it. Four streams worth of it. We ain't. We ain't. I He's say hurt that's pretty bad. Since January. Oops. But he tore off his bandages. Why? There's no calories in dust. Maybe no dust. I want to read that in a second. I don't got an itchy ear. Ugh. Load shotgun. Oh no. Tor was here. Oh, I thought she was going to say something else. Doc! Rosamine found. No butts! Rosamine found Mr. Anson knocked out on the floor by phone. Burns on hand and cuts on head. Without cold, so brought him here. Been acting strange all week. Take care. He is VIP. BB. To our mind palace. To the case board. Okay, let's see. Cases. We need to go back to the Anderson brothers. Uh, the wellness center. Odin said Tor needs help. But from what? Bad juju stuff. Is he know? turning into a Taken? Yeah, I think so. Oh god, look at all these clues I picked up. Chart says something about Tor's behavior. Let's have it. Oh, or not. I guess it goes up here. Can I zoom out? Then we also have bloody bandages. <laughs> we also had Tor's assigned bed. Oh, that goes on to where is Tor. And we also have Torrenson had lightning in his veins. 
Core becoming taken. Okay. Core is being targeted. He needs help. He does, but why is he being targeted? Is it because he is uh, got the Anderson power thing? That we just start learning about? Maybe. Why are you loading the shotty? Should I load the shotty? Oh, I probably should load the shotty now that he said something about it. Okay. We load the pistol. Pistol's good. It's down here. Can't be opened on this side. But it's fine, I guess. And what's down here then? Hello? Hmm. Rehabilitation. Can't open this, but we'll give it a go. What are you down? Shoot it at. What if I don't wanna? Oh! Hold up. Tor, wait! It's oh. me! Well, okay then. Ooh. Look at them exercise balls. I love to bounce on those. They're so funny. Moving as space hoppers. Anything over here? No? Oh, little massage tables. I mean, I know I should follow him that way, but what if I keep exploring? It's way more fun to- Oh, God! God come on! <laughs> Lady, please! Oh. Working for that burger. Bloody well am. Ugh. Grannies. Grannies. I never thought I'd be scared of grannies, but here we are. I'm bloody scared of grannies. God, blimey, my heart is going three times a dozen. Blinking neck. Blinking neck. Oh, I feel like I need uh, my own oxygen mask. What a cruel old lady. Oh, look, she's scared me so much. I'm yawning now. Thanks, lady. Thanks. Oh, great. And there's a storm. Bloody wonderful. I've got a clue where I'm going. Oh, a toilet. Yay. Can't enter that one. Nothing over there. Okay. Um... What's in the Blum's workroom? What's in there? <sighs> this door needs oh, a knob. What you? Oh, it needs a. Okay then. Maybe I'll find one. <gasps> Another. Sh a security computer. Another computer. I need to hack it. I need to get in. I need to know the secrets. <coughs> Hello, take that. I'm not gonna yawn after that. I'm not gonna yawn after that. I'm not gonna uh, wait. All the damn it happened. <laughs> <laughs> a yawn is best halved when it was shared. Right. Let's have it. The Coscala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Of course they are. Collect it. You've been accepted to the prestigious ranks of our most hallowed organization. As such, you'll join our noble cause and be privy to our most guarded secrets. The ceremony will take place the, the day after the next new moon, as is tradition. Vladimir Blum. Bloody cults. To all of the door open and I get to cafeteria. I mean, I know Turn I need to go that way, but. Center. Exploration, you know? A locked door. We put that by here. Hmm. Okay, so you locked the door, even though it didn't look like it was locked. Cool. Cool. Alright. We keep exploring. What's this by here? It's a picture of a dog yawning. Oh, <laughs> Day, then month. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. Or maybe he's European. Bad day. This is a stupid house where something always breaks. I fix. I always fix. Oh, people do not respect me. I should ask for a raise. 1508. Hurrah! My acceptance letter has arrived. I'm now of the gang. Uh, do something... Does someone to the boring old Vlad? Hello to the exciting new man about town, Vlad. I'll buy vodka and herring to celebrate. This month everything will change. 1608. I had to take care of the dead raccoon over by the bunker. Smell very bad. Not good for my hangover. Okay. You know that actually uh, be like an ev evolutionary thing? What? Oh, the yawning thing. Really? Why is that? Artie? 
No, it can't be. I mean, we're in like a weird Finnish Swedish kind of realm. Norwegian almost at times. It could be anyone, you know? Definitely can't be arty. May 5th full moon. More full moons. All of the full moons. More moons. Cool. Self-defense class is coffee of the year. Hmm. It can't be arty. I refuse to believe. I think that's fake news. Can't do anything about that. But I do have more for my cases. To the cult of the tree. Vodka time. Excellent. I actually have vodka in the house. I haven't been around in the house for months. I should probably bin it. In fact, I think they've been around for years. I should probably bin it. Haven't done it. Who's involved? Whoosh. There we are. Um, there we go. Oh, sorry. That's from Ilmo and Yako. Nice. Still missing one clue. I wonder what I missed. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, the computer. I didn't even look at it, did I? Let's Needs go. a password. Oh. And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. How many numbers is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, it has to be a six number. Six number. Six number. Hmm. Is it to do with the moons, maybe? It's been really long since I learned about it, so take it with a grain of salt. But it's like a signal to the rest of the tribe that things are safe. Because back in the day, they'd be like one person who'd watch for duty for threats. I see. Curious. There's a more fun way to get rid of alcohol. The sink. I mean, I could drink it, but it's been opened. I've been in the house for years. I should probably bin it. <laughs> it's probably not going to be very nice stuff. And if you see um, them yawning racks, you can signal to the others that everything's fine. I see. Because even animals do it. If you yawn, oh, and they notice you, they also yawn back. It's really funny. Because I always catch the yawns from the ferrets. Um, oh, God. 3, 10, 17, 26. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, can't be you. 1, 2, 2, 4, 6, 7. No. 2, 4, 6. 3, 9, 17, 25. 3, 9. 3. I'm going to write this down. Where's my pen? I should probably get my notebook, but, you know, it's all the way behind me, and I can't bother getting up. 3, 9, 17, 25. Perhaps. I must have been one next to it. Uh, two, four, six, no. It's gonna be three, nine, seventeen, twenty-five. Spirits or li uh, liquor? Liquor definitely expires. It's vodka. <laughs> uh, three. But even so, it can still taste dusty if you haven't had it in a while. Three, nine, one, seven, two, five. Ah! Oh, blast! I was really hoping for that then. Really hoping for it. But I wonder. The dates? Maybe 14, 15. It could be the dates. Could it be 14, 14, 15? I know it's a bit silly, but you never know. 14, 15, 16? Which means the next day after that, the 17th of July, he, uh,. Joined the cult. Let's see. We've got 14. We've got 15. We've got 16. But. Ah. We'll have to have a look around to see if we can spot things. Because I want in. Look at all those deer heads and stuff. Oh, there's a gun in there. There's a gun in there. I need it. It looks like a hunting rifle. I need it. I'm going to get in there. I don't know how. But I will. I bloody will. Hmm. How does one get in there, though? I don't know. I don't know. Oh! Brrr, guess what, everyone? We got adverts due. More adverts! Bloody hell, time is traveling too fast. Way too fast. But we got some adverts coming up, everybody. Very, 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 very much shortly. Oh, goodness me. Goodness me. They're going to last for three minutes. They happen every hour on the hour. Whenever an app happens, I stop what I'm doing so that we can all take a break together. 
and also means no one misses any gameplay. So when the advert rolls, I'm going to take a three minute break myself. We're going to go for a wee, refresh my water, and uh, we crack on. We crack back on. So employee, take your meds, take your vitamins, do something that's good for you, get something to eat. I'm actually kind of peckish right now. So go and get something to eat. Do it. It's good for you, you know? Will you stop yawning, lady? I'm tired. I've got really, really snoozy. I'm actually kind of hungry. An electric lock. Looks like it's controlled remotely. Like, I'm actually quite peckish now. So how's the game? It's so good, Hans Gruber. So good. Absolutely loving it. I don't like the sound of that. Then go to sleep. No! I won't. I'm going to keep exploring around the place is what I'm going to do. Right, advert's about to begin, everyone. I'm going to turn up the music and I'll see you guys after the ads, okay? See you in a minute. Here you go. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. I hope the adverts were not too long, Tings. Hello, 3D Nini. How you doing? What's up with Stan? How's it going? 
Okay, on in. I hope you're having a good day today. The strings remind me of Randall goes to Bitcher Wilt and Clerks. Oh man, I haven't watched Clerks in yonks. In absolute yonks. It just took me to another realm. <laughs> Gonna move some crossbow arrows over. But how are we all doing? I hope the efforts were not too long. I know they're annoying, I do. So I, I do appreciate your patience for sitting through them. Seriously or not, Lee. <laughs> ba -da -ba -bam, ba -da -bam -bam. Let's move that over. That was not why I wanted to move over at all. I wanted to move the arrows over, but I guess I didn't. Uh, let's move these by here. I'm gonna move this by there. I'm gonna put the flares by there. And bum bum bum, Bob's your uncle. Sorted out. But there is more items that I'll be picking up. So let's move that over here. I'm gonna move the wipes over as well because I saw a new gun, and I want the gun, obviously. So move this by here, and hopefully there'll be enough space. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Right, what's in this box? Shard have probably waited before doing a clear up. Let's see. Is there anything else in here I can collect? I can see a save stage. I do want to save. All right, more things with the shoebox. It's one TARDIS-like shoebox, isn't it? Nice. Move this over as well. Nice. Okay, let's do a big save because it's been a hot minute since I've done any saving. Let's do a manual save. Uh, by here. Nice. 23 hours? Blinking heck. Okay, fair do. We've maybe been playing a whole day's worth of this game. Nearly. Not quite. But nearly there. Hello? What is that? I don't know. Seems to have stopped making noises. Are you just replaying noises? Because Taurus disappeared behind that door. I can't get there. I clearly need to do something with the security door. But how? I like how she loads the flashlight in lighter rooms. Yeah. Ooh, that was nerve wracking. It's so good. The animations in this game are amazing. They've done such a good job with it. From like the idle animations of characters and the way they talk. Sometimes it's a little bit too personality though that I just want to give them a good old smack. <laughs> so good. It's beautiful. Even on like, this is not ultra, you know, the graphics. I could play an ultra, but I, I kind of, ooh, 101, I wonder if that helps. 101. But even on the graphics I got it set to, it's still a beautiful game. Okay, butt clench is a bit I can tell. How dare you, my butt definitely did not clench. Okay, maybe a little bit. Working the glutes, okay? Every day is a game, day of games. So what is the code for his computer? I need it. Bad day, this dude has where something always breaks. 1506. There's 1608, something about bad, dead raccoon. And we got these dates up here. This is something to do with the days are circle. 4, 17, 29. What day is that? 27, 23, 17, 31. You know what? I'm going to grab my notebook. I'm going to start scribbling things down. See if I can figure out the code for the computer because... It's cause it's gonna have law, and I need the law, and I have more than law. Give me a second. Um, okay. Ugh, get my blanket. Oh, I do like a good electric blanket. Let you blanket long live. Live in my old lady reality. Here we are. So it all crosses of days off. He had all of June off though. That's mad. Okay. Let's uh, get my pen. Where is my pen? It's over there. Cool. Gravy. Sick. Ooh. Oh, no, hopefully not gravy sick. That would be horrible. Let's see. The days that I can see he's circled is 4, 17, mm, 29. I don't think it's going to be this. But you never know. Then there is also... Mm, 17. Again. And 20. Then there's also 17. 
and 31. I don't think these are going to mean anything, but I'm just scribbling them down so I don't lose them. Then we also have days off. So we have 11. We have 22. We have 7. And 31. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, but it's a six digit code. What could it be? Hmm. I feel like it's going to have something to do with the moons, though. 17th of June? So, what if it's 17? July is the, the eighth month. 17, 8, 23. How many numbers is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What are we on 08? 17, 08, 23. The day of the moon. Maybe. Why the love? Oh, Mary. I hope you're good. <laughs> Sending you all the love, lovely. 08, 23. Oh. I mean, I don't mean to be like, I'm amazing. But I'm amazing. Okay. I have the biggest, throbbiest big brain ever. And thank goodness I write my dates in European. Heck yeah. <laughs> um, is it July the 7th? No, July the 17th is what he had in um, the notes of when the next moon is. Where my wife! <laughs> wife is amazing. Brr, you're fine. Oh, thanks. I think I'm amazing, to be honest. It's not boobies. Definitely not. Unlock door. And the doors are open. Brr, yeah. Cool. Nothing else? Oh, mail. Riddle for your rifle. I'm a little doorknob that's out of place. But solve these clues and you can trace the way to your private space. I meet you at the greet inside the bright glassy cage where the pretty flowers bloom. So right at the front table. Then riddle for your rifle. <clears throat> Why do you take the doorknob to my personal room? I am sick of old people tricks. You're wearing a bag so I can get my rifle. I'm supposed to go on a deer hunt tomorrow. If you don't, I'll hunt you instead. Be blum. Oh, jeez. Wait, is this a chat with Artie? It definitely is. I can see Artie on the, um, on the send list. VIP recruits. Vladimir, I do not need to remind you that Tor and Odin would be ideal candidates for the cult. Please try hard to recruit them. Thanks, chance. Thanks. So it's going to be over there. So I can go over there, right? I'll go and get him. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting really hungry. Really hungry. My stomach is doing proper growls. How do I get in there? There's a door over there. Ah! There we are. Staff lounge! It's a bit scary in here. Not gonna lie. Can I go over there? It's gone really dark outside. Really dark. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, if I'm honest. Not at all. Okay. Hello. Give me the crossbow arrow. Doorknob. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. Do, 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 do. Go and get the new gun. I'm so excited to get this hunting rifle in my infantry. I hope I got enough space. That is a concern of mine if I don't have enough space for it. It would be such a bummer. It'll be fine though, I'm sure. And there's another deer I need to pet. Doorknob. Open it up. Nice. Oh, another manuscript. <gasps> Look at the donkey in the costume. <laughs> Let's have a read of it then. The cult storms the lodge. Ilmo was nervous. His palms were clammy. He lowered his phone. Mulligan isn't picking up. Yako shook his head, pointed at his own phone. Same with Thornton. Ilmo didn't like it. No one was answering the phone at the workshop in Watery either. Something was up. It had to be the writer. Had to be. The Coscula brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge, its light shining in the night. They couldn't wait any longer. The brothers knew Saga was in Watery visiting her trailer. Going now was their only chance to do this without hurting her. Ilmo stood up and a crowd of deer masks looked his way. Okay, this is it. The writer is the target. 
Take him down, and it's all over. Only shoot the Fed if you have to. This is our big moment. We watch in the night. The crowd murmured the chant back to him. Ilmo turned his face to the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Ilmo slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready. So soft and sad. Yeah. Three deer left. Three deer left. Give us the gun! <laughs> Heck I. Big booty gun. Should probably put that shoulder strap on. Right. Should probably go and save. So we don't have to do that all over again. We got the gun. No fish! No! Three three more deer to pet. Three more deer. Because the one in the mine pass, last time I checked in, said four. We got three more deer as far as I can gather. And I will find them. Oh, yes. I will find them and I will pet them. I will pet them all. I didn't got the fire, by the way. I hope you're good. Right, cheeky save. And just to make sure it doesn't, like, glitch out, I'm gonna make sure I have this gun forever. Nice. I know I just saved, but got gun now. Want to make sure I have it forever and ever and ever. Right, there were some more doors that opened, right? There's bound to be... Oh, hello. This door wasn't open before, was it? Oh, I don't think it was. Okay, hello. What's this? Clue? Gale taken? Okay, I'll read that in a second. What's this one say? Gale Barrows. Finding outbursts resulting from rapid onset dementia. Should be restrained whenever possible until a dose should be found that impedes his aggression. Harry. Oh, Such an awful disease. Okay, nothing over here. Anything in here? Ooh. Ammo. We really need to have a bit more uh, space. Doing good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Chilling, exploring, solving mysteries. Uh, let's have a look. Where are you? Um, with the new one. Gail taken. Read it. Gail Barrows stared at his chest x-ray. It was in his left lung. It felt like a black hole. An opening to darkness. He felt like he was drowning. He coughed and coughed and coughed. So hard his whole body and soul felt twisted and mangled, upside down and inside out. With every cough, the black hole grew bigger. It felt good. It tore him up, but it felt good. Gail was dying. The black hole was sucking everything good out of him. He imagined looking through it, into the darkness. The black hole grinned. Gale couldn't escape its gravity. He worshipped it. Gale sacrificed to it. In blood. Oh boy. Well, that's not very good, is it? It's not very good at all. Oh, dearie me. Very dearie me. Ah, whoop. There you are. Grandmaster. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Everything is awful. This is a horrible, horrible, horrible journey. I haven't been in that room though, have I? Have I been in this one? I think I have. Yeah. Just backtracking, make sure I haven't missed any doors that I hadn't opened before. I wonder if this opens the doors in the actual Valhalla, uh, Valhalla retirement home. That'd be nice. So then I can have an exploration. But we can finally find Tor. I hope this doesn't mean I can't go back because I want to explore those other rooms, you know? Oh. Shit. No, mate. No. Out of it. Out of it. Oh, God. What the hell is that? What is that? Oh, he's got multiple arms. No. No. Whoa, God. What? Um. Running, 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 running. Where'd he go? Is he right there? Aha. 
You bum hole. Oh, he's right there. Bum. What is he? Oh, he's like some sort of. Oh, bloody hell, mate. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm stuck in the corner, stuck in the corner, stuck in the corner. Come on, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, you bum hole. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh boy, that's horrid! Oh come on! Oh! Oh come on! Nice! Nice! Come on, come on, come on! Before he... Oh! Butts! Where you go? Where you go? He's going over there. He's going over there. Oh, he's over there. Oh, come on! Stop being a bum hole! Sorry, <laughs> double whammy. Oh, come on! Jesus Christ! Just die! <sighs> well, that was a new one. That, that was new. I did not like that. <laughs> Surprise! That was really creepy! I like it! <laughs> That was a really good one. I've never seen one like that before. That was rad. Bong. 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 Right, let's go and find our granddad, huh? Let's go and find our granddad. Well, that isn't creepy at all. Need to catch up with Tor. Definitely not creepy at all. No. Definitely not. Definitely perfectly manageable in every way. Anything in there? Oh. Nope. Give me some uh, Vampire the Masquerade. That area is. Limu. Limu. Granddad. Where are you? Mm, Tad's key. Ooh, this hammer. Must have been Tor's. Should we grab his hammer and give it back to him? Oh, okay, I see we have met Tor again. Tor is somewhere. We lost him. We lost him, but he's somewhere in here. How you doing, music man? What's up with Stan? How's it going? Whoa! Bloody hell. Oh, Mam Gee! Do you want to say that again to my face? I will deck you. I will deck you. I will absolutely slap an old lady. I will. I bloody would. Don't even test me. Here. Ammo. You good in here? No? Okay. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Hello? Old lady, find out. Give her a smack. Uh oh. Oh, sounds like he's going for a paddle. Nothing in there. Nothing else in here. No. What about behind the door? Nope. Nothing behind the door. It was a lie. Booba punching bags. Who's booba punching bags? What? Where? Why? I'm good. Just cupping a few booties in Saint Row. Nice. Saint Row is so much fun. Tour. You come out of here this minute. That water is bad for you. Tor, wait! <laughs> Cynthia Weaver, I know it's you. This kind of behavior is not okay. Let him go! Tor! Oh no! They're not! Taken. Oh yeah, I would sit there too, but like, god damn it, I lost an old person. Rosa. Great, so he's in the overlap. How the hell am I supposed to get into the overlap? Am I just meant to jump in a bloody puddle? What am I doing now? Warning, hiking and climbing is prohibited in this area. Cool. Great. Love that. Oh, what's this? A manuscript. Go on. Granny, no. It's bloody Weaver. She's a bit of a bum hole. Bit of a bum hole, to be honest. I'm not sure if it's a normal, but for some reason the final last Carnal's mission is not available for me to do. Google it. Google it. It should have an answer. It might just not be the time yet, if you know what I mean. <laughs> she was too casual about that. She was a bit. It's like it happens all the time. Play narration. It's 1988. 
a face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake high above its dark waters. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even. Or, changing the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you alright, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. Not the wrong eye! What a bum hole. Oh, that'd be annoying. Dear, did I, did I, do we just have three more? Remember who Cynthia Weaver is? If I remember right, she's the lamp lady. And if she's not the lamp lady, then she's three the muse. Remaining. Which either way, it's bum whole behavior right now. I don't care if she's the lamp lady. She's being a butt if it is her. And if it's the lady that is the muse of uh, Mr. Zane, then she was a butt all along. Hey, Dargon Master, how you doing? What's up, what's down? Hope you're good. Do, 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 do. Go for a little jog. Anything behind the tree? Nope. Nothing behind the tree. Of course not. Why would there be? I'm good. Glad to hear it. Do, 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 do. We're gonna go to the bloody overlap, is it? Or what if I want to explore just a little bit more? Ooh. Basement. Ooh. Is that a... That's a body. That's a body. What's a body doing under here? Oh, God. Maybe I should speak to Rose first. Maybe I should. Oh. That's gonna sting. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll speak to Rose first before I enter the basement of doom. Blinking heck. Um, Rose, did you know there's a body under the house? D did you know that? Because I think you've done a bad job. Poke it with a stick. If I had a stick to poke it with, I would. What Take was that? Nap. Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Mm -hmm. Why? Because she's been infected by the darkness once before. Rose's lies. Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Is it just me or does Rose seem a bit dopey? Yeah, there's a reason for that. If you play the first one, you'll know. We're essentially... The Lady of Cauldron Lake, uh, the one that is like the embodiment of the darkness. The one that was like the face of what is going on. Uh, Alan's editor, so to speak, that wasn't Barry. Um, she took Rose, if you know what I mean. Not taken into like a shadow creature, but took her and infected her in some which what way with like some sort of like darkness manipulation. And it seems like ever since then she has never quite remained or come back to the rose we knew. You know what I mean? Is it just me or does Rose? Oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. why is it not awake as awakened? Because it be memes. They can't give us it. Rose got dunked on by the darkness last game. Mm-hmm. 
So we get to poke her with a stick. No, we don't poke Rose with a stick. Cynthia Weaver. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Cynthia. Or both? She was a lamp lady, but not anymore. Mmm, D&D time again. Thanks for doing Bye, Elra! I hope you have a good time in D&D. Can't wait to hear about the adventures you guys get up to. Have a good one, okay? Kick butt your bubble gum. Bye! And remember, if you feel tired, it's okay to, like, have a rest. Why well, do I get the feeling that even before Anime Week 1, Rose was a bit of a ditch? She really wasn't, though. She was intelligent, just a massive super fan of Alan. You know? Just one of those people that just lives in her own world, and that's fine. To be honest. Wake has returned. Rose. Um. Wake has returned. <gasps> oh. My. God. <laughs> You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! <sighs> I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torangale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Thank you. <laughs> That's really sweet of you. Thank you very much, Rose. Thanks. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Mm. The record. We saw that in the hotel as well when we were playing as Alan. Who's doing? Fine line to walk for that character. Yeah, There's a lot of history with Rose. She was not always like this. If you play the first one... You'd actually be feeling a lot of um, sympathy for her, how quite not right she is anymore. It's actually kind of sad. Saga opens the Valhalla nursing home overlap. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken, sinking into darkness. Oh dear. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor. A way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. And have you seen the Bright Falls mini TV series? I have not. I've been avoiding anything like that because I want to indulge in that content after I'm done with the games. Um, just simply because I want to enjoy the games for what they have to offer and then be able to explore all of the lore, all the like theories and stuff like that after I'm done. Because I want to enjoy the game at the core first, if you know what I mean. Not exposed as Norman. Definitely not as exposed as Norman. Norman is very exposed. Uh, let's go to the profile and let's ask Odin. Where's the record? Which, um, Alan nearly found, but then it disappeared again. One Plus Bright Falls prequel. Hope you enjoy it. It uh, felt very well done. Oh, I'm 100% going to do it. I always say this, but whenever I do a franchise run of a game, I wait until I'm done with my franchise run, and then I binge it. And it's like the, the dessert after the main course. It's just as good, and it's like a nice little sprinkle on top of everything. And I'm very excited about just getting absolutely stuffed with lore. <laughs> the record page mentions a missing record do you know where it is odin driven by passion raging like a storm your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother freya and to you tours like a storm your mother did the right thing leaving with you even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine listen to the song saga it's all there tor only had one record made he keeps it in the museum odin knows my mom's name hmm. 
He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. Who's our dad? I wonder who's our dad then. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's only six um, few minutes long episodes. Yeah, I'm going to indulge in that very shortly, I'm sure. So where's Tor and what happened? What happened to Tor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh, I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Mm. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that too. Does Cynthia have any connection to the cult of the tree? <laughs> oh no, she's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Yeah, she was. Well, after Alan. But I guess it finally got her. It's kind of sad if that's actually true. And you can communicate with Wake? Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages in funny places. Like the newspaper, books. Once he even wrote to me with a cloud. If it's something really important, he tells me in a dream. Okay. And what does he say to you with these clouds? Ways I can help him? How I can stay safe? Good dinner recipes? Ways to kill Taken? Lots of stuff. I've been finding some pages of writing lately, too, so he must be working on a new book! <laughs> Exciting! Oh, boy. Uh, we should evacuate the residents, don't you think? You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh, this kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've lived very rich lives. Very resilient. Hmm. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. Oh, good. I'm so proud of them. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. Hmm. And I've been finding lunchboxes. They're yours. You're the one leaving those Alex Casey lunchboxes around, aren't you? Mm. Guilty. <laughs> they were the only Allen-related containers I could find online. He told me to destroy the Taken around town, and I needed some way to stash my gear. I even recruited Mandy May to make knitwork decorations to mark the sites. Mm -hmm. The stashes are for you, too. You being the hero and all. Thanks. I already have been. She's kind of cute and she sometimes in a creepy kind of way, but kind of sweet. Best part is on some level, she's right mm -hmm, about Alan. Well, 100%. I mean, Alan's basically the conductor of this entire story, so it makes sense. And her being touched by the darkness, she'd be susceptible to any sort of information that's coming through it of some kind. Wake tells you how to kill Taken. Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Oh, sure. <laughs> You're the hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light. And then your conventional methods of extreme violence. <laughs> Simple stuff. Easy. The tough part is hiding the bodies. I honestly don't know how to react to this. Just doing my part, sister. Is that why there's a dead body in the uh, basement? <laughs> Was they taken? Maybe. Rose Wake has been instructing her. Oh, bleh, Rose Wake. Wake has been instructing her how to kill. Taken. Nice. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, back to cases. Oh boy, there's a lot to go through. Anderson Brothers, we'll do that first. Nice. Shouldn't spend time on old questions. Well, no, but, you know, I I just forget about this bit, to be honest with you. Into the pond. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? She wishes. Not wrong. <laughs> Definitely not wrong. Uh, Rose. Rose knows loads about Tor, Cynthia and Tor. There we are. But Rose is privy to the fourth womb. She is. She gets spoilers through her mind box. Overlap ritual. <laughs> then Rose up here. Oh, or not. Overlap ritual down here. There we are. The page says the record will open the overlap. Mm -hmm. Or is and the page predetermining it? Odin will Am know I just playing is. into the story? Yes. Obviously. Don't ask any questions. <laughs> and uh, fact and fiction. We've got another about Odin wants mom. Mom and Odin. Boop, boop, boop. Fish and Tor and Odin. That way. Nice. Oh, I know I'm skimming through this. Because I just... As fun as it is, 
There's a lot to pop on down, you know? It's like, oh, I'm to go through all the files. Can't do anything about that. Uh, Alex Casey lunchboxes. It's Rose, but <sighs> who left these? Put her there. And lunchbox and bright balls goes here. Nice. Anyone got nice plans tonight, by the way? I'd love to know. Rose Marigold left these lunchboxes for me. Hmm. Alan Wake apparently told her to. I guess I owe her one. It's kind of cute, really, isn't it? Let's see. Do, 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 do. And there's nothing I can add. They are all for a different time. Okay. So you're going to get into the overlap. I'm going to explore the basement after I have a look at this nice little safe I've space. I've got to head out for a special mission for Alan soon. You've got things covered here. Special mission? I wonder what she's going to be up to. Oh, it's just a safe space. Well, safe I place. need something to I cut I still this. don't have a bolt cutter. I want it though, but I don't have it. And I know I need to go in the house to go and get the record. And I also need to speak to Odin through my profiling system. But I want to have a look through the note basement. And I'm going to go and have a look in the note basement. All right. Corpse. Yep. Avoid the very good... Oh, wait. Now I'm going to probably have corpse stuff in my shoes. Rose key fob. Nice. Good thing I went back and chat to Rose. Okay. What have we got in the loot boxes? We have got nothing. Love that. Anything in there? Flare. Nice. Nothing over there. Okay. Looks like... Oh, wasn't that shield from um, the farm? I think so. I'm sure some of the stuff is from the farm. Maybe they keep their old band equipment in here. Probably should do something about the... The water damage, though. Gonna make everything soggy and a bit moldy. You don't want that. Ah, I gotta turn the jenny back on by the looks of it. Or not. Remember, buy more fuses. Many more. Poopy old equipment. Keeps blowing them. BB. I think VB's the one with the, um, the thing in the eye. I think. Oh, hello. Well, that doesn't look scary at all, does it? Uh, manuscript? Let's have a look. Pick it up, buttercup. Nice. Barry struggles with artists. Oh, go on. How's Bazza doing? Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer. Yeah. Alan Wake. Uh -huh. Wake had various addictions on his back. An on-off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Well, at least they didn't. So far. Actually, while we're here, I guess we should speak to Odin. In our profiling. That's not what I wanted at all, but profiling Odin. Uh, oh, I can't ask him anything else. Oh, never mind. Can't ask Rose anything else in our mind box? Nope, obviously not. That'd be silly. Got another save space over here. Save space. Oh, yeah. Fuses course right let's move some arrows over not vampires vampires forever eternal forever alive a uh, little quick save all right that's a notebox if i ever saw one there's another door over there but what's in the toolbox anything good that's another arrow another why not it's gonna be over there do i want to go over here Maybe I don't want to go over here. Oof. It's horrible. This is giving me some, like, amnesia vibes. Opening. Of course. Um, anything in this? Oh, it's another manuscript. 
Nice. Good. Emmett? Emmett taken? Is that Emmett? Um, no, it's BB. Never mind. Someone else. Play narration. Emmett Elwood had had enough. Mm. All his life, he'd been surrounded by the same small minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose picking, Ooh. chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, and touching things, touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watch day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Oh, so there's a murderer. Well, was a murderer. Because he didn't like grubby hands. It's a bit excessive. I would probably just be like, hey, can, can you not touch me? But okay. It's their own, I suppose. Rose, bare fuse is now locked away because someone, Artie, keeps stealing them. Code is in the laundry room. Great. Laundry room. Marvelous. Ooh, another flare and another battery. Thank you very much. Laundry room. Where could that be? Fuse. Oh, it's in here. Oh, I don't know. I want to go in here, but okay. Is that Adam Jensen? Adam Jensen, who? Where am I? Wash your hands, people. Please wash your hands. Nobody wants grubby fingies. Honestly, I would not want to be sloshing around in here. Especially after finding a corpse just floating. All these little corpse particles. Be up in my shoes. Oh, hello. Okay. Interesting. I'll play the movie in a second. I'm probably going to die in seven days if I do. <gasps> oh, look! Oh, code. Hello, what's this? House of Zane. Renowned filmmaker establishes artist in commune in Bright Falls. Thomas Zane, born Thomas Zane in Finland, and his partner Barbara Jager, born Baba Jakla in Finland, have recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Mr. Zane has purchased an old manor house outside town, and the couple have already settled in. In his co home country, and internationally as well, Mr. Zane is well known and respected amateur filmmaker. There's a little misspell there. A rising star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Igmar Bergman, his earlier films Nightless Night won a number of European film awards. Mr. Zane is currently in the process of filming a feature entitled Tom the Poet. In conversation, Mr. Zane comes across as a charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel and film studio in the area. Ocean View Hotel. He even has a name picked up for the hotel. There it is. This reporter believes the name has a nice ring to it. Mr. Zane's dreams would certainly make Bright Falls a household name if they became reality. Members of the commune uh, clearly feel the same. Seeing Zane as a person with revering, uh, sorry, and even to faintly cut like degree. A person who guides his flock to expand their consciousness and reach higher state of artistic inspiration with their aid of magic mushrooms. While the Bright Falls record does not condone the use of illegal drugs, we hope Mr. Zane will help put our town on the artistic map. There we are. Oh, the Faust actor. I don't know who that is, but possibly. Google will answer you that. I'm bad at names. Really bad at names. If anybody wants to stretch, hands above your head. Hands down in a cactus form. And try and get those elbows behind your back. And then back up top. Back in a T-pose. And stretch it out and give it a little wiggle. And a hydration. I can tell you right now, I can't drink another thing because I am going to burst. <laughs> Going to burst. But if anyone else needs to have a hydration, have a hydration. And my back is as straight as it possibly can be. Thank you, though, for the posture check. Uh, Baba Yaga? No, not the Baba Yaga. Completely different thing. Um, Adam Jensen is the main um, character from Dosex. Oh, I haven't played those, so don't tell me anything. Don't tell me anything. I haven't played them yet. I want to, though. Want to. Right. What else is in here? We got another manuscript. Yes, we do. Read, we'll Cynthia overlook the trucks Weaver if you make us always money. kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Oh, no. Oh, 
I don't like that. Cynthia corrupted. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. I she'd know, been I got a it. doer, a fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out in bubbles. She was the lady in the tub in the hotel, I think. You know when we played as Alan and there was a corpse in the, t in the tub? I think it was her. Oh, I, that is horrid if it is. Oh, no, I hope not. No, I don't like it. I don't like that. I hope it wasn't here. I bet it was. There's no such thing as a coincidence. <sighs> Just doing my part to keep bursting, okay? Thank you. I can't wait to go and pee soon. Ooh, 273, though. That was not my bladder. I don't know what that was. But I almost wet myself then. 273! Oh, she sees this. Please remind the residents to leave my stuff alone if they think they hate me. Okay. When those X games are free on Epic right now? I know. I, I got it just as I started the stream today. Because I want it. I want to play the those X games. I've never have. I've heard things about them. Oh, don't get all tense now. Is um on sale on Steam? Yeah, I know. I don't have the money really to spend on another franchise because I just bought out the entire like Devil May Cry and Max Payne games, ready to play on stream at some point. I can't really afford to do those eggs as well. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's uh unlock this box. Two, seven, three, right? Yes. Nice. We got her lamp. No, it's a fuse. The fuse needs to go in the... A fuse. Safe room. Could come in handy. It could. But I'm curious what's on this and I'm gonna have a look at it. Even though everything in my gut says don't do it. I'm gonna do it. Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. It does. What the hell is going on? have they? And they bloody have cut Casey open. I'm going to be very, very cross. Very cross. I hope they haven't. Devil Max Wake. <laughs> They're only cupping monies per game. Yeah, you say couple monies, but it does add up. It does add up. You know, we all got a budget. And I try my best not to just blow everything I earn on games because I kind of want to be able to do things in the future. You know? And yeah, I just got the those X Games for free on Epic Launcher. Exactly what I did. As soon as I saw it was free, I was like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. DX1, one year. Revolution, three euro. Mankind, do I have DX2? No one talks about that game. I know it's only one in three euro, so that technically makes four euro. That's still monies, though. Not everybody's got, like, oh, a pound to spare, for example, you know? At, at the moment, everything counts. So I can't really be spending even... What, maybe four euro to some? To me, that's like four million quid right now. Especially that I've only just gone back to work after having six months off due to the strikes in Hollywood. That was not my choice. Um, and I had six months of basically not even hitting minimum wage. 
and still having to pay my rent and bills on my own because I was living alone at the time, that that absolutely decimated my savings. I, I can't just be spending like crazy just because I got work now, you know what I mean? Oh, hell no. Put the bloody fuse in. That's kind of where it needs to go, right? That's a fuse box. Oh, it's got fuses in it. <laughs> Never mind. I guess we're going to go upstairs, huh? What time is it? Oh, God, it's turning into six. I don't know what that means. Hi there, these chapters play out a little differently. And interesting to see the changes. Yeah, they do play out a little bit differently. It's very different from uh, Alan Wake 1. Very different. What's the new Doctor calling it season one? I had no idea. <laughs> I haven't watched Doctor Who since um, Capaldi. I did try to watch two episodes of Jody, but I couldn't get over it because... Oh, God, I have to refute this every single time. Repeat it, sorry. Repeat it every time. Uh, I was working for a company that was were making Doctor Who at the time. And because of the Jodie season and them, like, wiping out the entire post-production um, crew meant my company lost the work on it uh, because they wanted to go with a brand new team, which is fair enough. It's company fair enough, but I'm still a little bit salty because... Because they weren't given our company work meant they had to close down their Cardiff office, which then meant I was made redundant. <laughs> so I haven't been able to, like, get past that. So I, I haven't been keeping up with any of the Doctor Who news in a while. I really should, because I do enjoy Doctor Who. But I'm still a little bit too salty about it. A little bit too salty to watch any Who at the moment and keep up with it. So I didn't have a clue. Didn't have a clue. And if they call it season one? Okay. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Go on, let's do a save. Let's do a save. And then this is tomorrow's problem because I am hungry. I am hungry. I am so sorry, everyone, but I need to go and eat food. I am starving. I know there's a burger waiting for me. I'm getting a little bit tired. So we're going to call it for today. We'll play more tomorrow from 12 p.m. GMT. So if you want to see more, we're going to carry on straight from this point tomorrow. Honest. I'm sorry. I'm just very hungry. Very hungry. <laughs> Where's my bitten off lipstick no over there nice let's see mookster you're most welcome thank you so much for hanging out with me i appreciate it music please there we are cynthia will just have to wait she's just gonna have to wait tomorrow to smack my butt she is i ain't having it i want burger i'm very hungry very i mean so hungry i've been eating my lipstick <gasps> thanks for seeing mookie enjoy boy girl i'm very excited I'm very excited about eating boy girl Oh boy. Oh boy. Let me have a quick look. I want to see how long this person's got left. So I might just make a decision for us. Oh, they've still got a little bit longer to go. Okay, we're going to go and pass on some love to someone who's celebrating one year of being partner. Next stream, now get Boyger. I'm going to get Boyger. And plus, at this point, it means you guys don't get another set of adverts because I'm snoozing them for you all. How giving am I? We're gonna go raid Curly. Curly is celebrating one year part anniversary. She is playing Elden Ring. We're gonna go and give her love, give her a head pat. She's doing a 12 hour stream. She's only six hours into it, which means she's still got loads more left to go. I think she's a perfect choice to go and give love to. I adore Curly, you'll adore her. Her hair is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But thank you so much for hanging out with me, everyone. I really, really appreciate it today. Today's been an absolute giggle, so thank you so much for spending time with me. Uh, whether you're lurking, whether you're chit chat or other things. If you'd like to hang out with us elsewhere, though, join the Discord. We share memes, we share things we get up to. We have a little section where you can literally yell about, like, do you have an Etsy shop? You can yell it on there. Um, we have a little very active self-promo section where people upload, um, let people know when they've updated their YouTubes or released something on Spotify. We're just a nice little 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 community if you'd like to join us over there at all then we also have socials obviously i'm a streamer of course i have socials let me do my little self-promo section i know it's gross but we're gonna get through it miss oogie.com for my merch site everything on there i drew myself everything i drew it all myself so if you'd like some artwork printed onto shirts and mugs they are on there there is now a tote bag there is limited edition merch that is released every single month at the moment it's all egg themed as well don't scream today, sick. We'll go and catch up with Curly in a second. Spoilers, Helix! <laughs> then Twitter for my worst things and stuff. It's where I yell about stream stuff and things that I get up to, as well as I love um, yelling about other glorious people. So catch me on there if you want to know about stream things. Then I have YouTube on my thoughts. So if you want to have a catch up of the entire Alan and Wary, it's all up there. It's all in its designated playlist. If you want to see anything on there, it's all on my YouTube and other games. I have uh, Instagram. It's where I blog. It's one of my most active places on the internet outside the Discord, if I'm honest. I share things about my stories all the time it's a great way to see pictures of the ferrets too 
Um, but I blog on there. Every week I have a little blog that goes up and I'll tell you about what's going on in my world if you want to know at all. Then I have Facebook for my artwork. I'm also on threads, but I don't really use threads or Facebook that much. And I'm also on TikTok, which I'm starting to get a little bit more active on every time I post on there. It's when I post on Instagram. And we can all the other two unless uh, unless you uh blah, 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 blah. I can't think. Oh, unless you're being particularly generous. Ugh. I'm trying. I'm tired. I'm very, 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 very blino. Sorry. <laughs> blino. It's like tired and Welsh. But yeah, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go and eat some food because I'm being a little bit shaky. So I'm going to go and take care of myself. Self-care is important. So I'm going to do that. I'll be back tomorrow from 12 p.m. GMT with more Anime 2. We're going to go and smack Cynthia in the face probably. I'll be like, where's your lamp? Stop being a bumhole. So we're going to go and uh, give... Thanks, Felix. <laughs> we're going to go and give Kelly some love. Kelly's absolutely lush. You'll love her. Trust me. So what are you going to play in February after finish Alan Wary? Well, I'm going to have Unhinged April. If we finish Alan Wake by uh, the end of the month, we're going to have Unhinged April. We're going to have a little break and let the clones have a stretch. We're going to just do a little bit of variety and probably a couple of short horror games. And then in May, if everything goes according to plan, we'll have Devil May Cry in May for the next franchise. And that's the plan. And then after that, we're going to have another little Unhinged where we play lots of one-shots. Probably a lot of one-shot horrors, and we'll see where it goes. I would like to play Max Payne this year. I want to play Half-Life as well. Really want to play Half-Life. There's loads. Good thing it's still January. My year's done. Hell yeah! <laughs> All right, let's go and sort out Curly's raid. There we go. And there's Curly's link in chat in case you just want to dash on over or the raid doesn't take you. Here's the raid message. Have a wonderful rest of your day. May your time zone treat you well. If we never meet again, may your honor journey be glorious. And if I do see you tomorrow, have a wonderful one. Let's talk about it tomorrow. Think about something that makes you smile so that we can all revel in the glory. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go now because I got Boiger waiting for me and I can't stop thinking about the Boiger. So I'm going to go and eat the Boiger, 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 Boiger. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Hoi, Olivar. No star. See you guys tomorrow. And uh, toodles. All right. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Stay wonderful. See you guys tomorrow. Can't wait to groovy with you all. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for lurking, for chit-chatting, for all the, everyone else who did something a little bit silly today. Thank you very much, Lee. See you guys tomorrow, all right? Goodbye. <laughs>